<laughs> you know, Ray, she impresses Han Solo. He's like the guy's guy, impresses him, impresses everybody in the audience. She goes up with Kylo Ren, she punks him right away. Like, he's supposed to be this great guy, wiped all these people, I don't know. She took that lightsaber and was like, I'm gonna take you out. And she did, and I'm all for it. And she looked strong. Shut the fuck up. Greg's not a weirdo. He just marches to a different drummer. Bring the Baron home. Red Baron frozen pizza. Dave Filoni for over a decade has given us good Star Wars. You're and saying he gave you a product you enjoyed, but because he said something four years ago you don't like, you're walking away? No, I'm saying he's part of the problem at Disney Star Wars. I'm That's what I'm saying. To... Yeah. Okay. And until, you... this, until this whole problem is resolved, until they understand that to actually retain customers, you've got to treat them with fucking respect, I'll step away. If you care so know, much oh, about- Dave Filoni, I've got to get You haven't even Dave cared Filoni, about Filoni. I don't know what it is. I'm watching the Mandalorian. I watched my video. I don't know what it is. God! Fucking Boomerang! Don't shiver, newborn baby shivers. My love will keep you warm. Newborn baby shivers. When she's undressed, she shivers like a real newborn. When you hug her, she stops. Newborn baby shiver. Ah! Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> oh fuck! God! <laughs> then he can go fuck himself. Just like he Catherine could go fuck himself. Just like JJ can go fuck himself. He's just okay, another he one wait, to add to the list. Providing as a, him as a person, whatever. I am the person that says I'm a Star Wars fan, and I look for good Star Wars content. And Dave Filoni has given me good Star Wars content. So as long as he gives me good Star Wars content, I don't give a fuck what he says to a bullshit woman's group. Get right to text to Twitter, as we discussed. There's nothing new. As a good comic book writer, and tell their fucking fans to fuck off. Dave Filoni. Jeremy. You are the father. And in my opinion, the customer service is to provide a good product. And Dave Filoni has consistently provided a good product. That is not customer service. Making a good product is making a good product. Customer service is relations. A lot of people were saying, like, I'm gonna go see this movie no matter what, just because of what that guy said, compared to what we've been through. Gary, speaking of uh, customer service, uh, there's a lot of people in the chat that would really like us to move on from this topic. Odin, Odin, I'll make that decision. Thank you. Uh, just, just letting you know, just, just setting the message. No, Odin, I can see the chat. Why am I the bad guy? Why am I the bad guy? Oh, now? why I am I the bad guy? To... Oh my gosh. Dave Filoni. Hey, hey. <laughs> Oh my 
gosh. Jeremy! I love you some more! Fucking fuck that shit. Ergerotic.com Longer. Yeah. yeah. That's what yeah. she said. Longer. Hell yeah. Wider. Girthier. I got a, that was Girthier. a lot of approval from Extra Girl. A lot yeah. of girls <laughs> like him longer. Yeah. Okay. First off, first yeah. off, uh, everybody pipe down. Everybody pipe down. Oh. As Bye. pipe down over there. I got a question to ask all of you. I, 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 there's never a good time to ask this. So I oh, just no. thought I'd do it now. Um, if any of you have shoved anything up your ass and put it up on the internet, now is the time to tell me. All Sorry, right. Chrissy. I'm I'm I was going to say. Like, Except for the ladies. Chrissy, I'm talking to the guys. I, there was like, a I don't, don't want to point any fingers, but I'm pretty sure that Az is going to be the one that's guilty of that. <laughs> oh, there he goes. <laughs> oh, <laughs> he's he's got sure. <laughs> right, hold on. Let's rephrase this. Have the any of you... Young. Have any of you made a like multiple tens of thousands of dollars per month business model based on being a super alpha giga chad, but also shove dildos up your ass on the internet and bragged about how many men you screwed? Um, you know, I don't think so. Look, it was a long time ago. I don't see why we're bringing this up. Uh, I, I, was I was in college. college. It was experimental. <laughs> Shut up. I didn't know Capers were a thing. It was a different time. <laughs> uh, I've grown since then. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes. God yeah, damn it. That's right. Inside a man's ass. I, I was gonna say, I'm I'm sure that his asshole is different than it used to be. Uh, indeed. Oh, oh, next topic. We're all different yeah. people now, Ryan. Hey, <laughs> we're yeah. all different people now. Happy nice. New Year, everyone! Happy, Happy New Year! Year. Happy New Year! Oh, Happy New Year. Yes. Speaking of 2021, 2021 <laughs> is over almost. It's almost, almost over. <laughs> it's almost I hey, over. I, I had a great 2021. I don't know what everybody's bitching about. Uh, I hope 2022 is great too. Well, at yeah, the way things are going, <laughs> it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be a lot better, but a lot worse. Trust me. Uh, yeah, how can you got, say that after Matrix okay. Resurrections came out? Oh, dude, <laughs> okay. we've got so much you MCU. You just don't get it, dude. You just don't get it. Yeah, yeah. Obviously, it yeah. was so meta. It's too highbrow. You're just not <laughs> smart enough for the Matrix. You're so self-aware. You're just one of those sheeple. Yeah. It was criticizing mm. you, the audience. What Best did you want? Action. Ever. What did you yeah. want? Good story. Good story. <laughs> good acting. Good, good, good action. What? Uh, like, well, 
What do you want? The characters best thing that, you yeah, like the best thing Resurrections with each other? did is it motivated me to go back and watch the first Matrix yeah. in okay. a long time. And uh, damn it, that thing, movie is not first awesome. First things first, my name is Gary Beekler. I come to you from nerdrotic.com and my mom's vagina. And Jeremy, what the fuck's on your face? No. I, I, I'm not going to shave until I stop getting views. And as long the, as Jack the Murphy stories keep happening. Have happen. you been eating toffee apples and tripping up on carpets again? <laughs> <laughs> I will say oh, the, awesome. the John Madden video you put out on the main channel may have been enough to shave it, Jack. That was a pretty bad one. That was All a right. pretty bad one. Um, but that just shows that the, the decision to create Sports Wars was the right one. I should not have put that one on Geeks and Gamers. But uh yeah, we're on a good run on all of our channels Why? right now. And uh, I'll what? Why did you put the John Madden one on Geeks and Gamers? It, it, um, was, it was more about these like leftist freaks that yeah, are celebrating that just attack death. anybody as yeah. soon as they die. We've seen yeah. that already, unfortunately, with Betty yeah. White as, as well. Yeah. But so there are a lot of Madden, games, Madden and you know, yeah. White. Exactly. Who the hell's going to attack games. Betty White? Yeah, oh, it's, it's, it's already a Just wait. <laughs> just just wait that hold on. Her last hold name on. I got you. I got you, fam. Her last Look, name is uh, White. Sh- Betty Sharing White was screen. born in 1922. So How about she's this? probably racist. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Betty White always seemed like a racist name. What the uh, fuck? Show, show me proof. Show me wow. proof she isn't racist. I'll wait. Wow. Uh, she um, was born in 1922. She was probably racist. Low this, is exactly wow. what wow. Joe Ma- this is exactly what they did with John Madden. Yep, they did. Wow. Yeah. Same yeah. bot. Same Such fucking bot. White people can't yep. die yep. anymore. I yeah. see you in the chat, quartering. That's I see shit. you, buddy. What's up, quartering? Jeremy. Oh, oh, Jeremy. What's up, Jeremy? Jeremy. Our hero. What's up, quartering? The man. Um, the, 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 the quartering. The, is, I don't, listen. I'm gonna try to get uh, Ripa to unmute you on Twitter, but after <laughs> what you did on Tuesday, I'm not sure that's gonna happen for a while. Wasn't he banned for a little bit on Twitter? Wait, what do you do? No, well, the pictures he, he posted uh, of well, Jack all he, Well, to be clear, all he did <laughs> oh, was clear, share to be publicly, clear. all he did was share publicly available, available. screenshots yep. of videos that Jack Murphy made available himself so he could get money from people. It's all out yep. there online. Yep, uh, yep. So nothing wrong. Well, I mean, there's a lot wrong with it. There's a lot <laughs> wrong. You know, our eyes, but nothing wrong inherently with what quartering did. Oh, man. Yeah, yeah, 100%. But, uh, yeah, so uh, it's been a good run. So, uh, look, I needed anything I could to keep, make sure Ryan didn't pass me in subs until at least we get to 100K. So I made him sick, and Jack Murphy fucked up, and I made people threaten me on Twitter. I'm learning from the quartering, okay? I'm, I was close to putting a, my channel is under attack video, but mm. I think I'm in the clear, so we're good. People were threatening you, Jeremy? <gasps> oh, yeah, yeah. Baited him into Never. it. So. What the yeah. heck? I'm a what really nice miss? guy. I don't start anything, so it's just it's shocking that they <laughs> do that. Chr- Chrissy, why do you look so Shut nice, up! I guess. Okay, okay. What the hell's so, going on? Like, <laughs> so this is my other Christmas sweater that I got from Burlington Co. Factory. But now this was gonna be my big New Year's Eve outfit. But now that I have it on, I look like a chorus teacher. Like I look <laughs> like ah, and a one and a two. Everybody and a get down. This is a sweater oh, yeah. with holes in it. Isn't it fun? Yeah, the holes aren't in the right spot. I would argue, <laughs> but <laughs> <laughs> there you go. That's better. But a. Just put a tit out one of the holes. No. Yeah. <laughs> this is a family I'm, I'm, show. I'm going too late to, so it doesn't matter. Yeah. <laughs> Weirdest crossover Maybe ever so. was Chrissy having Odin on her channel. Oh, I'm no, like, what, what are was they that? going that to talk about? What the hell is awesome. this? It was actually awesome, and I kept it very wholesome for him. Yeah. <laughs> We talked about the Lord. Why? We talked about the seven fishes of Christmas Eve. The seven fishes? What? Why? Why do you I believe in the Lord and I don't know what the seven cucking. fishes are. Because it's a thing. It's an Italian thing. Italians on Christmas Eve, they have seven fishes. Jesus wasn't fucking Italian. Isn't it, isn't it seven, <laughs> yeah. isn't it seven <laughs> fish? But I have to many fishes. I have too many fishes. I was trying to make Odin laugh. Why are you crucify me? Fuck! Yeah. <laughs> this fucking hurts laugh. right now. Why you do? Why you do? You're crazy, and I said that like my Italian boyfriend, the first time he brought me home for Christmas Eve, he said, "Oh, you're gonna be the seventh fish." And then he like looked down, but he didn't get the joke. He didn't. I didn't make him laugh. You made a few anal oh, jokes on there that made him cringe. That's what I was there for was too. Awkward. I was. <laughs> yes, yeah, she did. Did it have anything to do with the rosary? <laughs> oh, dude. You mean oh, my no. anal beads? Father yeah. Christopher <laughs> Miller. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Sorry. This is the shit that you gave for me, huh? Uh, I am God. so, so sorry, Father Christopher Miller. Okay. <laughs> we made it work. I was wholesome for him. 
That didn't sound very wholesome at all. But no, it didn't. Okay. That didn't it was right. close. As, <laughs> as wholesome as you but could. Did you ask who his favorite porn star was? <laughs> <laughs> no. No, but I, I thought my... that was a standard oh, question. Oh, gosh. I had an answer for that, but I can't do it. Do you know him? Were you going to say Jack Murphy? <laughs> Jack Murphy. <laughs> yes. God, guys, what are we going to do? Jack Murphy is actually a famous sports writer from San Diego. The stadium used to be called Jack Murphy Stadium, so I think mm-hmm. we need to take that back. A little hey, who is a better? I'll just say Jack Murphy destroyed his career uh, no, more quickly than Jack Murphy Stadium was destroyed. Do you think yeah. it's really destroyed? Do you think he can well, rebrand and come back? I, 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 this is what I'll say. I said I'm it the other day. I think that there's a lot of people, uh, there's a lot of people even in the conservative space who have done things that are completely contrary. They're total fucking liars and grifters, but they don't really get held accountable by like mainstream conservative people. And so they Mm -hmm. continue on. So I honestly, as bad as it is for a lot of us. I think that he's still going to have some semblance of a a career after this. Did he ever say, like, I haven't been following his stuff very closely. Like, did he ever come out and say outright that he was conservative, that he was identifying as a conservative? Not that I'm aware of. I I don't think so. Um, But he was preaching all the values that kind of align with that. You know what I mean? And he he was rubbing shoulders with a lot of these conservative people. And he he was putting that that image out there for sure. My question is, is who had a better amateur porn career jack murphy or george floyd just curious <laughs> oh, <laughs> uh, you know, neither one of them get talked about a lot neither Saint one of them george get talked about floyd, a lot you mean. So, george or floyd? Hey, george. Hey, george. <laughs> well he's gonna he's gonna make a, a statement on monday of, oh he's he's no, really no jack is is he he is and i said <clears> you should tease you should tell people that you're gonna have a statement like you so people know to tune in or so that people don't think you're just not saying anything well i mean you know what he should do is he should unprotect his twitter account and he should allow comments on all of his videos <laughs> so maybe he can actually get yeah, some well, feedback from people yeah that'd be alpha wouldn't it yeah, yeah. so alpha. yeah I, so I think he can bounce everybody. back but like he yeah he has to really uh embrace bounce, everything all right he can bounce. He has to so, own everything. He no, he's got to own it. it. You got to yeah. own it. You yeah. got to own it. Like, uh, not that I. <laughs> like, he owns a college boy's I mean, ass. Uh, uh, kind of hard mm-hmm. stuff to, to own there. Jeremy! Oh, yes. <laughs> 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 yes. All right, it's time to get drinks out. Oh, yeah. it is. Oh, Jeremy man. Has, Jeremy's been so, uh, so preoccupied with all What have you drama. been up to? Yeah. Yeah, yeah what's up, man? Yeah. 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 yeah, you've been pretty low key lately, man. How's it going? Yeah. Look, look, my channel is under attack. (laughs) By Jack Murphy. Jack Murphy's attacking you. Oh, my God. (laughs) Oh, man. How's how's everyone's New Year's Eve going? Freaking great. It's 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 going pretty good. Thanks for coming. Dude, New Year's Day very quickly here in New Zealand. Yeah. Hey, Jeremy, when, when, Tuesday, Tuesday, when we were live Tuesday and we had Lafayette on there and then um, I was trying to he, I was trying to get Rakeda on and Rakeda messaged me. He says, I can't make it. But the quartering just dropped you a gold mine on Twitter. Go check no. it out. <laughs> of course, we couldn't then, share much of it. But, no. Uh, no. Yeah. Every uh, time too much gold. Eyes. <laughs> Every time I fall asleep. <laughs> Dude, that, that rocket launch sequence you did was fucking hilarious. Yeah, that man. Was, that was, <laughs> yeah, that was lofty, man. That was lofty. Yeah. 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 yeah oh, well things. done. That's a, it's been a wild, wild ride. I mean, um, I hope that uh everyone out there is uh, I'll shout out to all the alpha giga chads in the chat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Shout out Liminal Order. Yeah. What's up? Uh, oh, no. Hell yeah. Um, <laughs> I didn't know that's what it took to, to be an alpha. Uh, I guess there's some work yeah, to do out there for me. Anyway, I'll skip it. I'm okay. I'll just yeah. get this guy, get Nerdrotic a little zinc so that he can dye the side of the sides of those beard. <laughs> oh, yeah. Ooh, yeah. Zinc? That's right. I, think, I, I, I was. I think, he was dying. Maybe I can middle. do a reverse one. Uh, oh, yeah. The yeah. Middle. He had the reverse Osama. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what, what, did, what did Mark say? He wants to know. Uh, everyone's asking why he only uses one third of the Just for Men bottle. Uh, oh, that was, oh, that was funny. <laughs> oh, <Yeah. ouch. laughs> Well, I think, you know, with uh, it's not that I have any discretions as bad as that. I mean, I only went to prison, but I was open about it, like from the beginning, because like I was like, well, if I'm going on the Internet, 
there might be a chance somebody finds out. I don't want it to be used against me, so I, I didn't give a fuck anyway. So I've been very open about the stuff I've done, and, and it tends to help. Uh, when you hide stuff, the Internet's going to find it. I mean, like, he should have known that. That's It's kind of weird to go that far at, with that kind of secret out there. And we saw kind of, um, what, what was he, foreshadowing with another content creator out there who got caught pegging. Uh, and it's just the kind of thing that, uh, you know, people are going to find out. The autism is just too high on the internet. It's yeah, too high. Yeah. It's the internet. He put it out there to make money. It, That's how it. did he not know that this was going to come back? Like, you got to, yeah, you have exactly. to know it's going to come out. Especially That's where you, you have, have to go out and be like, hey, I was a different person. Now I'm a yeah. I'm a giga chat now. <laughs> Not then, but when now. it's like the same beard, you have the current look. The same thing, have. the same look. Like, you can't even say, "Oh, that was two beards ago." Like that was <laughs> the same beard. There's still crumbs same beard and some hair. Re- remember, like, uh, remember the, the, Shia LaBeouf. Remember Shia LaBeouf with that whole "We will not, he will not divide us," and he put the flag somewhere or something like that. And yeah, fucking yeah. Four Chan <laughs> found yeah. like the wood paneling and figured out where the goddamn thing was in like a week. You know, that's that's the internet's Dude, good. The, the one yeah. he put in a house in a room. Yeah, yeah. And it was like, and then they figured it out from the way the sun was like reflecting in the room or something <laughs> like that. Fucking how? Yeah, the uh, internet historian a video on this. Like, the internet <laughs> people are uh, the they internet can't wins. Anything out. Yes, and I, I think that in this situation, this isn't the case of someone doing something in their personal life, privately, whatever. This is someone that made these posts, put them out there on the internet. Uh, when that didn't maybe work out so well for me, altered the way he approached things. Uh, and then he continued to make <clears throat> porn videos for money online publicly. Uh, and then he altered his approach a little bit during, and then he find a new way. By the way, yeah. during, yeah. during the seminal order, Oh, like, <laughs> During it wasn't like How these you... pornos were made. Really, he wrote that book in 2018. Mm-hmm. The pornos are from 2019. Mm-hmm. Yep. Wow. And when he when he said I don't have any money, even though he wrote that book and was obviously getting residuals off of that, and he has so... a master's degree and he has all this other stuff. Yeah, he wasn't. I don't buy it. He was making the yes. porn because he wanted to because he's a freak. Yeah. That's that's yeah. just the facts. Yeah. Well, well like I, think, I told, I think you I've... find he's a giga chad. I'm yeah, sorry. Giga Chad. Maybe that's what Giga yeah. Chad means, you know, freak. Yeah, I guess so. Like I told, I said this in videos, and I actually told this to Sydney too. But I was like, this was always going to happen. It's not because of your question. Yeah. Your question might have been that, but he's he was putting on such a front that it's some something was going to trigger him. It, he was always going to do this at you some who, point. He was always going to let the mask slip off. It's just that this about, be, Sorry, sorry. I was, I, no, you, you good. Want, go ahead. You, you know, you want to know who told me about his uh, videos? Who? One of uh, a like a, a dude who consumed them. Oh, really? Really? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah. That so was yeah. what part that of the was what people. Order. I've yeah. been asked that, and, and people are like, "How did he find it?" And I says, "Well, I'm pretty sure he was tipped off because I don't think Jeremy was, uh, you know, <laughs> <something> <laughs> <he> went <laughs> up on those sites, you know." Yeah. So yeah. I'm yeah. Fairly certain he was tipped off. He's got a lot I of connections. I was trying to so. sign up for Big Bad Beard 1000, and I found out it was t- it was taken. You, you like, Big second. Bad Beard 1001. Yeah, yeah. 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 I was like, "Oh, who is this 1000 guy?" And then, whoa! <laughs> 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 Was it a fancy beard going on. that you were trying to buy for the beard just for cucked men, you know? Yeah, I mean, he was reporting so. on this story meant a self report, so you took a sacrifice <laughs> there, buddy, and you came through. <laughs> now everyone knows, yeah. And, uh, and and it is just it's this entire atmosphere and this aura that he put out there to try to get a bunch of money from people, and then in reality, publicly, not privately, he was doing all this other stuff, so at that. That makes it very difficult to then try to come back from this. But what what do you think, Jeremy? What do you see in the next kind of week or two? What do you think is going to happen or what do you think he should do if he he's wants gonna, to come back from it? He's going to sue me, I, I believe. He's going to he's gonna try to do – he's going to fire up a lawsuit. Good um, luck. If he's really stupid. Um, you know, I, I do think that if he just keeps his head down – that like there are probably a lot of members of the seminal order hey, these <laughs> that that are will be fine with it you know what i mean like if he's if he doesn't completely implode he could probably save 60 percent of his paying customers so if he's smart he just he seems like he's i see he's deleting tweets every day but like he's <laughs> as long as he just like keeps his head down this will blow over by like next week now if he does something crazy 
like uh, Maddox did or something like that, and he thinks he's going to like win a lawsuit against somebody who's talking about publicly available stuff. <laughs> You know, I don't know that that's going to that will completely that will destroy his career. Yeah, that will be the end mm -hmm. of it. So he he probably lost a few people. But, you know, if he just shuts up and soldiers on, he'll probably be OK. I thought it was the most interesting part of his uh, thing was, um, you know, people sign up to be successful like him. But he really was never successful. <clears throat> and that and that's probably the the worst part about like this. um kind of getting outed you know if if he's gonna go with the i was destitute so i made porn then how can you also be lit along the mm. same lines as yeah pay me a hundred dollars a month to be like me i mean everyone can be like him they can just be broke it's mm -hmm. not like you have yeah. there's no big secret to it how did right. he intertwine himself into the world he's in with the 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 conservative influencers? Do you have any idea? It's his book. Like, I mean, it's just no. how did yeah. he? Yeah. That, Democrat, I didn't Democrats know. Democrats are deplorable. Yeah. It's his book that got him in that space. Yeah, yeah okay. but listen, in 2015, 2016, he is he is already talking about in some of those articles about being intertwined with like Cernovich and a couple other mm. people. Those are pickup. Those Cernovich. guys used to be yeah, in the pickup yeah. artist game, mm -hmm. which is really really cringe yep. yes um, all those guys um you know i'm not going to name names but it's funny because like a lot of them were like reaching out to me private like hey, hey you got jack i'm like bro i hate you too like i hope i, I <laughs> oh, <somebody> shit. <laughs> yeah. you and suck then, too yeah and they would just block me then after that but like i would love they, to be a fly on the wall in jeremy's dms <laughs> <Nice. laughs> there were so many conservatives in there on um whatever night that was like the v night you know yeah i was getting text messages i was getting dms from all these conservatives like oh man and then i think some of them um might have been some of them had a little air of concern um how do I say? Like, uh, I started to wonder. Like, are they worried that I might look into them? Like, they, yeah. they, they're worried you've got Epstein's black like, hey, book. That's not, that's yeah, not me, man. That's that's totally <clears throat> weird that the, he would do that over there. Yeah, that's weird. Yeah, He's got <laughs> porn porno videos. Yep. Um, I, I totally uh, don't do. What that do you think statistically? At all. Right, there's ten people here. Which one of us? Which one of us has the the porn stash? Chrissy. You guys have an account? Okay, <laughs> Chrissy's account. She's just been Chrissy and Aside ass. from <laughs> Chrissy. Aside from Chrissy. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Ryan, Ryan did raise his hand. So. Yeah, yeah, I, I, would, I, I wouldn't be ashamed that. of mine either. I would. Watering's already it. had to coach yeah. Ryan a little bit. Like, bro, don't be so no, don't say all that. Calm down a little bit. <laughs> Ryan yeah, Quartering's like, like you really need to relax. All right, you're yeah. just too edgy. <laughs> then he just posted shots of hairy assholes with dildos <laughs> in him on Twitter. Right? Okay. <laughs> I'm so gonna find right. everybody. I've got to yeah. punch off like some the Asian ladies, and that's pretty much it. I'm okay with that. I've got a couple of those fishing instructional fishing videos that I saw YouTube recommended to me, but that's that's. I saw X-ray oh, go yeah, in the yeah, thumbnails. Yeah. I need to yeah. check them out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Research purposes. Jeremy, did you know like about all this stuff like at the very beginning, or did it sort of like come out at the same time everybody else was sort of seeing it? I I found out with everybody else. I didn't know. I think there was a small group of people that the war band or whatever they were calling themselves undead that, chronic that, yeah. yeah they knew i didn't know um i only took interest when uh he chimped out on sydney and then it's like when you have i mean there are a lot of large creators on this panel so you know like you know people email you like you know and th th they're like um i get a lot of emails that i didn't report on because they were a little they were very damaging but also kind of like this better be true. Like I right, don't right. I, right. I, like bold, I bold really don't want to get sued. Yeah. Like yeah. here's his porno. Like it's him. It's public. I'm not worried about sharing that, but like, you know, there's other stuff that was like, I was like, dude, I would love to sit, you know, I would love to report on this, but <laughs> you know, I'd like to not get sued. <laughs> very much, very much. Or, really not even sued, when you're going to win, right. You don't want to go through that. I mean, you've already, yeah, you no went matter through what. it. Right. Yeah. I won a lawsuit yeah. and I lost seventy thousand dollars. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, so it's you know it's oh dude, that's worse that's than a divorce. I, that's how much like, I lost in my divorce. It's it's not impossible that somebody would take life advice from somebody who's like sexually kinkier than yeah. they are. Yeah. That, that's the thing. It right. doesn't. The two are not mutually exclusive. I'd say it's definitely bad if you're trying to front yourself like I am yeah. identifying as a conservative, even religious, even. Um, 
but yeah, it's like that's it the was, problem. If he was just honest and, yeah. and his freaky yep. self, there's audiences out there for that. Why yeah, did he go people... specifically for this one audience that and even is the opposite of that? Yeah, it's like he... everything that's opposed to what you're actually doing. Just do what you do, and whenever and be honest about he it. He makes his announcement like if he says this was me, like like he better be prepared to never do any of that stuff ever again. If he's gonna say that I'm done, that's in the past. Like you mm -hmm. better be sure that yeah. you're. Done. The, the I, first I, no, he's super just gonna put a that was on the the first super chat that was on the show. He answered the question as best he could. Yeah, he, uh, he didn't, didn't he? He was just like, you know, one. that was a different was a time, one, yeah. a different period. You did. So so from, he kind of from, answered yeah. it as best he could. To, and then when it was brought, I mean, he again, lied about all he it, had yeah. to do was say, yeah. "I answered that." You know, I've answered that yeah. before. Yep. But that that explosion is what caused everything. Yeah, yeah. Just, domino, you know, just what he said right up. after that. What I mean, the the no no basically, you know, fuck you very much. No, sincerely or whatever he said. Yeah, heartfelt, yeah, yeah. heartfelt, heartfelt. Heart 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 yeah, that was yeah. that was fucked up. Even my my wife got pissed off. That just, yeah. what, what the fuck? That's because that's yeah. how he talks yeah. to women. It was very clear in that moment that he he yeah. views women as sub mm. sub male or whatever because you just that's a respect thing that you got a glimpse into the real. Hmm. Jack Goldman there in that minute yes. and it was like he 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 John Goldman John, John Goldman, Goldman. Yeah. sorry yeah, yeah. but the, that's because he wouldn't have said that to Elijah even though Elijah's like a little baby man like he would he not, didn't say that to Tim Pool when Tim Pool was going at him Tim, about yeah right and Tim's a manlet so like the <laughs> you know the he says that because he doesn't I mean this guy pissed in his wife's mouth like, and talked about it like <laughs> well, that, that podcast th the, there is a podcast the worst out part there. about it yeah. yes there's a podcast out there where he is on with some sex guru sounds like she's getting off the entire time which she is really does, weird yeah talking yeah. about Probably. talking about cucking and why it gets him off and why it gets him off to know that his girl's getting slammed by some random person and to to even like sit outside the house while she does it like it, yeah. he, the dude is an absolute freak yeah. and yeah. and in that that uh podcast you're talking about the lisp is far more prevalent in yeah the voice far, no, far more thinking? pronounced so yeah pronounced. well the other it, thing it's like is his that, other side of his psyche yeah you know? yeah like, uh, yeah i love watching <laughs> he, well, he was you know, a little like, more comfortable in that scenario yeah. he wasn't trying mm -hmm. to be the yeah. alpha giga chat not, right put on this front the saddest uh -huh. part about that interview is if you if you listen to it and i highly recommend you don't but like, <laughs> I've to his, the whole thing. his girlfriend is on there and she's like i didn't want to do it yeah really? like, holy shit she like made her yeah. do, oh, he dude. made her do it God, and then dude, like dude, he's just like, come out oh. that's fine it's 2020 hey 2022 <laughs> Just come uh, out, yeah. bro. Yeah. It's, you know, uh, that's, yeah. Yeah. He's, he's, he's clearly actually gay. Like, yeah, clearly, that's what I'm saying. Like, I mean, if somebody gay, was gonna dude, pee in gay. my mouth, if someone was like, "I look, Chrissy, I really want to pee in your mouth," I'd be like, "Look, you better be hydrated, and you better not eat any <laughs> asparagus." Yeah. Okay, like I'll do this. I will do this once because I love you. Girl's face. But you better. You, you make better him be drink a glass first, mm. right? Yeah. That's the rule. You say, "All right." You take a glass, you pee in the glass, oh. you drink it first, and then I'll let you do it. Yeah. All right, sit down, let me Listen. squat. Or a shot glass, do a shot Chrissy, of it. Chrissy, Chrissy, you missed a great, Chrissy, you missed a great point and moment to say that in front of Odin when you had him on your podcast. That would have been a great <laughs> time to say that. So. But in Chrissy, the the pissing on her, that wasn't even the part that she's like, I wasn't comfortable with. Obviously, she probably wasn't. She didn't want to go fuck another person. Matt from Tinder. Oh, really? She didn't want, she wow. didn't want to go yeah. do that. Holy he shit. He made her go do that. Yeah. Whoa, wow. that's interesting. Well, See, like, I don't know. I'm very sexually open. Yo, yo. But I don't know. I just think the the not owning up to it looks so he, bad. He, yeah. The only way yeah. he could get off was by her <laughs> texting other people and like flirting okay. with them over I text, mean, like, and then it escalated where he could only get he's off. He's living uh, vicariously right. through yeah, her. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. He's, he's, he's got. He's got some kinks, and like the thing is, though, really? you're bringing you're bringing your kinks. Well, I, I don't want to kink shame because, like, if you want to do what you want, and I know all you guys said the same thing too. Like, I want to cover this for everybody. Nobody's right. kink shaming me here. Get your freak on. It's all good if you're adults. Nobody gives a shit. But like, if you're trying to bring it into this space and talk about traditional values and fatherhood and <laughs> children, uh, yeah, it just doesn't mix. It just no. really <laughs> doesn't yeah. mix. So well, that's I don't know. the problem. You want to be like con consenting adults. Well, it's the one yeah. thing that destroys a channel every single time is when you basically betray the entire message of your channel. Like Jeremy at the core, Jeremy at Geeks and Gamers, you have underlying messages that goes throughout your entire, that's the foundation of your channel. And if you'll go well, if against it. it out 
look at what happened to Matt, right? Like, yeah. uh, if it turned out that I was like flagging down videos that were critical of me, or hmm. if it yeah. turned out that I was like, I don't know, I don't gender not polar the polar bear. If you had a polar the polar bear video out there, <laughs> yeah, maybe. yeah, right. Or, yeah. <laughs> like, if I had some shit like that, that's way worse than yeah. like getting a video wrong or you yeah. know even having it's something going embarrassing. The, it's going the polar <laughs> opposite of what people have expected of you yeah mm -hmm. yes so yeah whenever you do that it's just you're completely destroying your your image and, and image as in like uh, be honest you know yeah, it's like, like me coming out saying I, I really like batwoman but you do it's a gun you though. like the views <laughs> i like <laughs> the views yes <laughs> it would be I like it's a gundam showing up to the stream sober that's just not yeah. Yeah. it's just not what brand. you expect you don't want that. Yeah, yeah, I'm completely on a bender. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> <laughs> and and I like what have you time done with Gundam? to say that that man isn't a homosexual, he's homosensual. <laughs> he actually described himself as homoflexible. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Okay. Okay. Sorry. Yeah. Heteroflexible. Heteroflexible. Yeah. Yeah. Somebody yeah. sent me a video. Of that man tenderizing his butthole with a goddamn dildo. I can't remember who did it, but goddamn you for sending that to my DMs. <laughs> I'm pointing over Mahler. It's yeah. Mahler. yeah. I, I, Mahler has I too much know. class. Fellas, yeah. fellas. Uh, I, should have, I should have eaten way before Ma this. Drink. Mahler, <laughs> Mahler was, was saying, a... I thought we were going to talk about Book of Bubble Fett. Can you please we'll can you please EFAP can you EFAP the podcast where he's talking about peeing on his girl? That would be mm. perfect. Like just uh, you know, we could all that between Star Wars and Marvel. Yeah. Like, oh, I, I, I'll be real watching Disney Star Wars at this point. I think a lot of people would rather take a dildo in the ass. <laughs> <laughs> No, I was gonna say both are pretty I much. We all have taken a dildo yeah. in the ass for the last two years. Like, you go ahead, Ryan. I'm gonna continue yeah. watching the show. <laughs> I'll just not that do either. I think. I think uh, Gary, I've just shared a picture of the quartering. I think we might have caught him in a bit of a lie. Oh, oh, no. oh, no. oh no. <laughs> you're checking your channel, man. Oh, oh, no. <laughs> the green screen's turned off. Oh, <laughs> war room. <laughs> Assemble the war room. Assemble. Uh, war room assemble. What number are you? Giga chance. Assemble, assemble the war room. Assemble the war room. Oh, God. If, uh, so hey, everyone, I got to actually, I've got an early dinner reservation. Right on. So I've got a dip, but uh, it was good to see you all. Congratulations on joining the cast, Quarter Black. Thank hey, uh, you. What's up? Uh, also, everyone, thanks for having me on. I'm gonna go since I'm old as dirt. I'm gonna go have dinner at five o'clock. So, <laughs> hey, thanks for coming on. Jeremy. Eighty years old. Love you, man. Have a good one, man. Happy New Year. Thank you. See you. See you. Jeremy from the corner. Thanks for coming on, buddy. Good man, right there. there. You go. I don't think Jack Murphy thinks so, but I do. Oh man. <laughs> Uh, I'm not going to trust man. anything that Jack Murphy thinks about being a man. So just <laughs> That's, That's a true. very good point, Brian. That's a very good yeah. point. So uh, we got it's a we got Papa Gundam here and Mahler. Hi guys, what's up? Hello. It appears I missed the good stuff about uh, the whole Jack Murphy thing, unfortunately. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah, right. the good stuff. See, that's why you got to base your channel off the get-go on being a complete social degenerate. And then nobody <laughs> is surprised at the things you do later. <laughs> true. Dude, it's very true. Set the, as Jack Murph, uh, as he says, set those boundaries thoroughly, you know? And, if I uh, show some let him out, boundaries, bro, disappointed. Boundaries. <laughs> boundaries, expectations, whatever. Uh, uh, yes. Well, um, yeah, we're going to talk about some nerdy stuff now. I'm sure the chat has just had their fill of. They've had their fill of the seminal order. I yeah. 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 What yeah. a New Year's. <laughs> uh, hey, the, the, the Internet always offers lessons uh, and a poser will always out themselves. And it just takes, it's a matter of time. You can only do, you can only hide that personality for so long. And yeah, he should have treated uh, Sydney Watson with respect. One of the nicest people on the freaking internet. So nice. Oh yeah. yeah, that's right. I saw him flipping out over her. <laughs> and and yeah. here's the thing about like when you are keeping something under wraps, like I don't want to sound uh, like oh, living a lie, but if you have something that you're trying to keep like under a blanket, you know, then you you live your life and you look through this lens of like, oh, is this person, does this person know? Are they trying to out me? And then you look, you see things into situations that may not be there. And I feel like that's what happened here. Oh yeah, that is exactly what happened. 
You can see, like, it. he was keeping this all inside, and then the second a super chat came around, bomb, he exploded <clears throat> and just set the whole domino down. Mm -hmm. Oh, and, and Tim's uh. chat last night. Oh, my God. Tim hasn't addressed it yet, and it's no. like, yeah. should he, shouldn't he? Uh, well, and I, just, the, I love the, the topic. The topic was that he was talking about me media covering up stories. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, yeah. this whole chat well, of thirty like, thousand yeah, people screaming for Jack. Go ahead, Ryan. And he acknowledged. He's like, I see you, chat. Uh, the other day when Amanda Millie was on there, he's like, I see you, chat. I know it's a little hard to follow what's going on because that was a little bit of a train wreck, that show in general. But it's like, okay, so you see the chat. So it's impossible that you don't see the people spamming for you to talk about mm -hmm. Jack Murphy. And yeah. it's, it's sad. And also maybe not the best day to bring on another bearded High voice. Uh, <laughs> when that guy showed uh, up, the chat yeah, started yeah, freaking like, out, and they were like, "Jack point two point oh, it's Jack two point oh. And then he's talking about how he does self help program. Yeah, oh, no. funny funny guy. Guy. He came in at the yeah. wrong time. Yeah, yeah. yeah. but okay. I will say this, beard and, off. and I am I have been very critical of Tim Pool, and I will continue to be. And but at the same time, I thought he handled that Amanda show very well, considering how. As she was <laughs> drunk, was that name? Amanda? Is that yeah, Amanda Millie. See, I yeah, actually really like Amanda, drunk? and yeah. she was she was good the first thirty minutes, and then whatever she had before the show kicked yeah. in, she was oh, better drunk. He handled it very well because he's a pro, and he handled the the other situation too with the guy flipping out on him. I thought he handled that very well. Tim's yeah, good did. at what he does. He's really yeah. good at what he does. And so. that's the thing is like who who knows how well they know each other. Like I've I've had Jack on my podcast twice, and I thought like I and then I was like, oh, I guess I know him really well. And it's like you don't know people very well even if you create content with them um you know it's not like it, it's, yeah. it's well yeah it's, you said i was a damn christian on your show the I other know, day i i had to tag her i was like what the hell are you talking You're like, about let me, let me, yeah, and you said I was bold and, <laughs> oh no <laughs> oh yeah so oh, god yeah i put up a tweet a couple of days ago saying um you know, it's a crapshoot who you collaborate with on the internet. <laughs> that was a Jack Murphy joke. Okay, that was a Jack Murphy joke. I wasn't oh. mad at anybody because I, I, dude, I get up the next morning we and everybody's like, messages. "Why did you? Are you to okay, say, man?" Yeah, I wanted, we were like, wanted the conspiracy Aww. theories to keep going. I was like, I didn't think obvious? anything about it. Yeah, of course. <laughs> yes, Gun was like, like, "My image is squeaky clean." Right, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we can't be talking. Papa about you. knows we're good. That's uh, well, always good, uh, but no, I, I I I don't have a problem with anybody I've ever streamed with. I don't care. But uh, that I just thought it was, you know, those who try the most fail the most. Okay, it was a bad joke. <laughs> I'll just say that. Um, all right, so so uh, Mikey Gussler has so, given us uh, so. Uh, Grace Randolph, she with the great takes. Um, it, oh, oh God! What was the one about the Suicide Squad, Mueller? It was uh, that the uh, gratuitous Star violence. Starro yeah, nudity. was mass something about John Cena's dick. Starro, the, yeah. Well, Starro killed not enough white people. Not enough white people. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> wow! <laughs> Holy shit! Ooh. Yeah. But it was on like a fake Cuban island or something. That's yeah, that's the problem. It? It, they should have been white people. Well, yeah, yeah. <laughs> didn't you know? Like, didn't you get the D Disney memo that only bad guys can be Russians, Swedish bikers on meth, or Nazis? Uh, that's uh, pretty much all we got now. Uh, Mikey Gus. It was sad to see uh, non-whites being killed. That's what her point was. So more whites dying. That's what we need in the next Suicide Squad. Oh. Man, I you know, I, I thought that movie was decent. Maybe there's like some subliminal <laughs> message in there. <laughs> no, they got the, you. The Homicide Squad instead. <laughs> hey, uh, Mikey, Mikey Gussler uh, for $50. The Genocide Squad. The, yeah. the, the Genocide. That, that's, uh, that's another name for the Young Turks, actually. Oh! Uh, <laughs> that's funny. Denier. Denier. They are deniers of the uh, Armenian genocide. By the way, shout out to the drummer system of the down who watches the show uh hey, hey, hey big fan on what's up big fan uh, uh, oh, no, exactly uh god did you see <laughs> many, i would that never make fun accurate. of it you <laughs> see how many views that video has it's, it was like he was here. It's like it's like you know, he also owns Torpedo Comics, which is a great comic shop in uh, Las Vegas and in Anaheim. Uh, Mikey Gussler for fifty dollars. Happy New Year, everyone. Hope you all are looking forward to twenty twenty two. What hopes do you have for the new year? Mine is Discovery restoring the Snyderverse, <laughs> like Affleck in the Snyder Cut. Faith, Alfred. Faith. However, I don't have faith in Amazon's Lord of the Rings, nor should you. Uh, <clears throat> 
Nope. My God, the news I'm hearing from that is so bad. It's so bad. But I'm saving it. I'm waiting till the trailer comes out. We'll uh, be ready. I'm sorry. Yeah. Hope is for millennials. When is the trailer? Do we, when, <laughs> do we know when? Do we know when a trailer supposed, supposed to, release to for come that? out uh, before Christmas? And then it got delayed. Uh, there's been massive That's production, a great sign. massive production problems with this thing. Massive, massive hmm. production problems. Uh, massive reshoots. Uh, I've gotten emails from a little spy. And uh, it's it's gonna be a fucking giant train wreck, and it sucks. <laughs> was there uh, any I, doubt? Seriously? No, yeah. no. I wanted it to be good. I was hoping against hope it would be good, and I'd have a good Lord of the Rings show to talk about for a year on this channel. It's been so long since we had something good to Sweet. talk about. Uh, Rumor on the soundtrack. Are they gonna reuse Howard Schultz shit, or are they gonna make their own shit? Own shit. Own. They. They. they uh, he's coming back in to do like arrangements. I think. Okay. Uh, so he's got something to do. No, Bear McCreary is doing the soundtrack from uh, Battlestar Galactica, but I think Howard Shore is coming in to do some stuff. All right. Well, maybe that'll be good. Yeah, <laughs> Bear's, <laughs> Bear's good. Maybe. Bear's fucking great. Uh, yeah. He did the soundtrack for the God of War game that came out recently. Yeah, well. maybe the music oh, that was will sick. be good. Really good. Yeah. Uh, Oingo Boingo connections. Uh, uh, Danny Elfman connections with Steve Bartek and all that good stuff. Uh, Mikey <laughs> Gussler for 50 more dollars says rumored cameos in uh, Beta Fett are... Uh, oh God, Kira Beta from Solo, <laughs> Kira from Solo, Han You're Solo, welcome. Mace Windu, Ahsoka Tano, etc. Which cameos do you think will come true? I don't care. Uh, plus, I hear people defending the rematch of Obi and Obi Wan and Vader. They shouldn't because it's retarded. Because uh, yeah. Vader didn't specify when they last fought. Thoughts? Retarded. Those are my thoughts, guys. <laughs> Yeah, I, I am not watching. Retarded. Yeah, I'm not watching Book of Boba Fett. I didn't yeah. watch Bad Batch. I'm not going to. Watch I watched anything. it because I thought you guys yeah. were going to watch it. No, hey, it's okay. I, know, I watched I'm, it. I'm, right? I'm completely yeah. out on Disney Star Wars. I'm out. So yeah, I, I got. I also did not watch show. I love the idea that last they uh, spoke was literally Mustafa. The idea now that we're going to get a whole bunch of bloody adventures between yep. them doing all kinds of bullshit. Like, ugh, Fuck recontextualize the OT once again. And uh, by the way, cameos, guy. What if in the end, the final episode of Boba Fett, Tobey Maguire Spider Man shows up? Would that be yeah, like? I would okay. fucking start watching immediately. I'm in. I would watch. <laughs> <laughs> if we if, will, if we get, yeah, uh, I will go buy all Disney Star Wars merch if Tobey Maguire <laughs> shows Star, up. Star Lord, I'm back in, baby. I'm back Star Lord, Tobey Maguire, uh, and I don't know, Starbuck. Uh, if all three of them were in the end, I'd be okay. We just I want all multiverses crossing over. I have not watched Book of Boba Fett, nor am I going to, nor am I going to review it. I uh, I stand with Gene Carano. Yep. Well, now, if, if uh, you know what, Robert Downey Jr. shows up, I'm in. Yeah, Robert I'm Downey Jr. I wouldn't recommend the show. It ain't very fucking yeah. good. At least no, no it's not. It's episode. terrible. We, we, Apparently, the next episode is going to be better. We do have I'm some. I'm sure it's going to be. We do have some people who have watched the show who are absolutely. I, I want. I want you guys to talk about it. I want to hear about it. So uh, I don't know. Uh, as away. you watched it. Oh God, shit! I've been rumbled. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's, it. that's it the, the, oh, the episode's what's so the, boring and it's the, the first episode it's supposed to like hook you and be cool like the, the first five the first five minutes are kind of interesting because it shows you exactly what you always like thought was gonna happen after like, the was gonna get he, out he crawls but, out of the sandworms like bad hole everything <laughs> is just knew that all happened. i want to hear right, chrissy right, i want to hear chrissy describe i want to hear chrissy describe all the star wars shows oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> did you the, watch it chrissy in, he's in the vag hole he looks around everything's squishy like, and sandy <laughs> and he's like <gasps> and then he sees a stormtrooper and so he rips out what i think is a tube of oxygen and then he shoves it under his helmet and he's like <gasps> he's like she's like sucking up all this oxygen from the tube and then he's like he like punches through it and then he like it li lights a lighter and he's like fire. punches you through and he's like Gah! and then he's just like and I'm sure he smelled terrible and he's all just sandy and like covered in goo. And then Gary he got knocked out by Jawas and they took Jawas? <laughs> yeah. I'm pretty sure that's how most Disney movies because they had pitched. to explain oh. that that <laughs> how he lost character. his armor. Yeah. Yep. Well, and just later. just to be very clear that whole armor thing uh, for those of you that still think that, oh, they're going to retcon it with this show, for those delusional people that are still out there, Dude, stop. that stop. is actually in line with Chuck Wendig's Aftermath series for yep. how Boba Fett loses his armor. Yes, it is. Just, just, just so you know. Yeah. Uh, unfortunately, that is the one fucking book series I 
listened to, and um, it was like it was written by Helen Keller. <laughs> the was that the one, wibbly, was that, the one that like jumped over from about. character to character? The, the tie went wibbly wobbly. It careened mm. herkily jerkily down oh, the yes. street. Oh, yes. Yes. oh. Yes. <laughs> that's, that's, that's what I, it end with. I think and that's the fuck anyone the who voted down. for Trump. Fuck you. Yeah, your it asshole, did actually. You fucking filthy <laughs> cunt. So. Yeah, okay. And then um, and then Boba Fett. He, it, it's like the episode spends some time trying to. It, it it's almost like he's trying to decide what kind of ruler to be. Like he's faced with these opportunities where he could be a dick, and like <laughs> they, they catch these two like pig men, like warthog men. It's pig <laughs> warthog men, guys. Roll with hey! it. Hey, <laughs> then he's like, oh, should we have them killed? And he was like, were you loyal to loyal to your previous boss? Me. What's your favorite Star War? My st- favorite Star War. Hmm. All the Star yeah. Wars. Which war? Which war? Which movie? Which, which is your favorite Star War? This seems like a trick question. <laughs> <laughs> the Civil War. I, I no. gave a girl detected. All right. <laughs> I, <laughs> no, I'm definitely not claiming to be like uh, the Infinity the War. Fan. Yeah. The, <laughs> war. <laughs> the one with Yoda. <laughs> <laughs> the baby Yoda one. <laughs> that was the worst part for me, though, for the the whole episode was all of the moments where you thought Boba Fett was going to do something that Boba Fett would do. And then he didn't do that. He would do the opposite oh of what you God. would think Boba Fett would do. Justifying all the shit he was yes. not doing. That's the thing I uh, think is really like, funny. You don't know Boba Fett. You don't know Boba Fett. Cause I read just one a mercenary. Teen, teen novel that had Boba Fett in it. And you don't, you just don't know Boba Fett. No, the man's the a stone cold about? killer. Exactly. He wouldn't untie oh, himself and then turn over and go, can I? Do you want oh, me? No, you're gone. Yeah, he's that would be so be like, weird. I'm fucking gone. I'm beating yeah. the shit out of you and you and you. Oh, they've and they've gone. converted him to a good guy. Like they they're making him this honorable, super good no, guy. Dude, he's really like friendly. this caring grandpa. Like I don't that's, want that. Boba that's Fett. why his ship can't be Slave One now. Uh, he's yeah. also too fucking old. So he well, should be Boba roughly Fett the same age generation. as uh, as yeah. uh, Han. Uh, Mahler, yeah. what were your thoughts on the episode? It was garbage, and I'm almost it's sure that we're being too kind to it already. It's like every scene Boba Fett's in, I'm just like, I don't think this is Boba Fett at all. But I don't, I don't like the idea that he has people dress him. What is that about? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, like, I need my robot servants to put my clothes. like, fuck off. No, he doesn't. He wouldn't want that at all. And then um, he walks into like that that place to talk to whoever, and they're like, "Would you like us to clean your helmet?" And he's like, "Yeah, sure." And he just gives it away. He just, and walk off with it. I was like, "What the fuck are you doing?" No. Mm-hmm. Also, they've already done a horrendous job of keeping his helmet off. The reason, mm-hmm. hey, Gary, mm-hmm. do you know why he doesn't put it back on when they give it back at that place? Because it's filled with coins. They put <laughs> money in it, and he can't put the helmet back on because it's money in his helmet. It's so fucking stupid. And then um, uh, he gets attacked, and he drops it. And he gets kicked like, away. Yeah, the Jawa take, take, take the money out of the helmet. None yeah. of them try to steal the helmet, which is worth a hell of a lot more than those coins. Yeah, Ew, like, we talk again uh, about the same thing happened in Mandalorian with characters that were acting that didn't feel like Star Wars. the The person that was supposed to be coming for the the emissary for the mayor, that yeah, guy the, did not act like he was in Star yeah, Wars. Max Hedrum. That's who that is. I was, the guy that played <laughs> Max Hedrum. No, that was, him. Not, no, that was not him. That was not him, though. That was him. Really? Know. Yeah. But I, I, the the acting of it, it just didn't feel like I was in Star Wars, like that actor was taking it seriously. He felt like he was like a day player, like, oh, this is community theater Star Wars. That That's what oh, that, that felt that's, like. That's, that's what a, a, a large majority of these shows feel like, is community theater that, Star that's, Wars. That's what uh, a, a bulk of Disney pl- – I, I, sorry, it's going to be on my mind because I just finished reviewing it, but I, I watched the shit out of all the Marvel Disney Plus stuff like – three or four times each and yeah it's the acting is like i carly drake and josh level fucking early aughts nickelodeon yeah. disney whatever the fuck that channel was of xd or whatever uh but not as good you know it's like it's really bad like yeah they get day players i think to come in and they read fucking off a cue cards like. or something it's terrible it's fucking That's what it terrible. felt like it didn't feel like he believed he was in the star wars universe it was just very strange. Yeah. Um, and he should have oh. killed. Boba Fett should have just straight up dropped yeah, him. Yeah, he should have. He should have just straight up hit. killed the dude. Should have been dead. Yes. Yeah. And I, Again, I, 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 I thought what Boba Fett would have done. I thought he was going to get the two Gamorrean guards to fight against each other, and then the winner was going to be one of his guards. 
That would have been uh, I cool, thought though. I thought that the um the mayor's aide that came that was a complete toss pot, he was just gonna either shoot or he was gonna press the button and the floor would have opened and he fell down. I don't I just don't believe this Boba Fett would talk shit to Vader's face. I don't believe it. This is not the same no, Boba no, Fett yeah, right. in any way. I don't I just I, don't like the way I that he's dealing with you Vida. Or yeah, he right. to know, um, he doesn't even know what's going on, right? Because like he sits there and he's like, I demand tribute from everybody. The first fucking guy was like, No. Because you're just he a random like, I'm just in here and kill. Uh, yeah, he, both has like, I'm confused, aren't, uh, aren't I the crime lord? It's like, oh god, what fucking cringy ass dialogue. And she had hell? to lean over and tell him sh he's saying no. Yeah, she, like, who wrote Fennec this? Had to inform, uh, wow. John Favreau wrote John Favreau and Dave Filoni, probably. Oh, what? It's so crap. Um, and yet, just uh, she's helping him out, Fennec. She's like, like, oh, Boba, what he means is he's not going to pay you, and you got to pay him. And then Boba's like, oh, man. I, I, I don't know. We were going to get the money. My old, my old brain. Um, who, was the, who, was the ex, who was the executive producer? Uh, was it Kathleen Kennedy? Uh, Kathleen Kennedy is I, definitely okay. on that list. Yeah, yeah guys, oh, just, God. Checking, just checking. Mm. <laughs> I mean, ca that. contrary to popular belief, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, or, or when I say belief, I mean rumors. But yeah. I'm just really happy hearing all this that I have not watched. It's um, because yeah, it's, it's just. We'll do it again. I'm, we I have no faith in this thing. Matt Barry was oh, in this really? episode. Oh really? Oh my god! Matt Barry was in the episode. He was the droid, I and I recognized him, and I was like, "That's neat." <laughs> just as far as it ever goes. Like, uh, I like um, that. I guess. So, Fanic and Boba are attacked by these people who, until we get more information, I have no fucking clue what their plan was. They walk up to them, make the a stick of shields. And then they start poking them with electric sticks, and they're like, ah, mm -hmm. ah, stop it, yeah." <laughs> and it's like, the first thought, because me, Rags, and Fring watched together, we were just like, "Fly away!" Why don't you just shoot them? Yeah, fly away. You've got well. So, them. so out of all the options Boba Fett has, who is fucking supposed to be smart because he's like the best bounty hunter ever, he decides, "I will shoot a rocket at the shield in front of me," and then <laughs> crazy, crazy result. It blows up in his face, and he's like, "Wow!" And then Fett <laughs> falls over as well. It's like, what the fuck you guys do? I traded it? that <laughs> rocket with respect. <laughs> <laughs> when you're trying to kill somebody who has guns and a jetpack and armor, walking up to them with a shield, you're like, "I got gotcha. you." You're like, "That Mola, Mola, you said the magic words, jetpack." It's so fucking lame that we did it again. Remember when Mando forgot his jetpack? Yes. Boba does it in this. He doesn't realize he has one. It was the same director. Just doesn't jet, just, just doesn't fly out. Bullshit. Just fly out and fire your fucking missile at them, you bell end. We've surrounded you on all sides. What will you do? It's like, we'll go up. Fly. My, my first yeah, thing is, why, are, why isn't anyone drawing guns at this point? Dude, this is Robert yeah. Rodriguez. Everybody has shields and his little baton. If they would have let Robert Rodriguez produce and direct this, like, on his fucking own, I'm sure he's a higher gun and he wants to just be part of it, a good team player, but, like, people would be fucking killing each other. It'd be, uh, it would oh, be, yeah. oh, be brilliant. So there's this part near the end of that fight with Boba where he sees someone climbing up a wall and he's like, oh, I'm going to get you. Fires a rocket at him. It hits the guy, explosion, like standard animation, no blood, the guy's just no, gone. Yeah, no no bits, no nothing. Well, there's a part where the, they into slice his somebody's throat. Mounted. They slice somebody's throat with an axe, and he's there's no blood. There's nothing. Like, the people you in Star, Disney it. Star Wars, it's they're made of air. Like, they just... <laughs> I, got a screenshot. I got a screenshot for the next episode I've just shared with you, Gary. <laughs> respect. I've got to treat this yeah, rain with respect. Uh, I'm just reminding me, Rise of Skywalker. They didn't know which way was up too, so at least it's consistent. Like, yeah, <laughs> the Disney Star Wars yeah. world is consistent. Yeah, I, I, I've said it for a while that like I I firmly believe what they're doing, and all roads kind of lead there from what it seems is this whole like little Filoni Favreau, all the projects they're working on are probably going to lead up to some grand thing involving Admiral Thrawn, and it's going to be. They're going to bastardize the original Thrawn trilogy from the 90s. Uh, what they're going to do is Thrawn is going to be Thrawn. Uh, yeah, that's good. Uh, <laughs> There's good. a DM there. but uh, Alec, Alec Baldwin clearly wasn't a uh, stone trooper then. <laughs> yeah, so Thrawn's going to be Thrawn, obviously. Ahsoka is going to be like Luke Skywalker. Uh, Ezra is going to be like the Dark Jedi, Sabaoth. Mm -hmm. And yeah. what they're doing with Boba Fett, I think, is they're going to try to make him like Talon Card. This kind of ah. mild-mannered, good-natured yeah. guy with a heart who's a smuggler that has organized exactly a bunch of other shit. smuggler's it's bullshit completely <laughs> the opposite <laughs> of 
You do Star Wars Avengers, where Mando will team up with Boba, team up with the Soaker, team up with Boba to take on Thrawn. It's going to be epic. It's, it's going to be another de Defenders thing That's where they do a season. Oh, season no, maybe they'll get shit. Sigourney well, Weaver. They, I was going to say, yeah. Yeah, if we get Sigourney <laughs> Weaver have, to know, be the bad guy. Yeah. Don't know. Yeah, um, he's blue Robert and, and eyes and everything. Robert Rodriguez's voice is just stunted in this show. Like you can tell, there's this shot at one point where a Gamorrean guard slashes at a, uh, one of the enemy's That's necks, right. and they try to film it in the like. You can tell he's desperate to make it violent, but he just <laughs> can't. He's not allowed, and it's just yeah. like, ugh. This well, sucks. remember that episode that Rodriguez directed where Boba Fett like comes back in season two of Mando. Yeah, and that one he said I got like ten pages of script, and they just said make a bunch of shit up. <laughs> yeah, and that one there's like a ton of it's a little over the top, you know, for like what the rest of the show was, but there's a ton of uh, pretty brutal violence in that. But and, you're telling me that's not what this show and is. And how much time so is a page of script? A single page of script is a like minute? a minute yeah. for a page or something. Yeah, yeah so they had, page, yeah. <laughs> they had ten minutes. They had ten minutes. Oh god. That's Disney Star no, Wars, man. They yeah, don't plan. It like it, no. even after the trilogy, the movie trilogy that was not planned and fell apart and everybody knows it, they did it again with Mandalorian mm -hmm. and they were just making it up as they were going along. They're still doing it. They're doing it right it's now. They're making right it up now. as they go along. I would be interested that John Favreau wrote out notes for this really quick. Like yeah. probably while he was on an airplane just like Boba Fett, I don't fucking know. Someone's like, "Oh, I'm not going to pay you. I'm going <laughs> to yeah. kill you." There we go. Done. Episode 1. It's so oh, sad. can you can you have a female Tuscan Raider kick his ass? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Can you have a oh, that was fucking great, Tuscan wasn't it? Children oh, oh, kick hey, his yeah. ass I got, as well. Yeah, the children. I got a question. I got a question. How many girl bosses were in here? What was that? Uh, two, two, two. Oh, okay. no, two. Well, well, three, three people. The adequate Fennec, number. Yeah. I think <laughs> you will. Fennec is about to chase down the people who tried to kill them, and Boba's like, "Hey." Get them alive. Treat them with respect. <laughs> Treat them with respect. <laughs> and I thought he was wanting more Every time he does something, no, it's the opposite. Opposite. Like, it's still just like, ugh. I want the, you to the, track them down and ask them their pronouns and uh, <laughs> treat them with equity. No, nope. <laughs> treat them with respect. Be respectful. No, just respect respect women. Respect their sexuality <laughs> and their Vader life choices. Across. Respect Darth pronouns. Darth Vader was walking across and he was looking at all of the, he was talking to all the bounty hunters and he said, no disintegrations. And he looked at Boba Fett. Boba Fett. This yeah. is not fucking Boba Fett. No. He would have turned and said, Finnick, no disintegrate their ass. This is you know, like uh, he talked uh, back to Darth Vader. He, he talked yeah. back to Darth fucking Vader. He was the he's only no, guy. He's been through a lot, though. No good to me, to me dead. Dead. I wasn't sure if he wanted uh, him to bring one back alive, like to question. That, no, that's, that's what that I think he wanted. Yeah, uh, yeah. That was definitely it. It's just, it just the visual it just sucks. Yeah. Fennec's like going bloodlusting after these people. He's like, hey, don't kill him. What's the Maybe McMuffin? Nice. What's the McMuffin of the series? What are they after? The McMuffin? Uh, nothing. Uh, right now. Nothing, yeah, so far, yeah. nothing. Just well, Respect they've, been, they've been attacked. Respect the 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 McMuffin. Who who attacked them? That's what and I assume we're supposed to think it's the mayor right now of Tatooine or whatever. But that's another thing. woman he woman even, boss. He didn't even seem to know that there was a mayor. Like, he, does he know anything about this area that he wishes to rule? Do you yeah, think right? he probably did? Have y'all heard the speculation on who they think the mayor might be? Oh, it's no. uh, thing with the from Solo. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. Wait, who from Solo? Khaleesi from Solo. Khaleesi. Kira. Kira. Yeah, there's a lot of Kira. rumors about Kira being in the, this, as well uh, as Mikey Han's, Gussler just super chatted that. Sorry. Like mm -hmm. because Han Solo, there's like a 95 percent chance. Re Han Solo remember, this will is be Disney Star Wars, yes. and the, no the reveal yes. is always woman. Is it? Uh, yeah. Is it digital? Is it Solo from the movie? Solo, is it digital or is it like, Han? Yeah. Is it? Uh, or is, is it, it digital? Is it yeah. Orville Redenbacher? <sighs> <laughs> I think there's some cord. I love Orville Redenbacher. I can't believe like, I, no I can't be bored. like I, I'm curious how I would feel watching this because I have no emotional attachment to it whatsoever. So I don't even think I get angry. It's just a it's just a comedy. No, no, show at that's this point. There's nothing well, to be even angry about. I can't help it. I love Boba Fett. Boba Fett. Was I understand why you guys like, watch it. Me I get it. But this is. Uh, I mean, Jeremy and I talked about this a couple of nights ago. There's just nothing to to gleam from Star Wars anymore. There's there's, there's nothing to learn. It's well, going to it's going to play around in its little well, fucking sandbox of right before the Disney trilogy. For probably the next four years, they're not really going to move the series forward. And Luke, uh, st all roads lead. Do you to want them to? No, no. It, it's <laughs> well, no, it doesn't yeah, matter. It, it doesn't matter. I mean, you can't put the fucking soy milk back in the titty. It's done. <laughs> no, right. Yeah. yeah. Well, where I'm at with it, like, like the where I'm at with like when I go see when I went to see Spider Man, 
You know, uh, there was like, okay, there's a level of interest that I think I can find some excitement. Even the Batman trailer, when I watched the Batman trailer, I, I really yeah. liked that and I'm looking forward to that. With Star Wars, all those years I was watching Star Wars and roasting it, like I still had some level of belief that that <laughs> something good could come of this. But when they fired Gina Carano, that's where I was just like out. That doesn't mean other people can't. No. Other people can watch it. Other yep. people can try. And again, it might, I might be wrong, but I'm just saying for me personally, like if I can't find any level of some kind of thing to motivate me to watch something, and I just can't keep watching it. And, uh, um, Mandalorian. That's why I didn't watch. I didn't watch a lot of the Marvel movies this year. Eternals. Uh, all these. I didn't watch any of it. I, had no well, I think there's that. a better chance. Of, I mean, so, I'm not saying there's a good chance, but I'm saying there's a better chance you can turn the the MCU around before it does like uh, ultimate damage. But like Doctor Who and Star Wars have done just ultimate damage. You cannot come back from that. There's nothing you can fucking do. Yeah. Your hero Luke is a bitch. He died a bitch. <clears throat> if you're a fan of the Disney, Star Wars, uh, anything at this point, there's a point where you got to choose your battles, right? So, like, like uh, Eric July still reads, you know, modern comics. I don't. Uh, as doesn't. We both quit that. Uh, I blackpilled the shit out of Star Wars. But, yeah, I'm still covering Doctor Who and Star Trek. So it just depends, really, uh, what we can learn from and uh, what yeah, shit could – like, Doctor Who at least brought back Russell T. Davies. That is something. Yeah. So, uh, it's like it's start, yeah, sure. I think Star Wars is gone. And it's that's never shit, coming yeah, back. It, it's, it's there's dead. no hope for it's dead and buried. It. The, the bottom line, time. not while Disney has it. Well, the bottom yeah, line exactly. is if as ever stops watching Batwoman, I'm out. I'm quitting Friday Night Tights and everything. That must, we must, he, his misery <laughs> is our continue. enjoyment. It is what fuels you can us. never walk away as never. So, <laughs> I think they're just cool. about to announce with, season four, by the way. So, this is they yeah, are, of course. but there's with, a with point the amount of um shows that they're off as Star Wars and all this because they're still trying to turn it into the MCU. You know that we're in the, <sighs> yeah, the yeah, yeah, that shit. yeah, yep. I um I see it as a huge train slow motion crashing into a hospital where I'm just looking at all the elements <laughs> like, wow, like, look at oh, look at that, wow, You're like Quicksilver watching it all go, like, <laughs> yeah, because Boba Fett is someone that you'd be like, you can't fuck up Boba. It's like they they can and they are. Oh, dude, they can't. Dude, they have. Dude. You have him kill people and do bounties and be cool. Like I see, the thing is, you guys have so realized simple. you're it's not so the simple. target audience. You're all old. You're, uh, yeah. They have to uh, make this right. for people today. Uh, it's uh, over for you. Guns right. for the Zoomers. You're right. I'm not a 14 year old girl, and that's what Star that's Wars it. is made for right now. 14 year old. You need girls. ten more. That's why they bought Star Wars on this. Yeah. Well, I will say this is the only show from Disney that I haven't really seen any hype for on Twitter from people who. Dude, None. it's been None. dead. None. I, yeah, yeah, I'm actually surprised because the only, the only thing I saw was the, the the trans character, I guess, that Ryan talked about. <laughs> That's the only thing I've seen. <laughs> yeah, there's a well, There was a yeah, screenshot right. floating around. Like, I I don't think that it's a trans Twilic. I personally think <laughs> that the people That's just are just well, like, well yeah. I they think don't understand Twilic. Uh, it's people that don't understand lore that are making yeah. Star Wars right now. So they don't yes. understand that the the things coming off a of female Twilix head, the little cone th things, that's not like decorative. That's their fucking ears. Yes. Female yeah. Twilix have cone shaped ears, whereas male Twilix have like human shaped ears. Yeah. And uh, I think that the people, they just want to put a fucking headdress on somebody to make mm -hmm. it match or make uh, it look cool. They yeah. don't fucking get it because don't these get people it. don't care about Star Wars. They don't yeah. no, no. How much they care about Marvel? Why would they care about about Star Wars. Uh, I put up a poll a day ago just say asking are you interested in Book of Boba Fett here on this channel? 28,000 votes uh over and this is just in 24 hours. Uh and that's a good sample size 60, right there. 67% no, 33% yes. So not much. Not not much interest. Uh that's I don't about you right know. Though. Yeah, it, 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 it and the people decided. I was like, oh, yeah, there's no way. I'm and and I'd like to see the cross section of people that were hardcore fans of star wars and people that are just kind of like oh yeah i know star wars you know i, I enjoyed it that's a good one I, I'm, I like that. I'm gonna guess that the higher percentage of people that don't care about star wars right now are the people that really cared about star wars before because yep. that's everybody right. that i know is the same way it's like Apathy. hardcore star wars fans like born and bred in star wars and now i could not give a fuck about it and that's what yeah. like the only reason I watched the show is because I thought we were going to talk about it on here. Well, you so, are. Like, that's the only reason. Uh, Otherwise, I would have fucking just been like, whatever. It's, it's not, good for content. It's, really Star Wars. I, I, it's good I, for I, content. That's true. I, that is I, I, I'm not watching this shit. Um, I, it's a pretty easy fucking decision. I will roast things that come out about it. Like, I'm a, I am want to know what happens when they introduce Slave One and how they are going to fiddle around with the name. Yeah. Like, that stuff, I'm going to continue to roast them for that. that but I'm, I'm not watching this show. 
Uh, can you yeah. share my they'll, screen they'll real quick, Gary? They'll never uh, mention the name of the ship. Yeah, they'll never. just avoid wow. it. So th this is the 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 Twilic that people are oh talking God, about. It's God, not a super a great lit picture, but you can see these little cones that are by this person's ear. And immediately people are like, thank you, John Favreau and Dave Filoni for making a trans Twilic, because obviously uh, that, would, that would be the indication. Uh, although I wouldn't put it past them. I think it's much more likely these people are just idiots and don't yeah, know the don't lore. Know. Yeah, they Probably. made a mistake and they're going to oh, run with the shit. Hey, yes. and if, I know and if her. You, I know that, you do. That, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but, if, but if you don't believe me about Twilix and ears, well, then let's listen to Pablo Hidalgo. Hidalgo has an ear for Star Wars trivia. That's why when I heard that you had a question about Twilix, I couldn't wait to listen to his answer. Oh, Check it out. So oh, hey, Pablo. Jeez. Sorry to interrupt. Sorry. 1138 asks. Sorry to interrupt you, oh, fucking What's what? What a piece of shit. I'm still unsure whether female Twi'leks have regular ears or little mini leku. They have cones. If you look at the makeup effects and the, what they tried to do in each of the feature films, male Twi'leks have lobes, ears like you and I, but females have cones. If you look at the actual sculpt, it's foam rubber, so it's actually pretty squishy. So as a result, you're able to put tight headphones or wrappings or anything over the Twi'leks. There you go. Thank you, Pablo Hidalgo, for making sure Whoa. we all know that the people making The Mandalorian have no care or regard for lore or continuity. Appreciate yep. it. Yep. It's bad. Sorry, Book of Boba Fett. It's tough Book to tell Boba with Fett. these stupid <laughs> things. Yeah, <laughs> it Dude, it's The Mandalorian uh, Season 3. We all know that. We know yeah. that Gun it's The Mandalorian Gundam's right. They'll run with it. They'll, they'll yeah. happily no, they, run they with it. They absolutely will, yeah. They're probably already writing a fucking novel about it right now. Twi'leks <laughs> in the ears. Chuck Wendig will be back. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> hey, I got to I got to bounce, Go. Gary. Uh, so I got to bounce. Got some work to do. Uh, shout out to George. I'll see you in the chat. Three thousand subs. He hit three thousand subs. Yeah, he did. So oh, congrats, George. George. I know there's a hundred dollar super chat that came in about us being on Brandon Tatum's channel. Me and Ryan yesterday. Thank you for that Ooh. super chat. That was an awesome stream. Hell yeah! And I hope everybody has a great New Year. Gundam, don't get too high or drunk. Uh, maybe a little bit, you but can't not tell too much. So. Under normal yeah. circumstances, I wouldn't even be awake right now. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, thank you all for the support on Friday Night Tights. I love all of you, and uh, hope you have a good New Year. Bye, See everyone. See you next year. Bye, Bye. 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 Take care. Bye, everyone. Bye. <laughs> Hope he shaves that sorry excuse for facial hair. Fuck yeah, God. looks like he's been so ordered. I think gone to a restaurant Jeremy. and ordered a plate this is of some pubes. kind of a protest. What's happening? <laughs> no, I think this is evil Jeremy. It's a different. This isn't Jeremy. <laughs> yeah. How do you tell the difference between the two? I don't know. I don't honestly. The goatee. Is it the goatee? <laughs> so it's mirror. <laughs> it's it's no, the goatee, but I think they're both just as evil. Mirror Jeremy. Well, yeah, that's, Jeremy, that's yeah. mirror Jeremy. Yeah. <laughs> mirror, Jer <laughs> yeah. mirror Jeremy would be showing a lot of sympathy to Jack Murphy right now. That's yeah, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> there's two oh, sides God. to every story. There's so many haters. Yeah, he'd, he'd be all moped video. Moped video. Moped video. Uh, <laughs> Sipping a latte. Uh, be a tricycle. Ursula Tron for ninety-four dollars and thirty-one cents. Sixty-nine for sixty-nine guys. Happy oh. New Year. Oh. Oh. That's what Jack. That's what Jack says. Sixty-nine tokens, baby. Oh, God, that's what it. that is. We yeah, got a Jack. So you have my little reference in Squid Game, the sixty-nine guy. Oh, I didn't realize no. it was. That. Yeah, Jack's it's laying a there getting kind his, of Squid Game. Yeah, Jack. Jack's laying there getting his asshole eaten out. And oh. Says 69 for 69. Oh my! At least my oh, okay. Well, no. I am not. You, you watched that? that? But knowing that. Yes, you have to watch it. <laughs> yeah, you guys oh should have a stream where Odin watches these videos. No, now that. Yes, yes, no. Yes, yeah, never. That would be never going to happen. Sure. Yeah. Odin kind of has like a reverse I will, beard. I will Jack eat your ass. Beard. That's disgusting. <laughs> oh, he does. He's got he guns does, in the middle. <laughs> He's already got the right face. He doesn't need uh, yeah, that would have been his own he wouldn't do that. Uh it's Bizarro Jack, which means he doesn't let other people screw his woman. <laughs> yes, <laughs> he's a normal person. So he's yeah, so he's so he's a, a regular yeah, guy. Normal stuff yeah, mirror mirror Jack his, his bizarro a version guy, is just a normal you know. guy. A You're sitting over guy. there with your empty asshole, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing in there, happily. huh? Just an exit, huh? Happily. Uh, yeah, yes. yeah. It's a one way only, I guess. <laughs> I need Using to it the way God well, intended. the toilet's over there, oh and yeah, feel free. Uh, my mouth is right here, darling. Oh my God. Uh, Darius Harvey for ninety nine ninety nine says the Rocket Man bit was hilarious. 
Uh, yes, with Jack Murphy and Elon Musk. Uh, that was uh, Lofty Pixels. That was fucking yes. so good. Well done. Well done, mate. Well done. Uh, <laughs> thank you for the 99. 99. Uh, is it something I can show here? Maybe towards the end of the stream. Sure. No problem. Uh, why, why the hell not? Uh, we, we, we can get uh, Gundam's on Friday Night Tights. Uh, we get demonetized. Alex Jones comes on Friday Night Tights. No fucking problem. So, Gundam, I hate this you're the man. It only makes sense. Uh, and, and it's all right. You can come back every Friday if you want. I don't give a shit. Fuck them. Uh, we love Gundam. We love Papa Gundam. Uh, fully automatic for $50. Because y'all inspired me to get the 4K extended edition of Lord of the Rings. Oh, it is gorgeous. That's my porn. That's my porn. Uh, could have it. done without a 4K Shelob. Uh, being hunted by a giant spider is my nightmare fuel. Uh, but Gimli making Legolos kill uh, Corsair Peter Jackson was gold. Hail Friday yeah. Night Tights. Uh, it was all gold, baby. Mm -hmm. Fire warning shot. <laughs> Like, Oops. 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 We got, there's, an, there's an hour to go here in the UK until yeah. uh, uh, New Year. So yeah. I'm going to take this opportunity now out. to uh, to start cracking open the uh, the Dom Perignon. Hang on, buddy. Go, I'm going to uh, uh, give me a second. I don't here. have anything. Do it again. Oh, you're full as, screen, man. Crack it. Crack uh, it. As you're on full you screen. out on a hot toy for that. Show us. I, yeah, I skip. This is a hot toy right here, by the way. <laughs> this is a hot toy that goes down your throat. Yeah, how what is what's more expensive, uh, Dom Perignon or Cristal, whatever the hell? Um, all this the, was this was this was enough. All the all the athletes have the Cristal. Yeah, to get the Cristal. I thought yeah, all the athletes had penises now. Uh, <laughs> only only the ones that are women winning. Female you want to show sports. the bottle again, as or are you I trying to? Uh, I will want to get the okay. the flipping thing off. He's single, ladies. Well, I have my little gentleman Jack. Yeah, but but come oh, on. That's why I, I get that's why I can downstairs. get a Dom Perignon. I got some. <laughs> I got some full screen. These two. Oh, oh my! Oh, wow. God. Wow. Did you, you rob like a? Oh, I got these for Christmas. My wife gave me these for Christmas because I'm trying to figure out which you kind of whiskey I like. Smiths. That's good. Well, I'm trying to become an alcoholic. So yeah, I've got my. I got some champagne downstairs. I've always got like, I got Jack Daniel single barrel. I got some 1800. I got some Glenfiddich. I got some Ooh. shit around my legs. Here you go. You got uh, that that is pretty fucking yeah. 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 How, I almost got that. Dude. Drinks everywhere. Like. Uh, <laughs> really? I got Spider Man and they don't Batman. Have a problem. <laughs> yeah. I got some water. Doctor Delicious. Who on my door right there. Uh, water. Odin, do you not drink? I don't. No. You can the only Lord drink wine on Sunday. It. Okay. No, no, I just I uh, I'm a straight edge guy. Don't drink yeah. and smoke. Don't yeah. drink. That's what I like about you. I'm gonna break you. <laughs> I will break you. <laughs> Odin. Hey, hey, yeah. Jesus got hey, Jesus got down on some wine. I'm gonna tell you tell you. He did, he turned water into wine. Yeah. Odin, who's, 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 right. favorite, okay with who's your favorite porn star? I don't have one because I wouldn't know. <laughs> Took one for you there, Chrissy. Took one good, for you. Right, cover. right, here we go, here we go. I got the I got the yeah. thing. I got the oh, thing, gonna... so I'm gonna I'm gonna Oh god. And don't Jack break anything. My favorite porn star. Please fly right. Here we go. Don't break it. So we've we've on well, I'm not gonna Pop anything here. I'm just gonna, gonna take this off. Yeah, 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 yeah. Nine hot toys when take that this goes off. off. Nice and carefully. I predict Game the on the collectibles. Guys, I All feel I'm like doing is pointing it at my one in four Batman <laughs> begins. Here we go. Here Why we go. Here we go. Lady right don't, next to you, right there. Point here we go. Here we go. Here we come. Here we go. I've got to do it nice and slow. I live long. Pull it out. Pull it out. Become the that was. Wow. It's like you've done it before. Wow. Damn. Wait, is it the new year? You no, not yet. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm you got another yeah, hour, right? Yeah. Apparently, in the UK. Can celebrate. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I've got an hour. It's pre celebration. I've got an hour to get through this bottle, you know. Uh, as they say in the UK, out that as his room is collapsing in on him, it's it, probably the funniest is. thing as he opens the Dom Perry eye. <laughs> I is. thought that was X-ray girl. It was X-ray girl. Because I'm, I'm moving see. everything. Everything's I'll being moved, credit, so though. all the things are gone. But the boxes are there because that side's now been cleared out. So when that's completely cleared out, then this all goes. You know the camera this points in this direction, though. And then more figures yeah. will come in. Do I look like a proud man? <laughs> <laughs> That's got, what makes him I great. Got Bur Perignon all I over my desk, and I love it. I think I have to let it soak it up more. 
How I've much does no... a bottle of Dom Perignon cost? Per whatever the fuck it's called. Uh, uh, Perignon. That, that was it. That's a two hundred and fifty pound bottle. Oh my wow. god! Oh, oh, that's that. not too expensive. Yeah. Yeah. And, and Gundam. That's pounds. why I'm single, so I can do that shit. It is, you know, <laughs> is it better than as soon like... as the girlfriend's involved, then we're back onto the fucking twenty pound. Uh, you know, <laughs> they can move in anyway. There's no room for her. There's only. I say all the hot toys would have to go. Yeah. She would have to come in a box. That's my line. <laughs> I understand, uh, as I had a woman come over and she was like, Why don't you sell all of these collectible Gundam model kits? And you're like, and I'm like Well, this and is going went, nowhere. You went, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like, <"Say> oh, right. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, we're not we're not gonna work out. Yeah. Are these considered hot toys? My uh boyfriend's son gave them to me. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, they'll Among do. Us. I love this game in this one. Please. My nephew is eight years oh, old. Let's get My nephew's eight years old yeah. and he got Among Us for Christmas. And what he does is he goes. Where are the real Tories, Chrissy? When he's the villain and he, nice kill, he kills people and then just stands next to them until somebody catches him. <laughs> wow. Yes, at least he's That's an honest serial killer shit right there. Yeah, he likes to be caught. The smart move would have been to say that he was looking for the real criminal and then spend the next 10 years golfing. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Twitter right. world. Dom Perignon in a mug because I'm a fucking Yorkshireman. Yeah. Mm. Fresh orange juice. Ooh. Wow. Hey. Fancy. And we are turning into a Bucks Fizz. You, and you I am a fresh orange juice? I am now a Commoner, and I love it. It's like an <laughs> as, it's, it's an as brunch over there. Yeah, mimosas. Uh, I, mimosa. I drank so much fucking tea when I was sick over the past like five days, like literally gallons yep. of like hot green tea with lemon and a shit ton oh, of honey. That's I, I never you. want to drink tea again. Oh, dude, oh, try some pumpkin I, spice. It's delicious. I beat my cold in two days with that <laughs> thing called an immune system. Well, wow. my, my cold was gone, but my, the problem was my voice and like. Yeah. Remember how bad my voice started getting on Friday Night Tights yep. last week? Yeah. And then I went and I streamed on Saturday on Christmas for a while, and that killed me. Like, the Aww. next three or four days, I was basically Was it as bad gone. as mine uh, about a month or so ago? It was, yeah, it was pretty bad. Oh, yeah. I just I shut close, it down yeah. for a day. It sucked. It fucking sucked shutting it down for a day. I hate that. I love. That's when you know you love your gig, when I'm like, fuck mm -hmm. this. Itching uh, to get back. Yeah, so I, I, I boxed fucking Hot Toys all day. Day. like from uh from 8 a.m to like 9 p.m a couple of hundred of them and and like uh robert meyer burnett's all hey uh you know congratulations on i got eight years sober he's all you should buy yourself a hot toy i'm like uh no mm. actually i'm not no, i think i'm fucking done i think i'm actually done uh uh yeah so eight years sober, i don't believe a, a couple days ago and then the, this hey, channel congratulations, congratulations. congratulations. Awesome. i'm gonna yeah. drink to that a bottoms up mm -hmm. to my sobriety everybody uh, and, uh the channel Cheers, turns uh, the channel, the channel turns eight on january 7th so Aww. yeah uh bird up for 50 dollars says hail gary jeremy ryan as quarter black comics x-ray girl chrissy mayor mauler gundam and all the rest along with the fine Folks like Critical Drinker and Midnight's Edge, you've helped me through a terrible year. I hope 2022 is good to all of you. Cheers. And cheers to you. Thank you. Uh, cheers. Um, cheers. I, I think 2022 is going to be good. Uh, I'm, I'm going out on so. a limb. I'm I saying, hope so. I'm sure saying hope. it's going to be Don't listen to Gundam. He's always negative. Betty okay. White just died. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. By the way. We're on the upswing. That's the bottom. That's, That's the, the bottom. upswing. We're on the upswing. <laughs> um, because <laughs> it's the last day of 2022. 20, so it's it's again rock bottom. Rock just, bottom. Only only up from here, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Oh. I, I'm gonna get this one right. F's in the chat for Betty White. Uh, F's in yeah. the chat for Betty White. Yeah, R.I.P. Like in, you know, it, it's sad. But uh, the way I see it, like she lived such a full and rewarding life. I, yeah. I'm gonna be lucky if I get past sixty. To be honest with you. <laughs> so the crack idea. A smile. Yeah, the idea that people. Like that, that she was 99 she years was. old, damn close to 100 years old. That's remarkable, yeah. uh, and had a lot of love all along the way. So yeah, Dude, so, thank so you for being a friend. About it is there's loads of like material and marketing and stuff to do with her hitting 100 that they were so ready to release, like oh. they were about to do it all. Yeah, like oh fuck. Wait, you they, know they had something on People Magazine too. It's like that a little premature. Well, they're, like, they're gonna, gonna do, do that. They're gonna she make as much money laugh. as they can off. No, because what I'm saying is I don't care about their 
like reason for doing it. I just mean, it's going to be sad that like in that documentary that's all about her career and having turned 100, a lot of the fucking interviews are going to be like, what do you think about her turning 100? And they're going to talk yeah. about like how great that is. It's just going to be like, oh, fuck, that's, someone's got to re-edit all of them then. Mm. Like, yeah. It's going to be like Japanese voice tub. What do you think about her turning 100 or 99? <laughs> 99. Yeah. yeah. What do you think about her They'll dying do some... at 100? Oh, it's amazing. It's great. Yeah, they're, they're probably going to drop in some new interviews. You know, it's a tribute now. Which yeah, I was is what they she, should do. She would just keep existing forever. And some at one point, people are like, is she 173 now? And you're like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Betty White. Listen, Betty White has done more for me than the Queen of England, and yet the Queen is still here. Well, she's actually a mortal. I, I take that <laughs> as a, How attack, old is she? And the attack on my people. That's what I take that as. She hit 7,000 like yesterday, I think. So. <clears throat> Years old? Bad. Yeah, the queen. Queen's, <laughs> what, 94, 95? It's all the youngling <laughs> blood. She, she drinks. Who, who yeah. was the first president that the queen met? Those delicious young chimney sweeps. Oh, uh, my God. It would have been George Washington. No, no, no. no. Eisenhower. It's like, it's like FDR, right? <laughs> it, it was Eisenhower, I think. Look at Abraham Lincoln. <laughs> yeah, that was it. George yeah. Washington. <laughs> Fucking. Abraham Lincoln vampire. It's like Truman or Eisenhower somewhere in there. 50s. She, yeah. she, she was around was in the. Truman. Was it, it's mid 50s, mm. I thought. Uh, she came in. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, 50, yes. And Eisenhower, yeah. She was 27 when she ascended the throne. Yeah, she has been the queen and old as long as I've been alive, and I'm old now. So yeah, it's been yeah. She's been um, old. She's been old the longest time of anybody on earth. Queen Elizabeth has <laughs> now met him. with thirteen out of the last fourteen presidents. Jesus Christy, wow. uh, and she looked like my grandma. She totally looked like my grandma, like a lot. Uh, a sticks for one hundred dollars. Hell. Hey, Friday Night Tights, I was going to say something profound and full of gratitude to you all, but screw it. Best of best of happiness is to the fellowship of for 2022, and let's go, Brandon. Fuck yeah. Oh, 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 oh the midterms. I think these might be the most anticipated midterms of fucking of my lifetime. This is going to be crazy shit uh, that's yep. going to go down. And hey, we got January 6th coming up. We got Chrissy doing, doing her January 6th album. Uh, yes, and, and the press is just gonna like fucking spew all over themselves over January. Oh, the insurrection yep. from January. It's 5. been one year since the January oh, six. January six. The I worst just, attack on our democracy. I can't I, wait because YouTube's been telling us they're updating their terms of service on January fifth. Oh, yeah. mm. Yep. Yep. Oh, yep. Mm. yep. Right. Mm. It I'm never ends. About that one for a minute. <laughs> it really does never end. It's uh, you just gotta write it as long as you can. I miss yeah. the times when said. YouTube was, was completely separate from <laughs> politics. Even Twitter used to be. You used to just go on Twitter to like post random post. status. Yeah, up to you see like cakes and shit. Everything is so pants. intertwined with politics right now it's it, ridiculous every well, single facet of our life it's i remember yeah. thinking about that in 2020 where i was just like why is politics everywhere now <laughs> and now i'm like, like that's normal and politics is just in everything it's just every people don't have a it's God what they anymore. want they've been trying to do this for years now and they've basically succeeded gundam's right it, they've well it's replaced their god it's their new yes. religion yes. but their god it's also part of the uh, overall general plan uh comics has been talking about it the the grand reset uh, has a lot to do with it. Uh, there's a lot of willing partners out there uh, <clears throat> willing to fortify a lot of things. Yep. We'll just say that. The Grand Grease Oaks is failing massively for them. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. well, well, yeah. Thank Tide's turning. That's why I think next year's going to be good. <laughs> I'm ah, I say two huge Joe Rogan uh, podcasts. I sharing think they're something gonna... there for you guys. Oh, yeah. I have to watch yep. those. Mm -hmm. Oops. Yeah, it was a mess. Sorry. Do not. That bitch can't tell as what to do. He's yeah, you can't uh, tell. You're not my dad. <laughs> <laughs> You're not Literally my gender like fluid parent. The queen meeting all the presidents, but it would be really funny if Biden was like, oh, you know, you okay? Maybe you should retire. And she's like, my boy. I've outlived every yeah. last one of your predecessors. <laughs> I'll outlive you. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, she's not much today. more uh, coherent than he is at this point. So <laughs> That's true. Yeah. Which is saying not, something. Not that hard. Yeah. She'd probably tussle his hair and be like, no. 
<laughs> my dog is more coherent than he is. Uh, yeah, she, she's probably just relieved that she's clearly way too old for him. So. Yeah. His his dog that, that that he got rid of was also more coherent, which is why they had got rid of it. Yeah. Uh, they got rid you, of the dog. You, last time Biden mm-hmm. was there was they when they all it was in all the papers over in the UK when Biden farted in front of <laughs> in front of Camilla. <laughs> yes. It was like no, that is like, huge. It's like Camilla can't stop talking about Joe Biden and his fart. And like the sub headline was like, <laughs> she claims it was, it was, uh, it, well, I need to find it because it's like what the funniest it? It was... quote. It's like long and embarrassingly yeah, loud or something. Yeah. Wait, this video? <laughs> No, no, it's, it's a, a quote. Oh. It's a quote. <laughs> Sorry, just, just share that for a moment. What the, f- this is crazy. Oh, if yeah. Republicans are mad, they can't date me. They can what? just say that instead of projecting their sexual frustrations onto my oh. boyfriend's feet. What? Is this for you real? You creepy yeah. weirdo. Yes. She it's goes like, to his feet. That is so, yeah, she, so... No, and she goes to, 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 to enjoy the, the one tweet that's talking about his feet. Yeah. And she's like, this is what it's all about. It's all about my boyfriend's feet, not the fact that I'm a complete she hypocrite. Every, everyone no. that doesn't fuck. like me, she's everyone so that hot. doesn't like me just wants to have sex with me. Yeah, That's yeah. her argument. <laughs> this is typical hot girl cope. Oh, oh, I'm sorry you're so in love with me. I don't get it. I don't get the AOC. This she's woman is a fucking bartender. AOC's yeah, just, and she's, she's got crazy eyes. Dabbles in politics. She got crazy you know. eyes, big ass Maybe teeth. She was down. literally yep. pulling down her shirt to show her tits to get a few more bucks every night, and now she's in charge of like the government budget. Also, she has no idea on. what a fucking garbage disposal is. It's pretty ridiculous. It's her mouth. Oh, yeah. it's her mouth. I got something to she show her. Uh, she her. I found also, the quote for Joe Biden. Uh, the fart, according to Camilla, the fart was. Loud, long, and impossible to ignore. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Um, Gary, Gary, I come bearing a video today, as oh, I did oh, last oh, time. Oh, this good. one from Twitter, I feel like you guys will absolutely fucking lose your shit watching this one. This is not as funny, but it is as baffling. Oh. I, uh, I, I feel like this, this you know, once we share it, just, I, just, I don't know how to prep you guys, but you this is that, real. You got that extra? Better not oversell this, man. There you go. Murphy? Oh, God. This oh, this one's like a month. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. It's a classic. This, this, is, this is a classic. classic. This, this, happened, this happened months ago. I, what is. What? <laughs> I'm you, so I'm this, to protect myself. this woman couldn't handle that she wasn't uh, wearing a mask. <laughs> this isn't a Victoria's Secret pink. This is why, well, one of the many reasons yeah. I won't shop at Victoria's Secret anymore. <laughs> so. But, you, so but she's, she's not, not wearing, wearing one either. either. The she's context, not wearing one either. No, that's not what it is. The, the, the context around this video is that this person, this the, the white person basically... There it is. Get away from me! Get away from me! Get away from me! What? What? What is she freaking out over? Dude, adult children, man. She's so filmed by a black woman. I say, this woman now has every right to smack this woman in the face. Oh, oh dude, I, I'd be very tempted to kick this her right. This is like a perceived slight or some kind of like. I thought this was about masking. No, it's not. This is this happened like months ago, actually. Yeah, um, back in July. Yeah, oh, yeah. I haven't seen this. was it this year? I thought it was twenty. Yes. Mm-hmm. Did you do a video was, on this Gundam? It's a class. I was like, going to, then I realized I'd probably get in trouble with YouTube, so I pulled the ripcord. Yeah, yeah, because uh, they're really getting you on the I'm whole private. Uh... I'm not so what is it's she the freaking the out about? It's basically <laughs> this woman did something, either hit the, the black woman who's filming or like accused her of stealing a person or like something like that. And she pulled out her phone and started recording. And this white woman freaked She's the fuck lips. All right, because she knew oh. that she was done. Did you catch that pitch there? That's yeah. Oh, yeah. This is two-year-old. Yeah, this is like two year old. Yeah, this is a temper this is a Teddy t- Yeah, Th- this is our society now. Yep. Uh, yep. 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 The yep. Pitch Day- of a screen. Yeah, I thought this was the same. Who they voted for? <laughs> Fucking daycare. I honestly would not know how to deal with that. I just be like, are you real? Like, why? What the fuck? I, I, it was purely by fucking accident, but I'm so glad that uh, I ended up like the kid raising my kids in my comic store with me and just Aww. seeing them instead of like putting them in daycare. We we started doing Giving that. them culture. 
Yeah, well, and, and to yeah. being there for him, too, and not, like, because I think that has a lot to do with it. Uh, there's a video going around of, of a guy talking about Gen Xers and how we were kind of, like, left on our own. And, and he makes some really good points. Like, we were kind of do-it-yourself, latchkey kids. Our parents yeah. bailed on us. We're the first generation not to do as well as the previous. <laughs> and we just kind of fucking kept ourselves busy. Uh, and then drugs came into play. A lot of us got really fucking high, but uh, <laughs> we didn't have social media. Yeah, we didn't like we were able to deal with certain things because we were just on our own, and we learned how to just get rid of the yeah. the weak links uh, when we this needed to. This is attention to. stuff. Like this millennial generation, and then Gen Z, it's all attention stuff. It's I'm going to scream, get this woman's <laughs> camera out of my face because I'm the one that's being slighted here. Everybody look at me, care about me. They think they're I don't so know what happened important. between the, the generations like I, that. Because I feel yeah, like Gen X was like not like that the, at the all. Internet. The internet happened, dude. Yeah, yeah I guess, yeah. The, the internet, internet and social media like happened. Right in the middle of, of And uh, instead of going out and playing with your friends and actually developing proper social skills, mm. they got onto social media platforms that stifled their speech, condensed what they had to say, and basically turned everyone into a fucking raving lunatic because they can't express themselves properly. Uh, in, education in, in as well. Social media, that's social media and cell phones, I think, are right. Uh, yeah, social media, like, cell phones, uh, and education. Yeah. I think know? this is, a, this is a, a big hiccup. This is a big hiccup of everybody learning how to live with social media. Like every, all of this is Gen Gen Z and millennials. Zoomers. And like you said, millennials. This all happened right in the middle of like them becoming teenagers. And because I remember a time before all this, you know, this wasn't around whenever I was a little little kid. And it kind of popped up whenever I was a teenager. And I could see if you grow up in a time where there's nothing but this, trying to understand how to function like this, because we have not, as a human species, has not functioned like this and been this connected no, no, ever. I, dude, no, I, yeah. I, I, like, I definitely think this has hurt our evolution, like for sure. Like this was yeah, not I, meant, it's this was not, that was not meant to be where our brains weren't meant to process this much stuff and we're starting to see, and hopefully there's a, neck, a generation, that's I think why there we're is, having an issue. there's a generation coming that says, fuck all this shit. And, also uh, with Gen X, there worse. was enough of adulthood yeah. with Gen X. Uh, like that's my brother. My brother's like I think mm -hmm. 43, 45. Like you had enough uh, of a of a firm hold into adulthood where you were still private. And I feel like with millennials, yeah, yeah. notice mm. the most like oh, so much of our lives. You, beca are you out became yeah, an adult. The privacy and has all basically gone out the window yeah. with millennials. Yeah. Mm -hmm. hey, hey, hashtag not all millennials. <laughs> I know seriously. Well, yeah, yeah, not, not all. Dude, dude, no, yeah. Listen, listen. Uh, millennials get a lot of shit. Uh, Zoomers do. Uh, I don't know why people think Gen Xers are the fucking coolest thing in the world. We're shitheads too. Uh, Gen Xers. Nineties are pretty cool. Though. I don't think you guys are cool. Uh, no, I didn't think so either. I, actually, I'm fucking totally <laughs> disappointed in my uh, generation because they're the ones teaching CRT to kids right now in fucking <laughs> schools. They're the little fucking communists out there, little 50-year-olds who are still, like, wearing their punk rock shit and stuff. And, uh, and of course, being corporate simps. And I'm totally fucking yeah. disappointed in my, uh, my rebellious punk rock generation wow. that sold out like a bunch of bitches. Add to that Zoom classrooms and something that we've seen just as a teacher, what we've seen is that the incoming students are all behind, like every single one of them. And it, it's it's going to be a big problem in the next few years, especially as these kids don't have the developmental skills in basic things like mathematics or English to the point where it's going to have a generational as it's going to have a generation generational impact. It's going to be a ripple. Be insane. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. There's something you just can't get from social media as a kid. Like following train tracks under a bridge and finding a dead hobo. The yeah. Wow, your really? Yep. Yeah. Going through his pornography stash that apparently he jerked off into the night before. As you pulled the pages you, open you, to look at the tits. You put together his last day. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like a detective. Terrible. You learned so much. Yeah. yeah. Hey, he dude. got drunk and wasted, jerked off, and died under the bridge right next to the train tracks. Wait, isn't that, isn't this the memory. plot to stand by me? I think yeah, it is. Yeah, is a lost boy? <laughs> <laughs> for all that the reason why we were walking <laughs> on the train tracks was because of stand by me. Yeah. We were like, let's go yeah. on the trains and see what we find. Yeah. And it was a dead guy. Yeah, I feel like Pretty kids cool. just don't do that anymore. You know, like they don't. You guys ever the put a penny the on the? You guys ever put a penny on the railroad yes. track before the train came by and then like try to find it all smashed after you came yeah. back? Then yeah. some one idiot's like, "You could derail a train that way," and I'm like, exactly. "Fuck off! There ain't no way. Fuck you!" No, and like there's no fucking way. If my penny derails a train, it deserved to come off the track. <laughs> they have machines for that now. Like they have penny flattening machines. 
Like yeah. at a uh, yeah, but it's cool. Not the same. Yourself. It's not the same. Yeah. Oh, good time. Yeah, those for years. Right. You know what? Like we used to be bored. We would spend hours doing nothing. Like nothing yeah. would happen. You'd spend a whole afternoon and like nothing would happen and you'd be okay with it. Now it's like these. <laughs> you listen to music. Today. They can't handle silence. They can't There's, handle silence anymore. They can't handle being bored. Well, by they, neither can I. There's not a moment of my life that I'm not spent doing about three things at the same fucking time. Like right now, to be honest with you, whether it's between my phone and the computer and the TV on, whatever it is, hmm. that's just. That's just life. You're high functioning, Ryan. That's true. We need to to monk. High functioning <laughs> retard. Right hard. Right hard. Right hard. Right hard. Like right hard. <laughs> Out of all like the, the the creators ever, the stabler ones do seem to be ones that have like a whole history of another life before the internet, and they can refer yeah. to it and know what that's like a grounding point. That the internet is yeah. weird. Like Getting we all understand how fucking weird it is here. Getting into fights is something I think this generation needs. That's why everybody's an asshole. There's something humiliating, not humiliating, humbling about being humbling. punched in the face. It mm -hmm. just sort of snaps you out of the world. Doesn't revolve around you at all. Yeah, yeah. But, and now, but we're in a society where it's the complete reverse. That got rid of our hubris. That that grounded us. That made us realize. You know, for all the pomp and circumstance that we put out, it just takes one person to snap you back in. Damn in right. today's generation, yeah. those people being nurtured. Yes. yes, yes, you 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 are amazing. You're fantastic. You're the best thing ever. They're being nurtured up. And what Verb they really need is a valid. fucking backhand to their face, yeah. back down again. Well, they're they're being nar uh, nurtured into narcissism, I think is yes. what the issue is. And it's yeah. not even the the getting into a fight thing either. It's it's the fact that there's there's almost you know, in sports, for instance, there's <clears throat> certain leagues where you don't get a tro like everyone gets a trophy, you know, oh, and yeah. that's I yeah. think not, I not losing. That. So whether it's getting beat up or whether it's actually even just playing a sport and not losing, that is also having a huge impact societally. When the whole mm -hmm. point of losing is it makes the winning meaningful. Yes. Exactly. Yes. It, well, I, I never had uh, I never had fun losing and still getting a trophy. Like as in little league, we get trophies every fucking it. time. I'm like, I'm I don't so get it. I, I don't like that. this. I didn't get shit. And it wasn't until I finally we I was in a team that we won and we were in first place, and I was like, okay, I fucking actually won this. Actually, won, Yeah. Yeah. Like all that other shit is it's fake. It's, I remember not, being it's not real, and uh, a lot of people just kind of grew up that way and i think that we there's so there's a lot of things that are kind of coming together and having this nurturing thing nightmare. on everybody's kind of brain and it's making them very narcissistic it's social media it's how <laughs> culture is is treating treating your generation it's how how media is all kind of treating it it's all narcissistic it's pushing you in that direction it's like what gundam said it's like that god is gone and they've made themselves no, their gods, And right? this is why Hollywood yeah. can't stand us. They can't stand the influencers, right. the content creators, yeah. the YouTubers, because we're fucking destroying them, for one. Like, their whole them. model is going to be done in 100 years, 50 years. And, you know, like, Ow. nothing lasts forever, but it's, uh, but scripted television, is get, it's, it, like, how are you going to be able to <clears> compete with uh, some, it's going to get cheaper as time goes on. Mm -hmm. You know, filmmaking is getting cheaper. And once it gets cheaper, then anybody can fucking do it. And then yeah. uh, it gets rid of all those gatekeepers. I mean, shit, you're already able to digitally film a movie on a fucking phone. Uh, yep. or, you know, they they yep. you know they try to gatekeep with like the red. I'm going back. I'm dating myself because I haven't bought a camera in a long time. But like the red cam was like twenty five thousand dollars. Well, you can get shit for a couple thousand now. And uh, Jay Pocket. Yeah, yeah, it's there you Apparently, go. Apparently, Az is making some cool skateboarding videos later with that. I can't wait. <laughs> I can't wait. As whoa, Shred, I just love that. Even like, then, Gary, the, the whole thing with the red with camera the that was pretty damn affordable for its time. Now, yeah. I mean, now, <laughs> guarantee now there's you know things that are cheaper, but yeah, red cam. That's when that thing man. came out. That was like this, holy this shit. This is better than, a, than a, a 1990 studio camera. <laughs> yeah, just the difference between whenever I was Digital. 14, we tried to make videos on this stupid flip camcorder thing that had like two gig, not even a gig, like yeah, that's when you were like in like 250 yeah. meg. And it was like 64 guys, megabit, yeah. Right. Everything was fucking like huge pixels. You couldn't see shit. And we're like, let's 10, make an action clips. movie. Aww. And now everybody has a f camera on their phone that's high, high quality. Yeah, that's yeah. You can they, like you said, make a movie they, they, on it. They can make. They've made movies that have been in the Oscar running that they made on a phone. Yeah. So the the bar to get in is so low right now. It's just getting people to go out and do it. Like it. That's what's beautiful about it is that the cost is so low. 
if you want to make something, you can go make it. Like we were just talking about it as the other uh, yesterday. If you've got something to say, you can go make it. You can make a channel, mm -hmm. talk about it, it, make yeah. a podcast. It doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. Just go start doing it because the the cost is so low. I'm sure you've got a you probably got a smartphone or your friend has a smartphone. Just get it and go go make something. That's no, that's you got something so low to say. right now. To do that's it. the one, that's the one thing left that's working on YouTube, and it took fucking long enough. Is the long form stuff is starting to really kick in now. Yeah. Uh, and yeah. it's not hurting the algorithm rhythm as much as it was even six months ago. So uh, that's good that's news. Good. That's no, that's really good news. Uh, but you can say what you want, long as it's the right thing on YouTube. That's for sure. That's. I mean, yeah. I mean, because there's so much I'd love to say. Uh, maybe I'll say it by the end of the show. Uh, uh, Ooh. Uh, listen, by the fucking next year is really important, uh, and I did see a lot of encouraging stuff. Uh, you know. I was saying this back, and a lot of us have been saying, I'm not saying I originated this or anything at all, but like I am going to pay way more attention who is uh, uh, any kind of politician wherever I fucking live now. I'm going to know everything fucking about them. And I think we all, if enough of us do that, we can actually change some, a lot of shit. And, and Especially that, locally. Well, yeah. Because oh, yeah. there was yeah. a law just uh, passed in Tennessee where um, it, 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 there was an amendment that would have applied to private schools and would also have applied to private businesses to not be able to implement uh, mandates. Uh, and yeah. unfortunately, it didn't pass because the Senate was blocking it. Well, and so they had to take the amendments out. And so yeah. that's the kind of stuff, though, where beforehand I would have no idea that that was going on. I would not have paid attention to it. And now it's like I've actually read the bill. I actually saw the process. That's but, what everybody that's stuff we need to do. do. No, you, right. you, everybody you gotta, across you the, the left, behind right, it. center. Yeah, you got to be, see who's be behind it attention. because you know who's like influencing your Georgia, your Tennessee, your Texas election, California. You yeah. got to see who's behind the amendments, the bills, everything in your county because it's being influenced by San Francisco and L.A. I fucking yeah. promise yeah. you. It, yeah, you were absolutely correct. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, like you can move out of California. They're still going to influence your shit. So uh, you got to get uh, everything. You got to look into who's financing everything. It's going to take fucking time, but like it's your life now. We're already seeing like when we give too much power, uh, we're not as bad as Australia or Canada right now, but we could be so easily, yeah. so easily. Well, it, they're trying to implement that shit in New York. Mm -hmm. They're yeah. actually trying to do COVID camps in New York. They're killing so. the cities. I mean, like oh. America yeah, is killing yeah, its cities. And that's uh, not a bad thing. No, it's not. It really isn't. I think that that's good. I think we Chicago has been doing it for years, but uh, <laughs> literally <laughs> not, not the city. That was the it's the people. people. Oh, yeah, that's oh, why they yeah. have Beetlejuice <laughs> as their mayor. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, well, which Beetlejuice? The one on Saturday Night Live, or, or there's two of them. There's the. Oh that, right. Yeah. The why is he, Juice, uh, Why is no, the, one that's, thinking... the one that's the baby of Beetlejuice and ET? Okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, why is Pete Davidson famous? Why? Oh my God. Uh, no. I guess just as Pete. Nine Eleven. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that dude has to have a fourteen-inch cock. Yeah. yeah. That's the only yeah. explanation. Yeah, it better be big. He's not funny at all. Is that that picture with no like no him answer. and Kate Beckinsale where he looks like a fucking golem? Like, he like does. straight up just like his eyes are all bugged out and he's got I like, can't be too hot on just because that's how I look when I wake up. Yeah, but you're funny, Gundam. <laughs> I'm like, he looks like a fucking go Wait a minute. <laughs> but there's a big difference. Like there's a big difference. You're a comedian and he is not. Uh, Tries to be. Early birthday present. Let's go. Hail Friday Night Tights. By the way, my birthday is tomorrow, says Fritz. <gasps> uh, Phil and Jean, the second, um, for $50. Hey, uh, oh, shit. I was wrong. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, there you go. I couldn't um, find the button there. We'll sing you happy birthday later. Right now, no. I, I want to uh, keep viewers around. Culture Casino for $50. <laughs> Ah, oh, shit, we're going to my birthday in January. January's my birthday month. Ah, there you go. Oh. Uh, happy happy uh, uh, Saturday the 25th. So it would be, I will Ooh. go into my birthday during Friday night tight. <gasps> oh, wow. very good. Nice. Very good. Uh, and you're going to be... Uh, 21. Oh, again. Nice. A again. Good age. Uh, yeah. 30 years. As is the 22nd? 25th. Well, that's a Tuesday. That's a Tuesday. 20 <gasps> Sorry, I was looking at December. 
fuck. That's a real BBC day, then. <laughs> yes, hey. it is. It's a real BBC day. <laughs> that's that's a real BBC. Oh, Yay, man. that's a real BBC day instead. Uh, oh, nice. Even better. Kirchel, uh, culture Casino. <laughs> culture 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 Happy New Year. Culture you all. Thanks to you all. May she be a damn sight better than the old one. Sherman Potter, hail to the best chat on YouTube. Thank you, mods, for all you do. Oh, I love the mod rotting. Sexy, beautiful, patient, wonderful mod rotting. Stunning and brave. Stunning and brave. Uh, very diverse and inclusive, uh, by the way, just like my staff. Uh, yeah. Just like my staff. Uh, 007 Southpaw for $50 says happy new year's eve everybody thank you all so much for the entertainment you've brought us and thank you for watching all the crap out there so we don't have to thank you for friday night tights the real bbc efap etc again thank you thank you southpaw seriously thank you guys you keep us saying you keep us saying it's reciprocal absolutely and by the way uh plug uh hawkeye part two review coming out in the next uh i tried to get a video out for the end of the year just couldn't my fault i got sick uh so i made perry work through fucking new year's because i'm an asshole Aww. uh but i love him and uh he's he's doing some very special stuff this is gonna be a good one uh i also want to shout out uh well could you could you put in uh max's link there x-ray girl uh, max von Priestley into the chat or into, into the, the private screen. chat or could you just share it yeah my Cohen Cambria brother. Yeah. Nice. Uh, check boy. out this channel. And if you could uh, link it in the chat as well. This is this is my, this is MVP, man. This is Maxfield von Priestley. Came to my house, helped me fucking move. Helped good man. us good nice. move. Nice. Wow, that's Not a real a, friend. Like all fucking day. Like was there Damn. morning till night. Uh, <laughs> uh, so great guy. Uh, hung out with him at Comic-Con. Uh, he talks about comics on his... Uh, on his channel, uh, X Marine, uh, Semper Ooh. Fi, there. So check out Max. He's a good dude. Uh, yeah, he was at the meetup too, I believe. Dude. Yes, he was. Yeah, he was in Vegas. The ladies yeah. like him. Yeah, he, the ladies definitely like Max. So, okay. He's all in I shape. Watch the man yeah. fuck you, Mrs. Max. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, yeah, watch out. Don't go down that trail. Max, yeah, yeah. please. Homo flexible. Yeah, Max, is there, anything, <laughs> is there anything I need to know? <laughs> but I probably should have asked this before I shout it out, but eh, whatever. He helped me move. <laughs> I don't care what he, what he sticks up his butt. <laughs> he bought us all noodles. That was awesome. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Out, we talked about Cambria. He's awesome. That's awesome. Yeah. It's a good guy. He's a really good eating guy. Skills. Good guy. He's a pretty cool dude. Uh, those were not nuggets. Those were shrimp. Okay. Those are beautiful little shrimps. And I <laughs> shrimp sucked them down. I didn't touch that shit. <laughs> Really far down. It's a bug. It's a bug that crawls around and eats poop. Um, it's delicious. <laughs> Especially when you fry them up. Mm -hmm. mm. Oh, my God. Uh, not better than crawfish, though. Crawfish Kate, are where it's at. Katniss. Okay. Katniss Barbarian on the Streamlabs Katniss? side. Katniss? Katniss it, Barbarian? Well, it's, it says C-A-I-T. So I don't know if that... Am I supposed to say cat with the I there? Uh, Kate. C A Katniss. Barbarian uh, mm -hmm. on the Streamlabs side for thirty dollars says, oh. "Just a bit of an early Happy New Year for the lot of you. Love everyone on this panel and hail to the chat. Let twenty twenty two bring every creator trying to rebuild culture, new subs, and the healing of rifts in the fan base." Uh, oh, hey, don't, I wasn't done. Oh, hang on. Uh, that, 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 okay, there. Or I'm too drunk already. And that's wishful. Hey, that's good. I'm glad that you're drunk. And thank you for the thirty dollars. Get drunk for me. Um, I don't know. If, I don't know if we're gonna be able to heal fan bases like this because it's like for one, it's not our job. Uh, we we were the fan base. We didn't fucking split anything. I know that's not what you're asking for. I hope we do. Uh, I think by pointing out who is responsible. And I think by speaking our mind, shit is changing. Uh, I think Russell T. Davies, again, I don't think it's, I don't know if it's going to succeed, but at least it was an attempt to try to turn things around. Um, we don't know yet. We don't know yet. <laughs> and it could be, it just could turn out worse. But the fact that they brought him back at all shows you how bad it got for Doctor Who. Uh, Star Wars is dead. Um, and Disney that. is not going to learn fucking shit. They're, they're going to no. be the last one to change party. Trust me. Sony, the, we don't want to make the, the same the mistake 
we don't want to make the same mistake as last time, like with the Mandalorian, where we we felt the tides turning on it, and then a bunch of people just went right back to Disney Star Wars. So like, yep, we, we feel Mr. the tides Royal turning. We. Mm. Right. Yeah. yeah. Feel the yeah, yeah. feel the tides yeah. turning. Keep keep it up. You know. Keep keep telling them how you feel about this stuff, and you know. It'll keep I think that regardless pushing. of whether we change anything, right. <laughs> I think that speaking out is important because yep. there's always people that come across our videos every day. That it's the first time they've ever seen us. They're the first. We are the first people they've heard call out the MCU for being the drivel that it currently is. You know what I mean? And they might have been thinking to themselves, maybe it's just me. All my friends seem to like this stuff like zombies, but I just yeah. don't get it. But then they come across an EFAP stream. They come across a real BBC where people are laying out exactly why they also don't like this thing. Uh, and that's why it's important to continue talking about it. I think. I agree. I, absolutely, yeah, it's yeah. just being real, you know. Like if it if it's stuff that you like, like being a nerd, I like a bunch of stuff. And if stuff is not <clears throat> going the way that you feel like it should, then you can speak. Well, we, yeah, we that's also whole, uh, that's the whole point of being nerds is saying, "Look at this. I don't like that. I love this." Why don't we? Be it's, more I shared an image from the the next Spider Man film for you, Gary. Um, oh, lovely. I don't know oh, if they're God. learning the, the lessons. Of the, I don't know if you... Yeah, maybe they did learn <laughs> Oh, some X-Ray lessons. Girl got it. <laughs> I, didn't, I, didn't know, I, I didn't know that uh, Gwen Stacy was Jack Murphy's girlfriend. Oh! <laughs> oh. Jack's holding the camera. He ever gets so high. <laughs> Jack is holding the camera with one hand in his cock and the other. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> No, oh, uh, man. Sony. That, um, that's good. Whoever you guys, well done. Good very mean. good. Well done. Uh, Fantastic. No, th this year's going to be an. Uh, well, Disney's going to be terrible <laughs> this year. We've got uh, female Thor coming. We've got Miss Marvel coming. We've got the is the Marvels delayed the Marvel. till next year. I delay? think it's delayed till next year. But we have Echo because uh, we all want that Echo show, uh, a show <laughs> starring a don't forget people She Hulk. Uh, she Hulk. Uh, I know. Ironheart. It, Ironheart, oh, Ms. Marvel, Miss Marvel, <laughs> oh, uh, but I think Marvel's got delayed till 2023. Thankfully, uh, and the I th Marvels has the yeah. Marvels, yeah, the uh, Captain yeah. Marvel two, which is now the Marvels, um, because they because needed... she can't sell a movie. Well, so Sorry, when I say can, the can, tides can, Gary, turn, can you just recap content. those the TV shows again? <laughs> Can you just say the, so, the, the, so the names of those TV shows? The shows again, we're getting again are uh, Echo, which is starring... Female. A, uh, yes, a deaf female character with a prosthetic leg, mm -hmm. um, ah, which is see. great, awesome, brilliant. Um, there will have to be other people in there communicating, uh, but uh, yeah, nothing against the actress. Uh, I think she's uh, probably a really nice person. Uh, don't, don't we be also ableist. She, uh, don't worry, she, she Hulk. Uh, we got She Hulk coming out, uh, written by your girl. Dana Schwartz. I think she, I don't know if she's still on the staff. I think she talked about being on the staff a lot and then like never talked about it again. Hmm. So I don't know if she's still around or not. Maybe <laughs> I'm she sure is she's there. I don't know. Um, I don't know how much writing the staff does for these shows after doing my research for, for Hawkeye. Uh, would this surprise you to hear that Hawkeye was largely written by women uh, who had what? no prior experience in writing at all? What are you serious, wow. Gary? No, I'm shocked. I know. <laughs> I'm a little shock. Wow. Yeah. Not just not like soap opera writing. No, no. <laughs> now you can they've gone to tell when you watch the show. <laughs> well, yeah. The, the, their experience was extra crew on some other Disney show. Uh, that was uh, or or uh, or fucking some CW show. I think we should get a spy in there because it's clearly really easy to get somebody. I'm thinking X-ray girl. Yeah. Huh? You want to you want to sneak into Disney? <laughs> And write a show to be honest, it. she's overqualified. She is. Uh, what is what is your experience? Blue. I produced a YouTube show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Going as the bearded Asian lady and a woman. Your hair's long enough. Exactly. So it's an Canadian. Canadian. No, and just go right in. A lesbian? No, I'm joking. There you go. Whoa. <laughs> oh, no, big just reveal. Say you are. My just say you God. are. They'll give you a show. The last time somebody Mark said female, is a woman? And, oh. female and Asian, the, uh, the Eternals was made, so I'm not too sure anymore. I Remember, I'm more flexible. Right. Are you, are you I'm glad that you got that. All right, all right, I P Mark. I could be for the right price. <laughs> uh, <laughs> hey. There you go. Join hey. the liminal order today. Uh, uh, Brad. Just 99 99 or 69.69, was it? You get it 69 oh. for 69. <laughs> Come on, guys. Gundam, do you know what a Chatterbait token is worth in real money? 
I have no clue that there were Chatterbait yeah, tokens. I don't even yeah, know what that is. <laughs> but what I'm is in. It? What is it worth? Well, I'm gonna look it up. I, I just assumed you would know. To be honest, what is it? Is uh, it like a like a Bitcoin? Is it or crypto? Is it? It's like bits on Twitch. It's like just their own yeah, little know. currency, right? Oh, okay. Uh, how much is one chat? I'm doing fucking incognito. I don't want this in my fucking results. <laughs> uh, Chatterbait. Token. Like how you speak. Jokes you on you. Right. It still shows. A <laughs> hundred tokens equals five dollars. So sixty nine oh, would be what, what are we talking like three dollars and eighty cents? Wait, he was like, on like Chatterbait. That? Yeah, yeah. How did he not figure out he was gonna get caught? I, I, the, the, I uh, it must be there must be some kind of uh, oh sociopathic behavior there. Yeah, it that's it has to be. I mean, like. You you upload porn on the fucking internet, like the internet is going to find it. I mean, that happens yeah. 100% of the time, right? And, it, you know, or if you dropped the N-bomb 10 years ago, they're going to find it uh, because what you're going to do is you're going to piss somebody off enough to for somebody to look into you. It's already happened yeah. to me. It's already happened to all of, of us. Time, Trust it me. works 60% of the time. Yeah, that's why. Somebody exactly. who yeah. grew up without going on train tracks and stealing dead hobos <laughs> pornography. Exactly. Hey. So Jack, Jack Murphy on Chatterbait at 69 for a little over three bucks. I guess he was really hurting for the money. That's what he says, but this is while he's scamming people with his liminal order already. So, and, and the, just, the liminal, he's doing this whatever now? it's called, it's, it's, it was in 2019. So what's okay. the whole, like, underlying, like, really quick answer. What's the baseline of it's like, I'm going to make you a successful man. Is that? Uh, it's, it's, yeah, it's basically about networking men and like to try to teach them how to be men. So networking like other people. Yeah. Like a fraternity that they all maybe fuck each other. I don't, maybe that's the real, <laughs> maybe that's really what's going down. Just gathering but, around other men around him. Even frats are cheaper than that though. I mean, yeah, yeah and they fuck, are. I don't fuck frats. I mean, that doesn't I make know, you seriously. a man. Like, that shit does not make you a man. Uh, if you it's like it, to be cool, like building but, positive, like future for yourself and your family and your community kind of thing. Yeah. Right? With yeah, putting that hundred dollars into like well, yeah, cryptocurrency or like a, a stock would be a better investment. Yes, why I help the family and blow fund. <laughs> Literally tossing out the window would be a better investment. <laughs> Putting it in my pocket is helping someone who yeah. needs it. Yeah. <laughs> Gundam will make a man out of you. Uh, I will give you the tenets of the man. Make a man. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> man, a man, a man. <laughs> now you're a man. My man, my man, my man. My man. Oh, no. so, Thou shalt not green, pound thy Green, green happens in the year 2022. It way. does? Oh, good. And, green. And, and that means oh. Charlton Heston's coming back. Yay! To eat us! <laughs> it has been prophesized when Charlton Heston rises from the grave <laughs> and says, It's people! It's people! It's hey, people. The, well, then we're in the end hey, times. Hey, um, Bradley Burnett for $50. <laughs> says, Damn, Perry really outdid himself with that opening. Hey, it's it's an oldie but a goodie. It's uh, like Absolutely. Perry's uh, the F best. FNT Chronicles. I like the way that everyone just started to devolve into arguing with each other. It was it, uh, well, Jeremy and I, and then it turns into uh, I'll finish. Gary joining in, then Gary and well, Odin. <laughs> when, when Jeremy like totally went off point, like he's like, I don't care what they did say to the fans. I'm like, whoa, 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 whoa. Wait, no, whoa, 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 we whoa, care whoa, whoa. what they say to the fans. That's kind of what my entire channel is kind of based on. Uh, I think. Uh, I really hope you guys are probably okay on the object objectus anus issue. Uh, just don't piss uh, off the quartering or you'll be the target of an epic Twitter bombing. Uh, yeah. Well, don't piss off the quartering and then also have done all this stuff for the last six years <laughs> yeah. to prove your fraud. Yeah, that's, that's, seriously. I think that was the that's more what it's about. Yeah. The best part is when Jack Murphy puts out a tweet calling the quartering a sexual predator. I laughed at that till my stomach hurt. Mm, well, yeah, he also that's... accused him of releasing revenge porn. It's like, dude, yeah. it's already on the fucking internet. You that released is, it. That is yeah, not so you released it. Dude. I'm going to cut you, bait, mate. Mm, I bro. don't think you know what that means. Uh, yeah, exactly. Uh, Patrick L's for 100. He was owning it, dude. He was owning it. <laughs> uh, was, that, was that what that was? Uh, Ryan <laughs> Jeremy. Also yeah. Uh, it says Patrick Ells for $100. Ryan Jeremy watched yesterday's stream with Officer T Is it Tatum? 
or is it Tatum? Yeah. Tatum, sorry. Uh, this Absolutely. morning, I watched some of it too, and it's great. Uh, can't wait to see him kicking your butt in Mario Kart. <laughs> oh, well, we'll see. I don't know if Brandon's going to play. Uh, but yeah, that was a that was a great stream. Uh, Brandon Tatum and ABL. Uh, we were supposed to go for about two hours. I ended up going for about four. So it was fantastic. Awesome to meet those guys. And I, if I had to guess, I think we'll probably do it again at some point. That so was, thank you for that. That nice. was really entertaining. What were you going to say before that, Ryan? You were going to say something? Uh, you remember? God, it was about Jack Murphy. Oh, it was it was that tweet where he's like sexual predator. The quartering has released revenge porn on me. A close associate of you know Sidney Watson and Elijah Schaefer, and he's like uh, who, who work for Blaze TV. What are your thoughts on this at Glenn Beck? So you're tagging a yeah. conservative Mormon. You, you're, you're wondering about his thoughts on your fucking gay porn that you put out there for everyone to see. I wonder how that's going to work for you. That's going to really God. work out for you. I don't you. think it's going to go over After too well. After you yelled at somebody on his <laughs> network, you know, uh, yeah, uh, you yeah. know, which, which, you, like, Sydney can defend herself, and she did. She did a very good job. She came out, kind of set some shit straight, and uh, a point I didn't even catch until I watched her video where, like, he really tried to throw, put the ball in her court. When it when mm-hmm. she wasn't really had had nothing to do mm-hmm. with it about boundaries, um, <laughs> yeah, yeah. But it, yeah. She she handled it Didn't great work. and like yeah, she can defend herself no problem. And she did, you know, after the fact when she was forced to release that video because Jack kept lying about her. But even with all that being said, what he did on there it would have just blown over. Yeah, yeah. But he started. Yeah. It started when his reaction was to block everyone who was calling him out. Uh, and say that they're just lying, rage baiting internet grifters. That's what he said. Oh no! How ironic that he's mm. calling someone else a grifter at this point. Oh, it's always uh, now projection. That all we've known. It's always projection. You know the, the you know the twats yeah. before recently. You know you know who the people yeah, yeah, with yeah. boulders and 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 you know the other guy. Uh, they they say grifter all the time because that's exactly who they are. And yeah. if you if you looked at uh, some of the Jack tweets, you know you'll see some. Uh, known faces popping up suddenly trying to play the right side of the fence and you know exactly what these people are like this is the kind of thing it's just always projection yep you'll all you'll all of a sudden start hearing language that our detractors use like grifters and uh, uh, uh man babies and all kinds like whoa oh god you sound exactly like a fucking sjw hmm. opposer yep, will yep. always out themselves always Always. Always. Uh, Bob Dorsey. Bob Dorsey for $50. Good job oh. to keep uh, to all keeping that grifter in check, Jack Murphy. <laughs> if YouTube and Twitter are protecting you, I, I don't think you're conservative. Or, yeah. Um, it, it's, it's, it's not even, it, it's never been about conservative and liberal anymore it's uh carrie smith the great carrie smith said this uh, mm. a few months back yep. it's about uh authoritarianism. Well. yeah yep. so are you pro authoritarianism or are you anti-authoritarianism yep that's what it's about um conservatives uh jeremy talked about this in his video and i completely believe this the fucking rhinos and establishment ones they need to go just as much as everybody else uh, yep. because there's yep. no difference between Biden and one of those guys who might occasionally be controlled opposition, but they're all going to fucking dinner. The Mitch McConnell's of the world need to fucking go. Mm-hmm. They need to mm-hmm. go. Uh, nothing changes until they're gone. The ones who have Primaries. been around for fucking decades. Fuck those guys. I'm tired of all yeah. of them. Um, and uh, that's up to us. That's kind of up to us uh, while we still have a say. And we better fucking hurry up. Uh, you know, I sat, I'm, I'm here in California. I'm leaving and I knew we were doomed. It was uh, 15 years ago. Somebody in the chat will remind me when they redistrict this entire fucking state. That's when it just became a Democratic monopoly. And it has been for four decades. And there's still people like they, they Gavin Newsom was able to win a recall election, scaring enough people, making them actually believe like a Republican mm. could do anything in this state, like get elected or have any power. And it, and it got him... Like, he was on his way out, and he was able to convince enough people through Republican fear. And it's ridiculous what's going on in this state. It's like nobody wakes up to the fact that, you know, the same people have been in charge for four decades, and your life ain't better. Yeah. You know, so if you're not going to wake up now, probably never <clears throat> never going to do that. So 
Peace out. Bye bye. Yeah. Um, yeah. As the midnight ball drops and fireworks light up the sky until a new dawn, we're reminded of all we fight and all the winds propelling us forward. With the winds at our back, we celebrate all those who impact our lives in such a blessed way. You know that was a George Molo tweet. A tweet. Mm. Super chat for $50. George! 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 You're gay! <laughs> Happy New Year. As that's not what you're supposed to say. That's a country. Um, I've drunk a half a bottle of champagne. Well, uh, Eric, two thirds of a bottle of champagne in <laughs> five minutes. Cor- feeling quarter black. As, you're as the, you're the backup minutes, on that. I know. I know. You're it's the backup. Great. Quarter black. You're the backup got, got, on Beautiful Soul. If As can't oh, deliver, you need to deliver the course, Beautiful yeah. Soul. He I got it. I got you. Beautiful Soul. She, oh no, my fucking thing's broke. No, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> the champagne. That's my dad. <laughs> That damn bottle of crystal. Oh, no, my fucking thing's broken. <laughs> I, my voice is not recovered. I can't even do that yet. <laughs> I love how his voice got stuck. <laughs> yeah, it's a beautiful song. Yeah. Men when they can't perform. You're still hmm. muted. Fuck as you. you're muted. As, 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 as. <laughs> He's talking. <laughs> <laughs> you're still muted. Your mother, son of a bitch. No, no, no. As, as, on a different show at the same time. As it's, it, StreamYard is <laughs> muted. Like, you're, you're stream. As Did he we, mute us as well? Or? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's not connected. I'm trying to unmute him. <laughs> no, he's he's. Could, I think he like unplugged it, maybe. Probably. <laughs> no. Yeah, that could do it. I, I want to focus in on the top of his head, though. <laughs> <laughs> what, what if that don't hurl, dude? Don't we hurl. can't hear you. <laughs> Ash, come back to us, sweetheart. We love you, Ash. <laughs> <laughs> Next super chat, George Bolo <laughs> for one hundred dollars. This might work. That yeah, works. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, welcome back, as. <laughs> you did it. Good job. Why'd you figure that out? Hello, can you hear that us now? Now we can't hear us. <laughs> oh no! Ground control <laughs> to major as. That was good. You got you. <laughs> there you go. Okay, George Mola, one hundred dollars. This is part two. Time for the stupid. Never thought someone could out cuck King Cuck Kevin Smith, but Jack Murphy has crowned himself the monarch of the mouth. Ooh. <laughs> Yikes. The ruler of two time losers, the kingpin of uncouth. Uh, uh the kingpin of uncouth, he's a self pegging beta for a new generation of abusers. Uh, thank you, George. And yes. Wow. And I would like to thank everyone out there who got my joke on Twitter. Bless you. Uh, George Molo for $50 oh, more dollars. This is number three. George, where did Az go? Now we just lost Az. a beautiful soul. <laughs> thank you. Uh, yeah. Thank you to the chat and the panel. Thank you, Gary, who inspired me to live my dream, and Jeremy, who keeps it real. Thank you, Comics, who gave me my first shot at streaming. Oh, that's sweet. I'm going to hear George. you. Yay. Hey, welcome you back. It, everyone. Yay. Uh, George Yay. just left a super I chat. Got a beautiful cock. <laughs> <laughs> Immigrant All song. Right. Did you see what X Ray Girl put in the private chat? No. Go tit. Go tit. What? Go tit. I was meant to Go tit. Go tit. Go tit. Oh, it's been so long. Go tit. Go tit, everybody. Go. Wow. Tit. X Ray Girl, no English so well. No. Math good, though. Math good, though. Would you like a cook? Uh, <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Housekeeping. Uh, House, what kind of hotel is this? <laughs> Emphasis on the hoe. Hey, uh, George Molo for fifty more dollars, George! Seconds away from the new year in in uh, the UK. UK. In the UK. We'll we'll count it yeah. down. Tell me when we're close, as uh we're like oh, this is twenty the yeah, yeah, we are second. 21, second. 20. Yeah. Okay, go. 19, 18. 18. 
She 17, is better with numbers. 16, 15. <laughs> Should I go 14, Maker's Mark? 13, 12, 11, 10, 10 9, 9. Oh, eight, as his eight, mic is not working. Seven. <laughs> no. Six, five. I can't hear you at all. Three. Four, three. Two, one. Two, one. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Happy New Year, UK. We, we made, made it. it. We, we made, made it. it. The world didn't explode. Oh, my God. Oh, you'll, 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 you'll be able to hear fireworks in my microphone in a second. That's good. It's like, yeah. Hell Fuck yeah. that year, it's over. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, you guys are in the future officially now. Yeah, That's man. So yeah. weird. Um, still, still got six more hours here. Yeah. Uh, Jort, no. You sound Did like you're it? far away. And I can't, we can't, and I can't hear him at all. I can't hear you. Oh, what I do here. Oh. I, I, oh, I, barely, I can kind yeah, of it's like your It's like your cord is uh, uh, not plugged in all the way. Your cord's too short, or, or maybe, uh, or maybe his volume got dropped all the way. Yeah, it's jamming in there. No lube. Yeah, your get it right in your there. Your volume went down. Uh, how, how about now? Yeah, yeah that's right. Yeah. Hey. Just the volume. Uh, the first words. <laughs> oh. Hey, guys. <laughs> uh, it's year. been fantastic, but I have a party I need to get ready for. So, happy oh. new year, everybody. Happy new year, buddy. Happy, happy, happy new year. year. Happy new year. Happy new year. Comics. Okay. Oh, Comics, I'll be seeing you in person. Oh, yeah, oh, man, I'm looking forward to it. And I am oh, brought oh, to oh, mind Should all the acquaintance be forgotten In Jack Murphy's brown eye. Oh, sorry. Let uh, Jack Murphy watch his girl getting fucked from the corner of, of his the room. room. His <laughs> knees right up to his chest in pain. That guy is gonna Not room. Cool. Match. Ooh. Oh. See, this is. Uh, I thought you were know. gonna say rhyme room with coom. I thought that would have been a good one. Coom. That's what I guess. All uh, over her back. More proof that uh, you don't get to choose your legacy. Hi, Odin. Life does it for you. Uh, George, uh, by the way, that's, there's a fourth super chat. It says, thank you to the Lady of Hope, Nina, and to the brilliant Tom, my sincerest gratitude to my friend across the pond, the beautiful as. All hail to Thank Ryan, you, Odin, Quarterblack, X-Ray Girl, Eric K., and my brother, Sindek. My best to all. All hail and happy new year to Friday Night Tights. Yes. Happy new year. Yes, George. Thank you, Jorge. Uh, Thank you, you okay. Gracias. Oh, God, there's more. Look at that. For 20 more dollars. <laughs> George! So a very happy new year to Chrissy Mahler, and it's a Gundam. Happy new year to Chrissy Mahler, and it's a Gundam. All of you wish, uh, uh, may all of your wishes come true in 2022. Time to get everything back to uh, uh, be right as rain and fill the new year with nothing but cheers. I hope so. We'll try. We'll do it here, George. We'll do it here. Oh, got some big plans for next year. Actually, we got a, we got some rocking, we got some rocking guests with us right now. Okay, we always have fucking the best guests. But uh, a couple we weeks, we got some uh, interesting ones. We'll just say, um, happy. Uh, uh, I never know how to say this name, man. Kver, Kver, Kvr, or Kai, Kyver, Kai Vr. I don't know. There you go. Uh, happy New Year. I'm sorry I messed up your name, but thank you for the 50 British pounds. That's proper money. That's proper oh, money. Yeah. Happy New Year to all of you and all the best for 2022. One more hour to go here in Germany with even darker times looming in 2022. Uh, e E.g. mandatory shots for the whole mm. population. Uh, yeah. Thank you so much for yeah, all of your positive you vibes. Realize that means lined up against a wall. And mm. epic streams and videos. Yeah. Maybe they um, mean spirits. Different kind of shot. Yeah. Uh, Germany. You really you're shouldn't. Nazi showing. Yeah. You're, yeah you, what you, is you doing, man? What is you doing? Uh, you can't say you Don't did not that. see that coming. Okay. Ooh. You can't say you did not see that coming. Uh, Patrick Ells for $100. <laughs> Ryan and Jeremy, I watched your live stream with Officer Tatum this morning. Can't wait to see him kicking. Oh, I read that one already. I got yeah. it twice. 
My God, she's fired. <laughs> so, but Gary, you can tell me so nice. You read it twice. It felt like you read that out last year. It, oh, that, that's a yeah. good point. That's oh, Not to me. That's a good point, man. Oh, my God. So, hang on. I was watching that. Yeah, there's there's something. Uh, Ryan and I talked about this a little bit. There's something on Netflix. I only watched like a couple of minutes of it called. Uh, what was it called again? Uh, Death to 2021. And I think it's like it's uh, Netflix's attempt at being funny uh, oh again. And they uh, it sounds like they're trying to roast the woke, but they're actually. Oh, my God. It's this. I fucking hate Netflix's new thing with this. A whole trailer plays if you go to their thing. Um, yeah. And, uh, yeah, it, they, they they really go after um, content creators in that one. Uh, which You're surprise. saying they were trying to roast the woke? Like, I, I didn't watch any of it, but I, I know what you're talking no, about. No, no, they the, try to make it the, sound like they're roasting the woke, but they're really not. Uh, yeah, that two-minute trailer, it's basically a guy saying yeah. that James Bond has been ruined because it can just be anybody – and that woke identity politics is ruining our movies and stuff. And it's clearly like a shot at us, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. Yep. The parody yep. Of, of us. Uh, so I, I didn't, didn't click on it, obviously, because it did that. So well, I don't know what the whole thing's supposed to be Must be, be having about, an though. impact on their bottom line. When everyone's special, nobody is special. They're going to learn this lesson real fucking quick. Because when Neither nobody's well. special, nobody cares. Well, I mean, Netflix is going to have a rough year because their model is starting to fail on them a little bit. So, uh, you know, the, the dumping everything at once, people forget about it in a week. Uh, it was great when you didn't have a lot of competition and people were experimenting more with series, but now uh, they have tons of competition. Not that it's great, but they have competition. And, you know, maybe if they invest heavily in, uh, I don't know, South Korea, inter South Korean entertainment. They might be able to do okay, but damn, the most of the stuff that like what did what do we get? One out of twenty shows is decent, maybe, maybe at best. At best, I think that like Netflix has such a variety of shit, whereas Disney Plus has nothing, nothing. on there, right? They have this small catalog of stuff yeah. that is on there, but they're not coming out with a ton of new stuff. Netflix has a shit. A, a crap ton of shit on it, basically, where it doesn't matter if it's like a World War II documentary or some random show that's just for the LGBT community or uh, like whatever. Uh, so the Squid Game, they just have so much yeah. stuff, which is going to keep them afloat for a while. But I Cobra think you're right, that, that's the old business model. Yeah, I did watch uh, five episodes of Cobra Kai today. How is it? Is it is it holding up still? It's fine. I, it's it's just. I don't know if anything's going to be able to match with that like first season or maybe Can't. two seasons was, uh, but there's something that's very just pure about mm -hmm. Cobra Kai that it's not hitting you over the head with anything. It's not a super like convoluted thing. It's just right in front of your face and you know what you're getting. And it's just, it's, it, it, it's nice to watch something like that. It's a safe place to be. Hate to say, it's like yeah. a nice, comfortable escapism safe thing, uh, safe space. Uh, the pr but it's but it's also indicative, even though you, Netflix didn't start this, of the problem with Netflix series. They don't evolve, they don't evolve. So we get one good season, and then it just kind of degrades as time goes on. Uh, yeah, and maybe it's, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and no more nine season long shows. shows. What was that? Watch the silent sea. Watch the silent sea. Korea are doing all the best shit right now. Uh, prob um, probably. I, yeah. I, like, I, I, Hollywood is not making the best entertainment right now. I don't think that's uh, going on a limb by saying that. The, 2021, 2020, you can't say 2020 because everything was on, was on hold. But we're getting all the shit that we were going to get in 2020, and it was the worst year for Hollywood. Absolutely mm -hmm. the fucking worst year. Sure, some good stuff came out. Absolutely. But uh, it was like, one, again, I, I have five movies I liked. So that's my top five, and, and some of them wouldn't have made a top five. They were just movies. Hold on. Mind. Eternal save lives, sir. It <laughs> did. Yeah. Oh, think of all the lives. It's, just think of how many lives. So many, so many lives. Do you know the Eternals only came out like a month ago? Like, it feels like so, so, like, wow. so and it's, forgotten. Uh, it's, yeah. it's tapped out at 400 million. Spider-Man kicked its ass, dude. 
I mean, Spider-Man just, like, just hit $1.2 billion, everybody's and Eternals barely got to $400 million. If you like Spider-Man, you're just a sheep who caught a black. Oh, oh that's right. I one, guess so One bad. of the reasons, I mean, if you're a big fan of Black Widow, um, they had a huge <laughs> epilogue in Black Widow in Hawkeye. Like, they, they spend an entire episode, practically, going over, like, what happens to Yelena. Uh, don't care. Florence who Pugh. Cares? Don't care. I, I don't, don't care. care about Yelena. I don't care about Kate Bishop. You know what we find out? I don't out? give a fuck about She-Hulk, Ms. Marvel, fucking Ironheart, or any other failed fucking comic from the last five years. I don't care. Do you not care about? I care about characters that have earned their place at the table. I care about characters that have been loved by people, all people, regardless of race, creed, sexuality, gender, color, everything that have spent their time loving these characters over the decades, and that's what's kept them so relevant and loved throughout all the years. Not this bullshit. Have you seen fucking America Chavez in the Doctor Strange 2 trailer? It looks, it looks great. like a fucking homeless hobo <laughs> that they dragged off the street, put in a fucking denim jacket, and then Cat screamed kids, man. did a star on the back. No, I but what about, kids about, hey, about hey, your hey, shit. We what about Squirrel Girl? Fuck that fucking oh, fairy dude. bitch. At least, at least if it was Squirrel Girl, the one they Squirrel cast, the girl. AT&T girl, uh, I might have watched no, that. No, well, no, yeah. I, 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 I mean, like hey, the AT&T hey. girl. Yeah. The, the, the one who's like, I don't Slow like it when down. people talk about how big my tits are. Yeah, that's a you great got, way to get people to stop talking about them. You got big tits. Hey! hey. Yay! Yeah. Yeah. What's up? How's it going, gentlemen? Thank you, <laughs> Thank you, thank you. Happy New Year. <laughs> Happy, Happy New Year, Year to you guys. I'm in, I'm in the future, motherfuckers. It's yeah. 2022. Yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> Hell, yeah. Happy you. How is it? Is we it any different? cars and everything here now. Oh, you wouldn't believe it, man. There's, like, rainbows and everything. Champagne's falling from the skies. Like, dogs and cats living together. It's absolute anarchy here, man. Uh, Apparently, yeah. COVID has been beaten in the future. <gasps> it is, yeah. Everything's it, fine now. It, it, the, the change <laughs> name of COVID, it's now called the common cold. Oh, <laughs> uh, well. World oh. hunger, everything, it's all been solved, man. It's great. Solved. Oh, the God. bugs are delicious. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, well, mm. Do you know how they solved the, world yeah. hunger as well? All they the managed bugs. to get McDonald's everywhere. It's beautiful. <laughs> Hey, uh, you heard it. You heard it here first. The critical drinker said everything is going to be all right. Oh my god, that meme was fast. Uber geek. Oh shit. Uh, somebody put an astronaut on Az's head. On <laughs> Did they make it black and white? I um, hope so. They should have. Well, made no, it black I hope they just made it black. <laughs> I, can't, I can't share anything right now. If you could find. Oh, that, I see. I see. I got to yeah, share it. It's. It's that was awesome how fast you guys are there you go, there you uh, go. There what, drinker what are you up to my man <laughs> <laughs> that's right that's one small step for man <laughs> You've been that's one giant head, old head for mankind that's beautiful, <laughs> that is beautiful. it's very Why futuristic the fucking americans land on me Americans first? Russia, you slacking. is that elon musk <laughs> it should, yes. give, it a, give it a few years you'll be there hey <laughs> African American. How you doing, Drinky? Hi, Drinker. Oh, drinky. Well, this, is, this is my second bottle. I'm doing great, man. Oh, nice. <laughs> what do you What do you got? What brand? Uh, this is what the fuck is this? Uh, Tanner's um, Champagne. So. Wow. Yeah, oh. it, it was in. It, there was a couple of them in a Christmas hamper, so I pilfered it, and it's mine now. <laughs> so it's it's going down this <laughs> point. Awesome. Mm. Yeah, I got, I got, we got fucking five hours to wait before I can pop yeah. mine open. Get a That's the way it is. Yeah. No, don't stand on ceremony, man. Just go for it. I was about to say, you really I, need I agree. I've only got it. one, I've only got one bottle, so I'm going to drink other I'm shit. I've been drinking, ones. I've been drinking the Howler Head, but I'm not going to, I'm not going to wait to drink the champagne until actual midnight, because that's the only bottle I fucking got. Mm. So it's unfortunate. Uh, yeah, so it's got to be. No, I'm so yeah, I'm sorry. I'm a bit of a Johnny come lately tonight. What the hell's the chat been tonight? What, what have we been discussing? Oh, you uh, missed. Uh, yeah. Do you know of a fellow named Jack <laughs> Murphy? <laughs> Learn of a Giga Giga chat. Subjects, like <laughs> that guy in Boba Fett. That's about it. The Giga Chat. The yes. Giga Chat. Be careful. He might. He might flag this video. Oh no! Oh uh, damn! Yeah. It's, oh no! Uh, it's, okay. it's been a bad week for. It's been a bad week for old Jack, isn't it? It has. Jesus. 
It has. And uh, could have been better. Could have gone better. Did you wait? I heard Matt from Tinder won't even return his calls. Oh. (laughs) 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 Oh, no. Did you watch Boba Fett? drinker or did you skip it like i did you know gary i i tried and i tried but i just couldn't give a fuck i couldn't either yeah. i couldn't either so good uh oh Mahler. it's like hawkeye boba fett it's just sludge man it's just sludge getting pumped into your your face i just don't want it i don't care um yeah i just struggled to no struggle to get any enthusiasm to watch it uh, re- did you not care with respect with respect with respect with respect, respect. We, respect. Uh, with respect we respect all women in tatooine um we respect, we respect equity assassinate me i i'm sure they do i'm sure they got nothing but respect i do respect that ming na wen or whatever her name is like 58 years old she looks oh, great she's uh, great she still looks pretty good but yep. is she gonna i don't maybe this is a question for x-ray girl do you think you know, as soon as she hits 60, she's going to look 90. That's typically uh, how it yeah, works. You know? So you just look 20 years old. So you hit that 60 year mark and then you have curlers in your hair and you're like 410. There you, you go. Look like the you mother shrink. Kung Fu this is like Carl Pell. Yeah. Yeah, Kung Fu Hustle. <laughs> yeah, I mean, there's a point where. Uh, uh, Asian I don't know. women, right? Asian women. Asian women. Right. Good, good great. genes. Turn a yes, and they don't age until like 50 or 60. They age until we age. Overnight. Exactly. <laughs> White guys, I think it holds it up pretty good uh, if you stay in shape until like 40 and then starts, uh, this things start happening. Hey, you know? black, black don't crack. Hey, yep. yeah. Wait, what? It goes on for your own, but only a quarter <laughs> black about, don't crack. What about Ming Na Wen, though? <laughs> hey, he just said white Ming guys Nguyen last crack. and black. Di- hey, I'm, I'm, I'm going to last. It's a, I'm fucking 100. Me, me the now living in Scotland, right? Like a lot of other people get, they get sun damage. You know, like too much sun <laughs> damages your skin and stuff. <laughs> we don't even see the sun for about six yeah, months of the say, year up here. So that's great. <laughs> I heard my homeland doesn't get much sun, so, eh. You, uh, if you walk down the streets like in brightly colored clothes in the winter, you can feel the fucking trees just leaning in towards you, trying to get some like. Oh, hey, there's a Doctor Who episode. There's a oh, d- dude, you read my mind. There's a Doctor Who episode tomorrow. Um, <laughs> It, that means there's oh only two to go. There's only two more to oh, go. Oh, is that the last one? The Wait, there's a Doctor Who episode tomorrow? There is yeah. a Doctor Who episode one. tomorrow. Um, and, uh, and uh, yeah, I want to do our uh, Doctor Who stream. So, uh, I don't know. I'm going to watch that shitty one, and then I'm going to rewatch <laughs> the good. I, I, you want to hear a sad story? Uh, I'm alone. I'm alone on New Year's Eve. Oh, it's just me. Yeah. No, no dogs. There might be oh, a lizard. Bye. Gary is <laughs> Oh, you hit that. Was that, that was beautiful. That was good. Damn. Damn. Yas, queen. Yes. <laughs> right there, it's a fucking thing. <laughs> Brought a tear to me eye, so it did. Brought a tear to me eye. Did. So my New Year's Eve will be, I don't know, watching Doctor Who and drinking coffee. <laughs> Maybe playing oh, with my action man. figures. I might play with some Happy action New figures. Year. Yeah, thanks, man. You should make a short film just playing with your yeah. action I figures. should. Why not? <laughs> All the kids oh no, I brought my figures to do oh no, I I got the the figures ready for Jack. Oh yeah. Oh it, it, to be honest, even if it's just you playing with your action figures, now, it'll still be better right than Doctor is Who. Jack. This is, is true. Is, <laughs> <and Chad. clears throat> no, he's just like metal and hard yeah. and got guns screen, and shit. Okay, hang on. Let, let me full let me full screen this. Uh, I got a full screen in real quick. I'm really glad, is. Drinker, you showed up for this portion so, so, of the so, show. So Jack, so Jack, Jack, I can like, tell this is gonna be quality. This is quality yeah, fucking Jack, entertainment. Jack, Jack's like I might, I might be a bit drunk. Jack is like <laughs> Giga, Giga Chad. He's you can just tell like your eyes are pointing in different directions. Man. <laughs> <laughs> and he's actually he's quite tall, so you might. You, can you go ahead? No, you can't. Yeah, they Jack, could be Jack. You, too tall. you stay with me. Jack's like watching here, right? Oh, my... uh, what's and happened? Then, and then and then he's this is like his girlfriend. She's like, uh huh, Jack. I don't want to go to um that Matt's house. house. And he's like, I'm walking out from my bitch. You fucking go and fuck that guy 
from Tinder. And then and then a guy from Tinder comes in like, oh hi, uh, I'm going to fuck you. Bend over, please. So she goes like, oh, okay. So she like does the bending over, and it's like, oh. And Jack's like, is like, oh, what the fuck, my missus? Fuck her head. Fuck her face. Twenty twenty two off to a good start. I I'm wanna, so fucking I glad wanna, I dialed in it right now. Happy, yes. Happy New Year. Everybody, uh, well, thank uh, that is vintage Friday night time right there. Thank you. Oh, yeah, that'll, that'll be an intro. <laughs> you can't get that yeah. everywhere. And you, about. You, can't, and about. you can't get that everywhere, folks. Only on Friday night tights. <laughs> that level of quality. It really that is. That level of quality Disney. brought to you by uh, an empty bottle of Dom Perlman. Oh, that was so fast. Happy well, that's rest. exactly what my last girlfriend said. Uh, next week, girl. 38 seconds. I only lost 38 <laughs> seconds. I think we've already established that. <laughs> so apparently in Boba Fett, they show how how Boba, Boba Baby Fett gets out of the Sarlacc pit. Is that yeah, like, e- is it yeah. even somewhat entertaining? No. I mean, I just, I just don't see the point. It's, like, it's, it's all flashy and then he just goes, yeah, and gets out and then he falls asleep. He doesn't do some crazy, like, resourceful trick, like something you would never expect. It activates a flamethrower, and that Ooh, works. hello, drinker. Well, my, he does take that <laughs> oxygen tube from, you know, I the don't, Who cares? That's my yeah, question, you guys. Whatever, I, it, I didn't watch it, but you guys said a stormtrooper was in there. Yeah. There's no yeah. fucking stormtroopers that went in with him at the same time during well, Return of the Jedi. Right. There's a so, more important question to be asked here. When the fuck did Chrissy go there? Huh? Go where? Oh. She's been up there for a while. She, went, she was like, eating for oh, a while. Up, up there, no. I was eating. Ass. She was eating. Yeah, Jack Murphy no. style. <laughs> oh, delicious. Uh, I wonder but, why I felt so clean. But yeah, that was the weird thing to me. It was like a stormtrooper was in there, which I mean it had to have been in there before. Yeah. But it, they pulled an ox. Would you say? Yeah. Yeah. Oxygen why was the oxygen, oxygen tube still be yeah. I thought like Chrissy Mayer was making a joke the whole time describing the beginning of the show. That was what actually happened. No, yeah, yeah. yeah. exactly yeah. what happened. I watched it. I did my homework. Oh my god! <laughs> they they just wanted a fuck. They just Thank wanted you, Stormtrooper Chrissy. because it's Star Wars, and they need exactly. Stormtroopers in it. The hell? Exactly. Like it makes no sense. I think they no. I don't think they wanted a Stormtrooper there. They wanted something that had an oxygen. Yeah. Right. So uh, uh, yeah. Oh, cable. So he could, he could, uh, stormtroopers. They got helmets on. It's weird. It's, it's, like, it's, I, was, I was just willing to assume he had it from his own suit. But... I was going to yeah. say, yeah, like, like yeah. he has can't his you, own helmet on. Can't you go in space in the Mandalorian suit? Right. Also, why? Uh, remember, it was damaged oh, though. That's why he got. He in should there, have so. taken his helmet off because like, you, can only, you can only see know. a tiny little slit through it you know what i mean like why would he take his helmet off to like well, get out and then so you can what well, well, you like, can inside see there's the like, stomach of like a sarlacc wouldn't you get like digested or something if well, you're yeah, yeah, damaged yes. even shows the stormtrooper's arm has been melted a little bit so i guess that's what it is but yeah mm-hmm. and and also like I, I think they actually fucked this up in disney canon but boba fett's suit even jango fett's suit isn't actually beskar it's no. Durasteel. No, yeah, yeah. Um, Durasteel, yeah. So, it, but um, Ryan, they, they changed what? all that. Ryan, shit. normally Disney are rock solid when it comes to. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know. I had a shocking turn of events. I'm trying and to remember. Is the uh, is the stormtrooper even a sand trooper? It didn't even. I think he was just a basic stormtrooper. Storm storm yeah. yeah, just yeah. a regular stormtrooper. He yeah. should be a sand trooper, if anything. Fucking fucking Disney Star Wars man. No, they should have just, like, like, just been a random like. It should have just been a random fucking guard, guard or yeah. whatever that fell down yeah. that we saw fall down. That makes sense. Yeah. Maybe it was a stormtrooper on his birthright trip, so then he was out there. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? What is bro, birthright? Wait, wait, wait. It was a all stormtrooper. No, it was a stormtrooper on Romspringa. He was on it. Right, they go to. He's on spring break. The stormtrooper was on Yom Kippur. Oh, Eric Bailey for fifty dollars. His hail all in in Friday Night Tights and rest in peace, Betty White. Rest in peace, Brady. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah. God Uh, damn! I honestly thought she was gonna live forever. I did too. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Mm -hmm. A legendary talent. I figured she at least lived for the one hundred that everybody was publicizing. Right. Uh, a legendary talent and life has left Earth, and she will be missed. Hope you all have an amazing New Year's Day, and please have a drink for one of the funniest and most humble women in the world will ever know. 
What the hell is that? Who's playing that? that sound? Yeah, what the fuck is that? Is that I looked straight at Ass. I thought it was Ass. It's like, it's like this touching sentiment about Betty <laughs> White. <laughs> and we just hear this cartoon voice singing in the God. back. You, you know what they're going to do, though? You were not meant to hear that. Actually, I'm so glad I wasn't watching porn. <laughs> fuck. <laughs> I know. Oh, I know what the problem is. When I was trying to sort the sound out, I switched it, my audio to share. If I go mm -hmm. here, and then I press play. Can't hear it. Can't oh, hear it. Still, I still hear it. <laughs> what? 69 for 69, guys. Just kidding. 69 for 69. We can't hear it as. He was, jo he was just kidding. <laughs> I think he broke it. <laughs> He's broken. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hey, the Matrix. You know what the sad thing I was going to say about the, the Betty White stuff, though? You know what the sad thing is? That they are now going to try and use that as like a like a celebration of life, and they're going to monetize her death now. Oh, like that's... Yeah. I'm gonna be honest. That's, like, that's kind of standard, isn't it? They always do yeah. that. Uh, I mean, it, 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 I hope it was already planned. My death. It was already planned. So I mean, yeah. yeah. But I mean, look yeah. at the vultures that uh, around Stan Lee who were there before, like waiting for him to die. Like up, still um, tweeting out. To, yes. Oh, poor scum. Stan. Yeah, you just know as well. There's gonna be like they'll unearth some problematic thing that she said back in like the 1940s yep. or something. <laughs> yeah. Like you know, no, try and no, use that against made. her, like. Is Betty White NFTs? That's what we're getting. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. Those are some droopy NFTs. Oh. Whoa. Ooh, Betty like Betty. Not Betty White. It's Not too Betty soon, White. Chrissy. Too soon. Yeah. <laughs> Betty uh, White was perky all the way till 100. Okay. So, so uh, there's White another movie that came out recently that's already forgotten, except uh, I guess Red Letter Media just did a review of Matrix 4, which. Uh, oh, yeah. I you know I only watched it once and I ended up dipping out like twice in the middle of it uh, because it got just so boring towards the end. Legitimately, uh, almost fell asleep. I, uh, almost fell asleep. I almost quit I, half I an hour. Quit, I, I was, did quit halfway through. Uh, I think you guys like, just got to get it done. Just get it done. You know. I saw the commercial. <laughs> no, I that's think where I should have too much for you. The reviews have been much more entertaining, uh, as you know, especially by the the. People with uh, an above room temperature IQ uh, who understand what like we understand it was trying to be meta and like uh, but I hated every fucking second of it. I just thought yeah. it was it, it it wasn't meta. I don't think it was meta. It's it, not. it was obvious, um, and and that's I think that's yeah. It was a, it was a commentary on on the Two audience audios. and on the the executives trying to make another movie and they didn't really want to but now they have to because they're going to make it it's like i get it it's not entertaining to me this it was, is not yeah, I, mean, I, I don't think that's, that's, I don't think that's clever it, it was it's not it was yeah, some to use parody the... like satire comedy thing you know that's what? fine but like that's not what the matrix is we hear from exactly. the director it, no, please, God, no. Uh, but <laughs> why it, did you make this? Her, 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 what they were doing was they were using the the meta, the self aware stuff. They were using that as an excuse to just be lazy as fuck because yep. they had yep. no idea. Thank that, you. That's at the and end of the day. That's what they did, and they were hoping that a bunch of these blue check marks would fucking mm. swallow their cocks enough because they wanted they wanted <laughs> to suck up to it. I, I think I the saddest thing was like seeing some other guy just playing Agent Smith and doing like the worst version of smith that you right. could possibly do and some other guy doesn't playing like Morpheus? look talk or act anything like him he yeah. called him tom the entire movie and the yeah. one time he said mr anderson he was just like screaming incoherently okay, he didn't act anything like uh, yeah. you know what it was like it was just like star trek remember it was like Con! And yeah. it was yeah. like, no, that's Mr. not the same. Anderson! Yeah. Like, yeah. And it was like, yeah. let's not bring uh, Smith back. Let's not bring Morpheus back. <laughs> but instead, let's get another black man and make him pimp Morpheus. Uh, it, it was just so, so weird. Yeah, it's like it's like uh, even Ryan, the bit where uh, just, just he meets Neo for the first time and it's in a bathroom stall that he walks out of. Like, mm. like he's just been taking a shit in there or something. It's like you you can't. Yeah. And he was like, oh, I couldn't anymore. I couldn't help but do the callback. It's like. Uh, yeah, I get it. It's meta. You're you're up no, your own ass. Say, it. It's about it's about movies hiring young younger actors to play the roles of older actors. Just don't understand. It's too clever for you. Fucking dumb. Yep, we're obviously all too you're dumb for the fucking sheeple. Matrix. I just feel bad for Keanu Reeves. Like they got him back to do this, 
and this is what they give him oh to my work God. with. And his hey, act, he's his building another wing to his house. He's fine. Yeah. yeah. No, yeah, he's seriously. actually going to probably use that money to help people. <laughs> like, yeah, he probably, yeah, he probably will. <laughs> yeah, absolutely right, Odin. He's probably he's uh, given probably a lot of that away to the crew. Yeah. Uh, he's yeah. probably bought the crew a bunch of stuff. He's probably going to use that money to, to like Odin said, help. Uh, this, so it's not, it's not. I watched the Red Letter Media um, review on it. Uh, I love them. Wow. You know, I think I, I respect the hell out of yeah. them, but I really thought their review was so uh, cynical. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, really yeah. kind of cynical and, and quite mean spirited in, in places. Um, right up my Yeah. Alley. And it was just like, mm. <laughs> what was the, what was their take on it? A lot of people was, didn't understand it. Yeah, it wasn't good, yeah. but I but we loved it. But it wasn't good, but we loved it. And people uh, there's a lot of things it. that were bad, but we loved uh, it. And it took the piss out of uh, audiences, which is good. And it took the yeah. piss out of the studio system, which is good. Uh, I and agree people, don't know, and Honestly, people don't know what they want from movies. Really they just surprised. say more garbage over and over again. I was really surprised by how impressed they were by the self-aware dialogue when I just found it cringe. I was mm, like, yeah. oh, yeah. it's like, isn't it cool like, that they have the, like, oh, we're being forced to make it and they'll do it without us, when that's actually true. There's, there's articles in Parliament and it's like, okay. It doesn't make it not cringe. Why, yeah, said, well, like, why, why are we rewarding it so hard for that? That's so in, weird. In their review, they did a lot of like hedging their bets. A lot of, they say cringe lines, but they made mistakes in this, but... What if they liked it? Then they liked it. If they didn't, then they didn't. But they made the, all these little like caveats in their review, saying that kind of thing. Like they they were cringe. Even I w I understood what they were trying to do with this shitty game development scene. It's still cringe. cringe. And it's still not entertaining. Like I don't care if they're they're trying to make a commentary on executives at Warner Brothers. It's not entertaining to me. I don't want to see that whenever I go to see The Matrix. I want yeah, to like you're, you're literally watching an employee. Yeah, it's like if you go yeah. to a restaurant and someone's like serving you your food, and they, simultaneously they're bitching about how the chef's a total asshole and like they they hate their like, job and stuff. I would love that. It's not really yeah, well, seriously. It's entertaining yeah. maybe in some ways, but like it's not really why you're there, you know? Yeah. Well, and that kind of shit, that that whole like, oh, what if we make the Matrix Four? Oh, nostalgia, all that stuff. That can work in a comedy that doesn't take itself seriously, like a 22 Jump Street, right? Yeah. Something where they like mention that, like, oh, they gave us a bigger budget, but it's basically the same thing just over again. You know, it, not that that movie is any good, but that's the setting for something like that, not the fucking Matrix. Yeah. And when you go back and watch that series, which I did after this movie to cleanse the palate, you know, three is not good. Uh, Matrix mm -hmm. Revolutions is not good, but the whole series has a tone. And this does not fit it's sincere. in the rest of the series. It's sincere. The originals are sincere all the way through. Even the ones that aren't good, they have a vision for what they're trying to tell this story, and they're sincere about it. This movie was all tongue-in-cheek. It was all kind of just like uh, cynical. It was cynical. It was a big cynical well, Matrix. I, I like, that's... oh, you want me to make a Matrix movie? Well, I'll make well, this and throw it in your I, face. Let me make I, a I comment the about thing, though, the red like, pill and about binary choices and... Yeah. <sighs> The, the well, first so half well is that like cynical uh, meta reference and stuff, but then after that, it just settles down into a generic Matrix story, which is just a rehash of the first movie. Mm -hmm. you know, once the worst part of it, he gets introduced the to the new crew, he has to go through all the same stuff that he went through before. That's just like plain clever old Matrix drinker, stuff. Self aware. Yeah, yeah, and they the same, the same, the same and, uh, effects and just shots Final too. Fantasy, by the way, they compare it to Ghostbusters Afterlife as like afterlife was fucked but this this is actually working no. like no what no. <laughs> yeah they do they yeah didn't they, they crap it. all over afterlife oh yeah, 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 yeah. i was not a, i was not a massive fan of afterlife that was a pretty average i wasn't yeah, as but high compared to resurrection yeah it's not the exact, yeah, like, it's it's not the exact same like story yeah, it's not yeah. the exact same story as the ghostbusters it's different Maybe you didn't like it. With, yeah, at least what, they took what, a chance. Kind of Life, Life. I got a big fan of Stranger Things, Ghostbusters style. So Afterlife <laughs> was like as good as we were gonna get with the, with how old they are yeah. now, and yeah, and Ramus being again, gone. Specifically comparing it to Resurrections is what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. yeah, yeah. There's no comparison. No contest. Yeah, no. no. What I thought was funny as well is they both had praise to give, but they had the opposite takes. Like I think Jay was like, the first half was good, second half not, and Mike was like, yeah. no, the first half the was opposite. lame, the second half was good. And I was just like, they're like, well, no, both halves were shit. They but, were like, shit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Total shit. I love uh, those guys, but yeah, sometimes their takes are. Yeah, different. well, I, they're I just different. Don't agree with, I, I think the, I the issue for me them, isn't whether or not I agree with them. It's when they, um, I love their aesthetic of they're just 
they're just guys who like their movies and yeah. they're talking about them. I really don't like it when sometimes they start um, doing a bit of gatekeeping. Like, so for example, they said um, the creator of Joker, not a real filmmaker. Mm. You know, Whoa. Like, like that was yeah, crazy. No, no, and then no. you've also got um, them being like, wow, audiences did understand this movie. It's like, guys. Yeah. Your whole thing oh. is that your average Joe's on the sofa. Don't be like, oh, we understood it where you did not. It's like, come on. Mahler, well, I, I will I'll debate. tell you one thing. Drink <laughs> is better than Red Letter Media. And that's just a fact. It's I a agree. fact, dude. I agree. Fact it's check. a fucking fact. fact check it. I agree. Uh, yeah. the, I, I just did. And uh, I there agree. Uh, no, <laughs> I, true. I, I'll, I'll true. debate those. I mean, not that they would debate me, uh, not that I'm a big debater, but I would debate them all day long on Todd Phillips being a real filmmaker. And I'll cite fucking Hangover One. I think that's like a great fucking movie. Well, dude, like, like yeah. Michael well Bay's a real filmmaker. Yeah. Like, the, mm-hmm. I don't take that away from them because I don't like their stuff or something. Yeah. Like, come on. No, Todd Phillips, like he put, he he's made uh, three good comedies or, you know, uh, three good films, two of them good comedies. And it's, that's the hardest thing to do is make a comment. Also, there's a great uh, video that was put out around the time of the release of the film of him breaking down a like breaking down a scene, and he's breaking down the lighting and the color grading. It's like, yeah, yeah, not a filmmaker, right? Like, like a filmmaker right. wouldn't have those disagree. types of you know mindsets. It's just ridiculous. Well, if I remember, they also liked Last Jedi, and now they've gone back on that opinion. Uh, uh, Force I, Awakens. I Force believe. Awakens. I think, uh, Force I think the Awakens. low point. For they were on the fence with TLJ. If oh, you watch the video, it? Mike clearly fucking hates it, but Jay and Rich are like, no, 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 it's, there's deconstruction <laughs> no, in there, and it's pretty no, clever. I, I think the low point of my like relationship with Red Letter Media came when they tried to review Event Horizon, and it was oh. clear that Mike <laughs> hadn't watched the movie in like 20 fucking years mm. and just could barely remember it. Because uh, he was just yeah. like getting basic facts about it wrong yeah, consistently. Yeah. And it was like, yeah, that's... Yeah, if you're, if you're gonna do something great. like this, man, at least watch the film and like take notes or something. Absolutely, dude. Every time, uh, you know, I'm on with you, drinker, and we, we I, I will watch that movie in the morning before we live stream because my memory Amen. sucks. <laughs> uh, and I'll take my notes, and I, I love doing that. By the yeah. way, it's a lot of fun. Uh, hey, what are you drinking, drinker? I got some champagne here. Is it Don Perignon? It is not Don Perignon. I'm not that rich, I'm afraid. That's what, that's what Az had. Oh, get out of here. Yeah. You're, oh, now right. you're trying to make Boosh. Az seem like he's bougie. He's bougie. As, as, as sent me a bottle of Bollinger as well, and that was fucking great stuff, mate. Cheers. <laughs> we went down a tree. Nah. Down a tree? A treat. Oh. A treat. The seeker is a secret, Prezi. Is that like You a... don't know, so, just not. That's what I do. There's a couple people who are like defensive <laughs> like, of uh, Red Letter Media in chat right now. I was like, it's chill. I still watch them. Oh, yeah, it's funny. Red Letter Media, so, I, I, think I think they're great. They're, they're super funny. They're yeah, very, very, very funny. I like a lot of their insight on film. Just sometimes their takes are not what my take would be. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Nobody's yeah. and that's fine. I hate. I hate their yeah, fans. That's what I hate. This much stuff eventually. <laughs> yeah, they're going to be Things you disagree with them on. It's fine. I did I have one Red Letter Media defenders. They're one R. No, one Red Letter Media. Like he was actually like a zealot. He came out. He was like, "Well, Red Letter Media says that's not how the box office works." And I'm like, "Uh, what?" <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> uh, one of the clowns who guest stars on there like did go after us. Fuck that guy. But I still yeah, like. Red, right. I, I, I don't hold it. I don't. Oh, hold he it hasn't been them. on in ages now. Jack. Yeah. Jack. Uh, Jack. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Jack. What's up with guys named Jack? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Jack Dorsey. <laughs> Yeah. Jack Mur- yeah. like, what to be fair, but, to be fair course, Jack Murphy's real name is John Goldman. Up. That's true. So, mm-hmm. That's true. And, no, you know, oh, trying wow. to hide that. How uh, fucked Jewish- up yeah, is it? JFK was, you know, John F. Kennedy, but he was. They called Jack. They called him Jack. Yes, that's they did. They, that, that's not. With- with- he was also that's not what this story is jack murphy went by a pen name and his name is john goldman his grandfather's name was jack murphy so that's the name he used to write about cucking and to appear in like <laughs> he's gonna destroy form. his grandfather's yeah, name. yeah it's his what a real, great real happy wow. grandpa that there. is kind of messed up yeah, uh, grandpa, I, I wonder what grandpa it. did um bill uh, Ga- uh is it galactica galactic galatica galactic Galac- Galac- Anti-disestablishmentarianism. Oh. There he goes. Bill. I'm just going to say Bill. Galatica. Galileo. Galileo. Yeah. Anti-distinctivity. $100. Hail to the fellowship. Sorry, Bill. Uh, grifting Jeremy's porn uh, <laughs> stash. Hope Chrissy does some more cartwheels in oh, that top. Oh, no. Oh. Wait, you did cartwheels? 
You did cartwheels? Hussey for bringing that up. Heartfelt. Oh, no. Heartfelt. No. 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 Christy, no. Heartfelt. No. Heartfelt. No. Christy, no. I need to put that up right now. No, no. no. Now the, the Christy Empire. No, no. no. I'm setting boundaries. I am setting boundaries. This is all happening. It's happening all over again. I am setting boundaries. I read all the super chats here. We got one more. Yeah, well, why don't you read them before? How about use a little Hold on. We have a Jill now. We have a Jack. Oh, God. The whole show is falling apart. It auto completed on my Google search, Chrissy. Wait, I have to share this. Look, it was a long time ago. It's on Stage Buddy TV. It's a different person. Wait, is X Ray Kill stripping? Is before I was a consultant. No, you had clothes on before. I'm still wearing clothes. God damn it. I look for no oh, wait, reason. No. I just, you know what? I'm going to defend as I You can was strip and still have yeah. some clothes on. Uh, quarter Black. Just, yeah, exactly. You can strip and still be clothes. He has more holes than I do Quarter Black's right taking yeah. his pants off right now. Jesus Christ. I thought, <laughs> I thought that happened. That's right. I was like, what? Uh, three, Did I just see his camera? Guys in? I just thought all oh, women had black tits. Because look at you and Chrissy. I just thought that's how women's <laughs> boots. Oh, yeah. Oh, this is garbage. I thought they were melon and heavy. Chrissy, I, <laughs> no, I've, watched, I've watched this video. Hey, Gary, are you, are no, you figuring out how to segue out of this? <laughs> <laughs> He's like, wait, please, please. 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 I'm, in, I'm in a different year to Gary. I can change the world. <laughs> <laughs> we Gary's are, like, drinking. you promise things will get better. Just, <laughs> uh, I can't control that. <laughs> we are literally changing the world with what we're doing right here. We're saving <laughs> lives. <laughs> We're Think saving lives by hey, teaching look, more men to pee standing tweelic. up. I got, <laughs> I got Conan. You're trans, you're trans uh, low water, I'm a trans tweelic. Uh, low watermark. Uh, that's an, I'm not talking about what's going on right now, but that's, an, that's the name. <laughs> that gave, uh, $100 to a super chat. Super chat. Bubba Fett. He's mysterious. Bubba Fett. <laughs> Um, happy birthday, <laughs> Gary. Uh, happy, oh, happy Priscilla birthday. Thank you very much. And happy new year all. And happy new year to you. That's right. Yeah. Uh, sobriety birthday. 12, okay, 27. Yes. 12, 27. That's right. That's right. Uh, eight years sober. After Yay. Congratulations. Yeah, well congratulations. Congratulations again. <laughs> I'll drink man, it congratulations, Rub, Gary. Rub it in, Gary. Rub it in. It. Hey, <laughs> I know. I had an epic relapse. It was fucking, uh, oh, no, yeah. No. Oh, Jews. Oh, uh, not Jews. 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 Oh, no. Jews. <laughs> <laughs> There were so many Jews. Canceled. Canceled. Oh my Jew. Oh my Jew. Oh I don't even that's, know what I was that's trying That's the to new. Do. That's the new as unchained. I think you're trying to yeah, say yeah. oh oh no and oh geez. Glass, I don't know what oh, the oh, 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 that's, that's another t-shirt. Oh, I was gonna Jesus. say uh, lots of coke and opiates, but um. Uh, I might have just added awesome. myself. <laughs> Man, Jew, I have a relapse. That's I just got every Jew I could find around the house. I say the Jews. I mean, open. Two months in every room, there was a fucking Jew. I couldn't stop myself. Knock on every door. I need to beat up with Jews in the uh, fucking room. I'm just going to say, beat up. Meekler does sound like a German name. It's all yeah. It is. Yeah! It is. It, it actually is. Chrissy so. was really excited about it. Yeah, yeah Chrissy's I'm, super into the juice. I'm German too. Actually, the original <laughs> spelling of it has like an umlaut on it and everything. So, truth comes out, Gary. Hey, the white side was all Jew. It was all not Jew. The opposite. <laughs> <laughs> it was all German. What's happening? I, We're I, getting I, off I the would, rails. I would leave hey, Jews alone. <laughs> I, leave leave them alone. I can't get the Jews out of my head. <laughs> more, Jew more. Year. Should we split off and form our own live stream? <laughs> we can pull an open bar. <laughs> oh, man, I don't know. Good, oh, goodbye yeah, Friday yeah. night tights. <laughs> it's been nice knowing you. Hey, uh, we made it to the end of the year. All right. Uh, Evie J. Not yet for the American. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I still got a few hours to go. Uh, for $200, wow. I better save it at this point. Uh, who's? <laughs> thank you very much, by the way. Uh, who sees into the hearts of men and the <gasps> undergarments of women? <gasps> Peeping Tom. Peeping Tom. Peeping Tom. A 
darkness of shankness descends <laughs> Hor Armada, who divides oh. into multiplicity oh. of lurid distraction, oh. will Tom tear his attention away from the titillating tordiness uh, in time. Uh, what? How the hell was I supposed to say that? Hang on. You moved it on me. Uh, hey, moved. You missed up. No, that was actually X-Ray Girl. I moved just had it. Jews on the brain. Sorry. Yeah. I, I they moved it around. They moved it on me. Bring out the dog. I don't know what it Shit. said. Christy's bringing a dog uh, into the mix. Multiplicity so, of learned distraction. Will Tom oh, tear his attention wow. away from the titillating tawdriness in time? Ooh. Ooh. Maybe you should read Super Chats from now on. (laughs) Uh, Anheuser, 75 for $75. Thank you very much. Very good. Thank you. Thank you. Aloha to Gary. Mahalo. Uh, Mahler. Gundam. The quartering. He was here earlier. And Friday Night Tights. Oh, hi, Gundam. (laughs) Hi. You're doing Sorry. uh, Gundam, you're doing great. We love you, man. Uh, from Honolulu, longtime viewer and first time donator. Oh. We'll be gentle. We'll be gentle. Uh, who knew that Friday Night Tights would be my go to group of expertise on gay porn and golden showers? Happy New Year That's and right. good luck to all in 2022. Hey, we are versatile here. Okay. So Many skill sets. Lots of skill sets. A lot of Truly, them. every day is a school day on Friday night. So it's- <laughs> Damn right. Damn right. I was saying earlier, I learned so much while I'm here. Myself yeah. when, you, uh, when you're on this corner of the internet, you're going to fucking find yourself in the mud sometimes. It's just how it is. <laughs> yeah. Oh Slinging around. Uh, mm-hmm. It's like a trough. Uh, Mike's, uh, Mike C. on the Streamlab side. Thank you for circumventing Mama Susan. That saucy minx. Uh, for $100. Mama. says, hail to Nerdwadic and crew. Love what all you do. Gary reads the super chat, getting him to rhyme too. Mayor on the sexy vibes. X-ray on producer time. 22 around the corner. Rebellion holding down the line. Happy New Year. All God bless. Man, I made it through that. Thank you. And I didn't say Jews. You, Mike. I'm proud of you. I didn't say Jews once. I didn't say Jews. Uh, low watermark is back for fifty dollars, and I just lost it there because I'm a retard. Uh, oh, he says good to see the drinker. Hey, it's great to see the drinker. Retardo, not the drinker, me, me. Drinker, good. Me, retardo. Well, you know, I have my moments. <laughs> <laughs> I have no excuse though. I'm supposedly sober. Well, I'm sober, but a uh, lot of damage done to the brain. Just so much. So much. Oh, what do you want to talk about? Uh, you want to talk about Jack? Mur- no, I don't want to talk about Some Jack Murphy. Jews. Some maybe. But did somebody ask hey, about a Murphy lot of them are really great. You know, Seinfeld. He's great. <laughs> That's about it. Though. Larry. Uh, Larry mm-hmm. David. Uh, Larry David, he's, he's pretty did great. That come, did Curb Your <laughs> Enthusiasm awesome. come back? Seth, Seth Rogen? Yes, he he's did. Providing no, he's so much he's entertainment to us. <laughs> A lot of content made. Yeah. I, yeah, Seth Rogen uh, made my December pretty good. So, uh, he, hey, I, thank I, you, Seth. Yeah, appreciate likewise. it. It was certainly I, a happy Hanukkah for me. Uh, I, uh, I got a million views out of your show, Seth. Thanks. Wow. <laughs> wow. That's awesome. Hola. More views than that show got. I think that I was, that was in one trailer go. Yeah, that, yeah. <laughs> hey, Drinker got a million on one video. I did like 20 and then, you know, accumulatively got a million. So basically the same. Uh, thank you, Seth. <laughs> I, I, did, I did one, got 200,000. the actual TV shows. Yes, the best. <laughs> I got more likes than this show. It's a damn shame. Oh. <laughs> that woman, I'm looking at you as well. I'm, I'm pretty sure that that video of me eating a doner kebab it got some more views than, than Batwoman. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. Probably, yeah. Batwoman's awesome. What are you talking about? What the fuck? Well, d- yeah, uh, well hey, uh, it's- Hawkeye. Uh, got 1.5 million views on uh, uh, what was that? Oh, I can't, Disney like Plus Roku. in a week. Yeah, in a that week. Was the so, first oh, week. It was over five days. So, Drinker, you hit that in the first two hours, I think, in your last video or the video before that. I can't remember. But you hit 200,000 views in like a fucking hour. It was really, that's impressive shit. Uh, mm-hmm. And that was mm-hmm. as much people who watched Hawkeye on Disney Plus on the first day. So, yeah, you're doing pretty good, kid. And uh, they, they suck. They should be ashamed. I mean, how much, what kind of budget did you put in your last video? Like five bucks, whatever a bottle costs. 
<laughs> and power a bottle of booze for the yeah. computer to edit. Yeah. <laughs> Not a huge amount, no. Whatever the internet costs that day, do, broken down. Do you have your, drink, you have your new vent? <laughs> do you have your new drink holder uh, sitting there by chance, drinker? I, I do. I've got it around. Yeah, it's, it's really like weirdly big. Like you know the silver ones. I thought it'd be the same size as that, but it's like twice the size or something. Yeah, it's kind of like ludicrous, ludicrously big. That's Man, awesome. that's, what, do you want me to go and get it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. This will be the only one uh, I'm going to be seeing, so. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Basically. All right. There. There you go. Okay. Look at that. Ooh. Hell yeah. Focus it's in on that shiny. thing. Just a second. Oh, wow. Damn. It is really shiny. God damn, you can't even see it. You can cut a steak on oh, that, that. Man. Mama Susan's that'd be best. Great if wow. See, That's awesome. Look at that. Great if in the reflection we can see it be like gay porn. <laughs> 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 it's just, it's just Jack, Jack Murphy. Jack Murphy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, wow. Inception. Oh, whoa. Wow. I'm tripping. Oh, yeah. Yes. Yes. <laughs> anyway. Awesome, dude. Uh, well deserved. Uh, well deserved. Where did you get that? Where did you get that? Hell. When? Just, when? just like today. Wow. Oh, my God. Yeah. Hell, yeah. That's cool. But they gave him his that quickly. They made me wait months. Yeah. Well, hey, technically that's he got a, it last year. That's a million year, so. one, dude, not the 100. These yeah. motherfuckers that can't stop fucking time. me. <laughs> <laughs> hey, the I million thought, ones they sent I out. I can't like, stop. I thought they were going to stop. Supposedly they were going to stop giving out the plaques last year. I guess they went back on that. So that's good. Yeah, after they found out somebody shot theirs up. <laughs> well, hey. <laughs> hey. It was fun. <laughs> it looks fun. Oh, like it's a RIP, any closer hey, look, RIP YouTube Rewind. Yeah. Aww. Yeah. Never yeah. coming back. They officially are not doing that again. It's never coming back, and I can tell you that. The that gone, but I'm not glad forgotten. it's dead, and I hope yeah. it rots in hell, too. To <laughs> <laughs> be honest, though, YouTube Rewind created a lot of content for people each and every it year. Did. It did. I know um, that's what YouTube hated. <laughs> mm -hmm. Man, but you would I'm think that, you know, them. after they nuked the dislike button, this would be their perfect opportunity to bring it back. Mm. Yeah, it's their time. It makes sense. Uh, I went by mm -hmm. there, and there's still a lot of people who don't go uh, into the building. They're working from home now. Uh, they're wow. just not a lot of people go into the building when I did my yeah, last they, little even working from home. They still clearly don't have time to fucking review my videos. <laughs> no, nope. oh, they have time they to keep a demonetizing mine. They, yeah, they have time. Oh, to me too. They review it and then just demonetize it. Exactly. My, my uh, hotel waffle video for an hour on Christmas Eve, Christmas Day. I Blue know. waffle that got oh, demonetized. And I'm just like, <laughs> I, I swear to God, I didn't do anything untoward in that video. Do they like uh, put you up for false things? Like they say, I'm teaching yep. people how to make drugs in my shit. <laughs> yeah. What? Dude, what? They tell you? Like, they, yeah. I've, I've never had why. anybody tell me anything. I get feedback quite often about how I'm fucking up. <laughs> yeah, the YouTube feedback, they say, oh, you were cursing. Oh, you were talking about drugs or whatever. You guys get feedback? I just yeah, uh, they were click on the feedback. View feedback. Gore. I can't in, uh, view the feedback on why they demonetized yeah, it, though. Mine's just like, you're demonetized. Why? Why? They don't even feel like lying to you. You, yeah. You got to get on me and Chrissy's level when they just lie to your face. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, you were saying 69 bits for 69 while fucking yourself in the ass? That wasn't me. Yeah, I'm going to be <laughs> guessing. I'm going to be How guessing. Dare you imply. I, I'm guessing this episode will not be monetized. It's, oh, God. I, oh, no. sorry, oh, I don't care. It's too high. No, I don't care. Like, uh, for one, like I had Alex Jones on, and it's got monetized. It makes no fucking sense at all. Like... Uh, Our channel's under attack. I'm gonna have no, to do yeah. right. We should all make the make Get, the face. We gotta make the Stop putting frogs in the water and turning the chemicals gay. Wait. <laughs> 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 oh my god. I just got that. That was good. Uh well done. Uh, damn it. Whatever's in the water at the Wachowski household, I, I don't know what that is. I don't want to drink any of it. I don't want any of that. Yeah. I think one of their parents, It doesn't contain talent, that's for sure. One of their parents recently <laughs> passed away. It did, but they used it all up. They're yeah, gonna yeah. take his plaque right back. Horror Amarada. Fifty dollars. Horror Amarada. Horror Amarada. Horror. Horror. Uh, hail and happy New Year to all. Going into the New Year, I know we will all be uh, 
keep making forward progress and we will win i will be streaming on twitch this evening if anyone cares to stop by for the party and of course fuck the government fuck the government you're right her amarada i don't know why i thought about this oh because i said hodor um uh uh, 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 house of the dragon house of the dragon premieres in three months Oh, oh three months. Ooh. Yeah, more yeah, Game of Thrones. Yeah. How excited so are you? Uh, George Can't R. wait Martin. to be d- disappointed. Right, George R. R. Martin saw the first episode, and he liked it. Uh, I'm yeah, well, yeah, sure, whatever. Well, his How opinion matters a lot now. Now. <laughs> right, Imagine if he came out and said, yeah, I saw it. It was fucking dog shit. Fucking shit. <laughs> 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 yeah. That would be great. No. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's like big <laughs> surprise there. Well, I, guess, gonna, I guess I, it'll be better than his book, seeing that it exists. Yeah, I get. Mm, I don't know. Well, like you know, there, there's going to be press tours and like conventions he's going to have to go to in relation to this. You know, whole bunch of things that he can spin out for years, so he doesn't have to actually work on his book. You know, what a lucky so bastard! Keep on giving. Is anybody going to tune into the uh, Miley Cyrus, Pete Davidson, New Year's Cock and Eve? Uh, in Miami, right? They're not yeah. doing it. I didn't NYC. even know that existed. Why? Yeah. Why does Pete Davidson exist? Yeah, this is dad right. dying 11. <laughs> Wait, that's why? Yes, that's, that's a, yeah, why. That's apparently yeah. actually why. That is 100% why. His dad died in 9-11 and everyone felt bad for him. There's like 3,000 other people that did too and none of them are like I know. famous well, for nothing. I will say, I'll give him benefit of the doubt. He's funny like 1% of the time. When? Every once in a while he could be funny. What, what? Everybody Less else than the SNL average thing. human being. <laughs> that's hey, true. That's, that's higher than the freaking SNL average so. okay you, maybe hang on maybe he is funny but snl is really not bringing SNL. that out yeah can Davidson is, can any, i haven't seen anything of his that's funny apart from the one thing that, i'll this tell you what happen. was great from pete davison when he got his face blown off in the suicide squad, suicide squad. that was fun mm-hmm. well that wasn't yeah. funny i just cheered yeah. <laughs> so they're gonna be in yeah, florida. Florida. that was good they're gonna that be in florida good. Could they be? Uh, there could be some Let's Go Brandon chance going on, so that might actually be worth uh, oh. watching some clips from at least. Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's clips on Twitter. Yes, it's strange. All these people want to bitch about DeSantis in Florida and COVID mandates, and they come down here to do their shit. But they seem like to AOC. go there. Yeah, mm-hmm. AOC, welcome to Florida. I'm sure you like it much better here. We're mm-hmm. gonna have to run around with a mask and a vax card. Wow. Yeah, I gotta get out of New York. Yes, you do. Come down here, Gundam. Escape it's between New York. Florida and Texas, but Texas will let me own a lot of guns, and I'm kind of for that. I, I got a bunch of guns. Come join but us, boy. Come on, let's I'm go. I'm pretty sure <laughs> things are going to just turn into a civil war. I want to be ready. I'm looking for the yeah. Miley Cyrus Pete Get on Davidson the side with the guns. ad. Uh, the exactly. Oh, yeah, it was on Twitter. <clears throat> and looking for The side just, with it, guns and beef jerky. Because, like, there's an attempt of, uh, at him, you know, at, at his comedy, and it's really bad. It's... I can't so what you're laugh. saying is that he's going to host the Oscars. That's his is weird. like <laughs> his comedy style is like oh, I, I just don't care, bro. Like, like, that, that's his, yeah. that's his, oh, I all guess. I can think of is the uh, the person. <laughs> the son of a bitch stole my shtick of being too high to function. I can't stand <laughs> it. <laughs> yeah, but he doesn't does it. He doesn't do it as well as you do. No, I he know. Does not. I Look, that's what's so part. painful. Yeah. Of course, yeah, he's now- doing Kim Kardashian. I'm trying to duck. Whoever runs YouTube, I can't remember her name. Susan. This Dude, I'm gonna, I'm yes, gonna deal wiki with, wiki. with Marvel copiums on Twitter, man. This... They, when I put up the tweet going, Mar- uh, Spider-Man has done more money now than Chang Ching, uh, okay. Eternals, and Black Widow combined. Fine. I got fucking copium addicts going, Marvel gets gets a cut of the money, so technically, mathematically, it, it, yeah. it, it hasn't. No, no, it has. It still has. No, you just rub in that Marvel and, and this was the, will never own the character of Spider-Man. They will never <laughs> own their most popular character based yeah. on one fucking weak, bad business decision. They had a chance to buy him back and they said no. Uh, and they find out like Spider-Man just gets more valuable over time, not less valuable. Yeah. And I yeah. would remind them, if this film even makes $2 billion, as there is a potential for it to do, uh, they would still be at a financial loss for the year, because even though they would be in the black for their MCU films with that 25% cut, the rest of their films, which lost money, would not uh, not. Yeah. Okay, uh, quick, quick, yeah. quick, quick, quick side note here. Like, yesterday, every time I fucking clicked on Twitter, that fucking ad came up with Miley <laughs> Cyrus. Now I can't find it to save my fucking life. 
<laughs> it came up every fucking time. <laughs> fuck it. I'm not looking for it. He ain't funny. Uh, uh, yeah, fuck Gundam, him. or not Gundam, Mahler has to go. Okay. Uh, yeah. uh, Mahler. Pl- Baseless anime you okay? figure must leave. <laughs> no, no. It's, yeah, it's like, you okay? No, no. no you it's just faceless anime, man. <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah, I got loads of freaking work to do, unfortunately. No, but I wanted okay. to make sure I Thanks at least be here. here for like a good three hours. It's been Dude, fun. It's awesome. And man. Fucking all, look at this yeah, cast. Man. You got you guys will be fine. I'm uh, sure. Yes. Thanks for joining. Thank you, Molly. Thanks, Molly. Thanks, Molly. Thanks, Thanks, Molly. Molly. Dude. Yeah, it's always a good time with you folks. We gotta and, watch um, Grand Tour together, man. We gotta do that and we gotta watch uh, some uh some Doctor Who, right? is great, mm. by the way. Have you oh, seen sweet. it? Oh. Yeah, yeah, I've seen it. It's good. More than yeah, I like well, to get together and watch it on, on Disney. Yeah, just give me a text. We'll start it up. It'd be great. Oh. Um, Hi. Right. That was my song. That was <laughs> X-Ray that was my Girl. <laughs> my alarm. What a classic yeah. phone ringtone. Um, <laughs> but yeah, uh, Happy New Year, everybody. It's fucking good Happy shit. New Year. Happy New Year, Mahler. Uh, Happy New Year, Mahler. Happy New Year. Mahler, Mahler I'll, talk to you, uh, about, I'll talk to you about uh, Doctor Who. Yeah, no problem. Okay. Um, see you guys next time. It's always a good time and chat goodbye goodbye everybody that was like a zoidberg (laughs) (laughs) why do you guys still watch doctor who i'm curious i mean every time i hear about doctor who you're just tormenting yourself (laughs) um anger i i I want to i'm like i'll fully admit it it's it's out of spite i'm gonna i'm gonna expose all the shit that they produce and embarrass it as much as I can because uh, they they really like fucked over the fandom quite a bit, and they did it deliberately. Uh, so I'm like, all yeah. right, I'll, I'll be an asshole about it. I'll be a big asshole about it, and deliberately I, and maliciously. Yep. So I will chronicle your demise every second of it and enjoy it. Ah, oh, take something I like. I get a little spiteful, and, and uh, you know, it was also the for the reasons it was done. Uh, it was done for the message, as Drinker says. Mm-hmm. The, the message. message. Yes. <laughs> That's perfect. Well perfect. done. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, I just want, oh, I got to stay off Twitter. Yeah, you really do. Oh, there's more nudes. Is more that, nudes? No, no, no. It was like a live stream between. Nudes? It was a live stream between Vosh yeah, and fucking Chrissy. Ethan Klein and bearded dudes. Oh my god! Bearded no, no, no. Dudes. Say another no, word. No. Make it worse. The commie bros. You know. Oh, so it's. Oh, you're talking about other cucks then? Got it. Other uh, cucks. Yeah, not I this. I'm planning the, the glorious revolution this year. They finally are from their it'll, mansions. It'll work. They're all time. planning yeah, from their mansions in LA. It's never been tried. It's never really been tried. So. Yeah. Uh, Bradley Burnett for $50. Thank you very much. Bradley on the Streamlab side says, don't know if Jeremy and Ryan felt it also, but I felt the level of socialist bullshit increase here in Florida really seemed to be coming from Miami Beach. think AOC got confused wow. by the large number of Cubans in Miami. Keep going south. Cuba's so close. I, mm. Mm. There you go. Mm. What is she? I can't believe she's actually there vacationing she's yeah whatever that's what these people are don lemon don lamont yeah they go to the freedom states that's what they yeah <laughs> they actually want to have it? fun wow uh but I, as far as what he said i haven't noticed too much i'm in orlando i'm not really anywhere close to miami but i'm sure in certain places it can be bad based on whoever your local people are there your mayor or, or whatever so for me uh i'm really happy that i moved to florida this year uh and i don't think that's going to change yeah, I was going to ask you how you're liking it so far. It's good. I mean, obviously, you guys see how often I'm putting out videos or streaming or whatever. So a lot of my time is spent here. Yeah, I expected but, you to be Tanner by now. Yeah, well, yeah, he didn't go uh, I, I don't. <laughs> yeah, so it's Florida. You don't have to show a Vax card to get anywhere. You don't have to wear a mask anywhere unless you're inside at Disney. Uh, then you no. do. No plans. Uh, I think Universal also recently uh, put in some. They, they, Recently did it at Universal as well. If you're inside somewhere at Universal, you have to wear a mask. I don't fucking know why. It doesn't make any sense. But you wouldn't even know that COVID's a thing here. That's how That's I feel awesome. about it. Yeah. Do you still have the... And, it was, and it's very easy for me to buy guns, which is awesome. That's great. Which I'm all for that. Do you still yeah, have the person every once in a while walking outside by themselves wearing a mask or driving? I see those every uh, once in a while. I see in those, yeah. Oh, California, all the fucking sad. time. They're by themselves. Now, when they're not Uber drivers, Uber drivers have to. But, um, yeah, it's a good mm-hmm. 
Leave yeah, me. I used to, like, sometimes when you'd walk out of a store, you'd forget that it was on, and you'd get in your car, you'd be like, oh, my fucking God, what am I doing? I don't <laughs> want anyone, to, I don't <laughs> yeah. want anyone <laughs> to look at me with a mask <laughs> in my car. What a fucking freak. So uh, In Canada, it's like to keep your face warm now. It's too cold. Uh, that, that under, don't it's make an excuse scarf. for it, eh? It's the new <laughs> scarf. <laughs> it's the new scarf. Just grow a beard. That's the only yeah. use it has, is to keep your mouth, like, warm. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like yeah. that. <laughs> but if you have grow a Gary grow beard, Jack Murphy. <laughs> <laughs> should I dye it like Jack Murphy? Oh, oh, oh my god! Yeah, bro, I want you yes. to next Twitch stream. Next Twitch next stream, tweet, you need yeah. to cosplay yes. as Jack Murphy. Oh yeah, 69, I know you've already 69. got some of the equipment <laughs> I, necessary. I, I, so god, I hate it when idiots like that they have beards, and it's like fuck. You know, I'm gonna <laughs> no. I think it's like giving back. beards a bad name. Seriously, I yeah. can't, you yeah. can't be bald it's with a beard because, anymore. It's, it's ridiculous. because they're trying to be a man, right? They're trying to be as masculine as possible, come off as masculine as possible. In the same way that, you know, people like Megan Rapino or, you know, other, you know, Ruby Rose, they want to appear as manly as possible. So they have my haircut. I yeah. get huh. it. I understand it. <laughs> Oh. Yeah, yeah. It's, if it's, you want to be a man, you got to rip off Ruby, Ryan. Ruby, That's Ruby, the Ruby, 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 <laughs> exactly, exactly. Ruby, Ruby, Ruby Soho. Uh, I, how, I right. wonder how her career is going to go now. I think Go. that's over. It's halfway down the fucking toilet, making its way to the sewer. I wait. Which is honestly better than it was during the peak of Batwoman. So we never got She's that follow. No, I don't think it was actually. I we didn't get a follow. Remember, then. she she threatened to follow up with more stuff, more dirt, and she never did. Never did. Never, never did. did. Oh. Yeah. Well, she did. I don't, go I don't think she garnered quite the support she was hoping for. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> well, maybe maybe they made a deal with her. Maybe she sobered up. I don't know. Uh, Ruben, there's a lot. Maybe she accidentally skipped a stair and like broke a leg and a neck because she's clearly <laughs> fragile as hell. I know. <laughs> well, she is a small woman. That kind of makes sense to me. Mm -hmm. Why'd you cringe at that extra girl? I've seen so many broken legs. Yeah. Really? Yeah. It's oh, not, yeah. Come on. It's but, no like, big like the worst, the worst. Is that a fetish oh. or something for you? No, no, no. I'm an ex. <laughs> it's no, like, oh, like, oh. the leg is like this, <laughs> and then the foot is like this. Yeah. No. Oh. I saw, I forget who it was. It was a baseball player who was sliding into home plate, and his cleats got caught and just twisted Ooh. around completely. Ah. And, when he, and when he looked down at his leg and saw that his foot was backwards, oh, he no. instinctually like reached out and like oh. flipped oh, no, it around no, no, and fixed no, it. No, no, no. The best is still no. the wrestler. No. Oh, like, oh his no, name. No, no, oh, it's Sid, Sid Vicious. Stop. Sid Vicious Stop. when he jumps from oh, the top oh, rope. Yeah. Yeah. Stop. Boom. Stop. That, that leg was fucking hanging off. Yeah, yes. Fuck no, I don't want it to like. Well, it's like when bloody, what's his name? Irish Irish. No, no, no more. No more. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. He's what, he's running, what, just like, I'm gonna mute everybody. Did it, did I'm gonna mute fucking everybody. The basketball player's eyeball popped out. <laughs> you, you, hey, what? Who? Oh, oh. Wow, how to lose viewers in seconds on oh, Friday night that, time. That wet t-shirt competition titty popped out. Oh, there we, we go. go. That's how you recover. That's how you oh. recover. Wait, yeah, look at my holes, everyone. Look <laughs> 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 at my holes. Ooh. <laughs> FNT oh, 10,000 viewers. I'm going to fucking spit back in the mouth. Okay? Get that off the table. That's expensive. <laughs> uh, what? <laughs> Boobs? Boobs are expensive. They are. Uh, Ruben, These Christopher. They're real. Ah, oh, that's good. Uh, Ruben Christopher Haynes for fifty dollars. I don't know why I said that. That's good. <laughs> that's nice. Uh, hail Friday Night Tights! Happy New Year to all! Thank you for your friendship and love this year. Since Vegas, there is a light in the darkness. Moving to Orlando, January fifth. Oh, why didn't you wait till January sixth? Insurrectionist. We know you want the day off. Only the best to come in twenty twenty two to the fellowship. You are also creative never give up keep working ruben we love you man. and uh thank you ruben ruben and you guys are gonna help right there's gonna be some uh some assistance for him uh, i don't think we finalized any of that but uh okay, that's but yeah so we'll we'll talk about that later yeah yeah, yeah. hopefully he gets some help but like go hey, tit. if it, it go, go tit. tit go tit just get go out tit. there um it's good to see people escaping uh totalitarian regimes i mean that's kind of what's happening right now so Get the fuck mm -hmm. out if you can. Uh, if you can, get your kids out of public school or at least to a public school in an area that's sane. Mm. Uh, man, it's hard uh, to find. I, I guess it's Japan. Good. <laughs> Maybe. Go to your school board. That's meetings. the place that's sane right yes. now. No, Japan. I, I Have think, you seen what they're doing? No. 
Oh my god, like the government released like a statement saying Yeah, we will um, not discriminate we, against unvaccinated. Yeah, we would like people. you to get wow. the vaccine, but wow. if you don't want to get it, do not put any pressure on employees. Wow. Do not wow. hassle that or is harass. Wow. Let's all it's it's like it's approach. I know, it's what? like it's just like don't harass employees if they don't want to get it. Um, and, and and you know, go through all the informations uh, about the benefits and also the side effects. Wow. And, and come to a decision which you think is right for you. And it's just like, you know what? Wow. Sounds... Asians for the win! Yeah. yeah. Yeah, well, it's probably because they've this got the most Asian, Asian, Asian porn, that's right, girl. You don't this get... is why I watch big yeah. to Asian porn. Yeah, I can, I go, you don't get to all of a sudden claim Japan is like part yeah. of your heritage, I was right? To say she can. Come on, China started Japan this. Japan has some crazy porn. Yeah, they do. They're they do. a very suppressed society. They are a it's, got some, it's, got, it's got some good stuff, actually. Yeah. Uh, Those H bombs took them. Went in, they went inward with that. Well, <laughs> no, I think they were always perverted from day one. But that's just commonsensical. It's just commonsensical. Well, they've been through it before. They've been through pandemics before that have hit their country and worn masks and done all that stuff. And seasonally, these motherfuckers too. got nuked. They can survive anything. Yeah, right? yeah they're like, <laughs> come on, guys. But also, like, that's a, cult, <laughs> that's a cultural thing. Is that for them? They wear masks during flu season. Like, that's a, that's something that they just happen to do as yeah. a culture. It's not something that's forced yeah, upon anybody. And it's the people that it's have like it that wear thing. the mask. Yeah. So they don't yeah. spread it. To other people, it's a courtesy. Mm -hmm. Wow! And Who's I don't had like something like that for your so. badge. <laughs> Called underwear, Chrissy. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> of course, underwear. Why did I think of that? <laughs> you just got wrecked by X-ray girl. Uh, damn. <laughs> damn. This is why I don't talk. Vegemite. Pants is <laughs> X-ray's too savage. She can't talk too much. That's good though. No, she's bringing facts. Facts and logic. Facts and logic. That's what we're known for here, by the way. Logic, yes. oh, yeah. especially yeah. logic. Facts, lots of logic. Common sense. All right, where was I? Foul Oregon slime spirit. for fifty dollars says Happy New Year, lads and lasses on Friday Night Tights. First time tossing a few coins your white wife. Hey. We love you. Love all your okay. content, though. Still waiting for High Gundam interview with uh, with DSP Ryan. Ooh. While a drunk as laughs like a loon in the background, gold mine of laughs. Get it on. That would be <laughs> high quality. Fucking if YouTube. If somebody like gets that voice, DSP I will holding. get full blown out of my mind high to interview DSP. Oh I'm currently God. at a three, but I can hit a ten at a moment's notice. <laughs> Come on, Gundam, DSP, he he shut you down. Oh yeah, that's right. I forgot about that. Well then someone yeah. else asks. You don't have to say I'll be there. I'll just like swoop in like Batman. <laughs> <laughs> I got you now. Oh, we got somebody we have a chat in. here. Gundam, who is it? DSP. Somebody said, somebody said a super chat to DSP, and they're just like, hey, DSP, it. would you like to get interviewed by somebody like, it's a Gundam? Yeah, he just went off. DSP, well, DSP went, I have no idea who it's a Gundam is, or this person, and then proceeded to say everything about it's a Gundam. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I have no idea who he is. There's some sicko who made a three-hour video on me. <laughs> Jesus. Wow. Damn. Right, you've, hey, I mean, and I watched every minute of it as well. I'm a DSP scribe. <laughs> um, <laughs> scribe. Brad, I, I recently rewatched Gundam's three hour video about Quartering's interview with DSP. But yeah, that's the one. Um, oh, I need to watch that. That's good stuff. It's beautiful. It's the book I'm an Anthrax. acolyte of DSP. Uh, Bradley, I hope an alien race comes and they need information on DSP in order to save the planet. I'm going to be a fucking hero. <laughs> the, the first thing, yeah, for somebody that like, normal person would say to an alien, um, you know, welcome to our planet, DSP would go, hit me. <laughs> do you have any cures for gout? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they probably do. Um, guys, if you tip $50, then I can wear the gunner glasses. <laughs> The gunner glasses the are still in rotation. F Fifty dollars, uh, a hundred dollars is you get to choose the hat, and then hundred fifty bucks you get a vest. So well, the, mm. I, the vest has been retired, but the, the thing. thing is, oh no! I think so. The new thing is oh, a Pikachu no. hat. Now, what makes this good is while wearing a Pikachu hat later on, DSP starts talking about how garbage workers, the sanitation workers, are <gasps> sissies yes. because they didn't want to work in the snow. I Two lost inches my of snow line. shuts what? down the whole state. Yeah. Yeah, Don't force does. me to get a clip because I can. 
What about, did you like uh, for the Christmas, the freaking holiday pig out that he does, uh, where <laughs> he, he, was, he was complaining about the, pro, like how his stuff was prepared that he got, you know what I'm talking about, Gundam? Yeah, and he did, he did food, follow yeah. the recipe though. Yeah. He, he was like, it said, it said, put two glasses of wine in. I was like, what? I put half a glass in and it tasted like shit. Because like, you didn't put the fucking two. Alcohol with juices, you dumb fuck. Uh, he should have put uh, Mountain Dew on it, like Movie Bob. That would be better. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that, that common relief really powerhouse. Yeah. <laughs> it's Movie Bob. Well, DSP put half Bob? a cup in because he drunk the rest of the wine. Let's just be honest. Yeah. Uh, Bradley Burnett for $50. Thank you very much. And Happy New Year. Thank you for such great content this year. Thank you, Bradley. Thank you. Uh, looking forward to more next year, but some things will never change. Peter Parker is Spider-Man. Miles mm -hmm. Morales is Miles Morales. Steve Rogers is Captain America. And Raylos are always weird. That is so true. <laughs> that is true. And Kate Straight Bishop up there. is Kate Bishop. Clint Barton is Hawkeye. And Santa is white. So. Uh, oh, that sounds like a bigoted message. It might be. <laughs> yeah, I can't believe you just say that. Everybody knows Santa's gay now. Yeah. God, at least in Norway. Uh, in Norway. Okay. That wasn't really Santa. That was a homeless man. Yep. Uh, <laughs> level up <laughs> railways for $50. It was Jack Murphy. It was, yeah. <laughs> 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 oh, first time watching live. Wow. Well, welcome. Wow. Welcome. Welcome. Wow. Uh, I'm usually at work and I will listen to FNT and EFAP the next day while working on my model trains. That's freaking awesome. Oh, nice. uh, That's quite a day. Oh, uh, well, I have I have a Spider-Man <laughs> model I train. respect that. Fuck Ryan Kinnell. Fuck Ryan. I respect that, I dude. Uh, what nerdy what? Easter egg should well, I he add? He said he respected You You were being fucking trained. You were being anti-trains. Yeah. You were being anti- <laughs> yeah. No. Hey, I, said I don't know. I said, I said that's quite he's a day because he's hat hat listening to closet. FNT and EFAP <laughs> in the same day. Oh, right. Right. You're, you're, you are so cynical ally. now. Your voice just has a certain tone all the way oh, through. Right. Az is really drunk right <laughs> this now. This is it, ladies and <laughs> gentlemen. This is where, <laughs> this is where <laughs> FNT falls is apart. Yeah. <laughs> Az is just shit assumed, The Civil War is coming. I was taking a shit on somebody because he does yes. model trains. That's what y'all I have a Spider-Man model train, by the way. I do. Well, Good. I mean, that's... Excellent. that's yeah. I, it Ryan doesn't no, get much more autistic than that. It really does. Gary, I've got a question about that. What? How many Jews are on it? Um, oh, God. It's not, not enough, right? Not enough? <laughs> Mahler knew when to leave. Um, <laughs> Stan Lee uh, and Jack Kirby. Uh, <laughs> yeah. And, uh, yeah. Um, Hail... <laughs> Okay, where was yeah, I? So where was I? First time watching live. I'm usually at work and we'll listen to e FNT and EFAP the next day while working on my model trains. What nerdy mm -hmm. Easter egg should I add to my layout? Hail Friday Night Tights, Mahler, Gundam, and the Fellowship, and all hail 2022. Um, find the Spider-Man. There's, there's a Spider-Man electric train set uh, that was put out by... God damn. Dang it, the, the, that's, oh, I can't remember. They usually, they put out collectible stuff. They're not known for just making train sets. They're make, they, they make, they make, like, dish sets. I forgot what they were. Oh, it looks like a dildo. No, it was like a mail-away thing from the 2000s. Can't remember now, but uh, I have it. The chat will know. Alex. A flashlight? Merchenko, not, not a flashlight. No, well, maybe. Uh, uh, it kind of uh, looks like. It is. It's a little. Don't uh, show me. The best of YouTube is here. <laughs> Gary, thank you very much for putting an awesome team of people together. After becoming a skydiver, I can't listen to you all on Fridays, but I always listen to the reruns. Uh, see, what's, what is this one? X-Ray Girl, what is C? And I don't know what language that is, to be honest. Drunk uh, creepy on the chat. It's like C. Don't give him a shout out. Oh, Rogan. <laughs> I'm a Russian I fan. Don't know what that like is. Um, I'm just but, I love you. Uh, from a Russian <laughs> fan. So Das Vidanya, I'll just say. Uh, from a Russian fan from New York City. Thank you all. And hey, cheer. <clears throat> you should listen to us while you're skydiving. Why not? That would be Ooh. frightening. I'm, it's I a challenge, know. but yeah, give it a go. <laughs> Any, would anybody here? Would anybody here skydive? Uh, fuck no. No. That's yes. my answer. Yes. Maybe it's on my to-do list. Maybe if I came yeah, down with AIDS or something. 
I'll just do a Jar Murphy. I'll do a Jar Murphy and just watch. <laughs> like maybe if I had some crazy like butt F and T in the sky. Let's go. Let's <laughs> yeah. do a whole show in down. The sky. It's on my to do list. My bucket list. Drinker, would you? Jump out of a perfectly good plane with a parachute. Fuck yeah, I probably have actually. I just forgotten about it. <laughs> <laughs> That's the way. I have tempted too much fate in my life with uh, all the dope I've done and the c flatlining a couple times. I'm not going to jump out of shit that's working. Yeah, fine. that'd be the thing that would kill you, honestly. Yeah, yeah it would I'd be. forget yeah, the parachute. You're more likely, Gary. You're more likely to die driving from California to Texas than you are jumping out of a plane. Wow. Well, uh, as long as you're strapped to Well, that's uh, reassuring. Well, say that. Yeah, yeah obviously. Obviously. do it. Yeah, yeah. I'm just saying. Mm -hmm. Statistically. I, uh, but I understand that. Garrett, I mean, you know like, why? You, know, you like, don't want to know why? Because people jump out of plane like once a year and they don't get in their car every day. That's you know, that's. Oh, that makes sense. The yeah. statistics uh, can change a little bit. They you lie. jumped out of a plane every day as many times as you drove. It would probably What about change. the stats about people killed by vending machines? <laughs> Well, it's, like a, it's like the stats of people who on top buy of them. Uh, yeah. lottery like, tickets. They try and tip them to get free to stuff out. You're more likely to die from that than to die from... Imagine It's natural selection, that is. That's all that is. You're trying to get the dirty underpants out of the vending machine, and your arm gets stuck. Yeah, in Japan. We're back to Japan. We're back to Japan. See, see, you're at... Go on. Here you go. So, you have a... 0.0007% chance of dying in a skydive compared to a 0.0167 chance of dying in a car accident that's based on every 20,000 miles you drive. So that's not like just a drive to, the, to work or something like that. That's a long ass way. It's several years worth of driving. So you're 24 times more likely to die in a car accident than you are skydiving. And I've done, I've done more driving than the average bear because I was a delivery driver for a while. So I was putting on... 400 miles a day for like Ooh. four years of my life in Southern California on Southern California freeways. Oof. Yeah, and look at you now, you're still alive. I'm so. still alive. I saw Beat some the odds. Crazy it just means shit. it's right around the corner. I drove the worst one was driving through uh, a diesel spill. Uh, and like oh, you no. have no control over your car at that you point. You had to make the delivery. Yep. I was sitting there <laughs> just driving. I saw I saw an 18 wheeler hung up on the middle of the freeway. I'm like, whoa, that looks pretty fucked up. And all of a sudden, my car just starts going. Oh, <laughs> just fucking. Yeah. And I'm like, all right. Uh, and I, I ended up riding God myself, <laughs> didn't hit anything. Um, and came, that's the closest I've ever come to completely shitting my pants. Like I was fucking, <laughs> fuck. uh, and I like, shit my pants at the start of the stream. I was so high, dude, I, I was going when 70 down the freeway. Imagine going to 70 and then your car just like lose you. Like you have no Been control. Over it. Oh, that's yeah. so scary. Ice, man. I've yeah. done that. It's scary. Yeah, it's I crashed that's just because you're a woman. My car. No, it was icy. I 360 uh -huh. three times into oncoming traffic. I still lived. Follow Sounds you. badass. Did if I was Asian, I'd never flip. talk about crashing a car ever. Even <laughs> oh. if I, did. I didn't crash my car. It's like, it was like fun. I drove through eight lanes of traffic and spun around eight <laughs> times and didn't hit anyone. Well, yeah, and then I just that's what it was bragging. Fine. That's bragging for an Asian I, woman. I, I kept it, on uh, going and I was still alive. Okay, it, just it, saying. It, it is known. It's, it's going to be like that bit from Wolf of Wall Street where he thinks he drove home totally oh, perfect yeah. in his Lamborghini. <laughs> yeah. He gets taken outside. He's like, uh, maybe I didn't make it quite she's, back. She's like, <laughs> I'm fine. Fucked. Not to mention all the people that well it is known this is a barrier joke that they probably won't like very much but it, it is known that the most dangerous place on earth is the dmv in daily city so we'll just leave Where's it there what? i'll give myself everybody from the bay area will laugh at that one they'll know exactly bay area. it's a horrible horrible joke <laughs> about uh uh certain drivers uh kyle gardner <laughs> for fifty dollars you guys want some great Star Wars? Check out Darth Ain Angelus. Angelus. Fan, An yeah. fan made yeah, animated heir to the Empire Part One is an absolute best thing I've seen uh, that is Star Wars related. Uh, have you seen yeah. it, Ryan? Yeah, it yeah. He, uh, he, I think he's got maybe like two or three hours of it now. He's doing oh, shit. animated like chapter by chapter of wow. Heir to the Empire. Oh, uh, you know, from 1991. It, oh, it's, really, it's really cool. Yeah, so. It's definitely worth checking out. <laughs> um, For some actually, reason, I thought you were going to say Darth Anal. I don't know well, why. Because we've been talking a lot of Jack Murphy. It's yeah. yeah, it's okay. Anal. Copyright that. A A A Anal. Darth Angelus. Oh, is it got Star Wars music in it? Oh, there it, it probably is. does. It 
probably does have some, uh, but we can mute it and look at it. Could you uh, share that X-ray girl? I can give you the link here. Boom. Oh uh, yeah, sure. Boom. Here, I'll pop the link in the, in the private <laughs> chat. We've got to, we've got to, we've got. A, I've got to read some super chats after we show this and get the heck out of here because I got to go visit me mom after Aww, this. Me mom. Uh, me mom. Me me. Oh Jesus. Me mom. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna run through these. Uh, I can go a little over six minutes, but not much. Um, my mom uh, had a bit of a fall today, oh, no. uh, so I almost called off the show. And I did. <gasps> oh, um, no. So she's doing good. She's fine. She's like she's. I'm. Just, but I'm gonna just go make sure she's okay. I'm gonna go check in on her because she's not young. Uh, but neither am I. Does she Chris, drink? Uh, no, no, uh, no. Well, there goes my, my idea. The only rebel. No, she's yeah. not. Oh well, she's on a multi. She's on a pharmacy full of pills, but uh, no drinking. Uh, Christos Diablos for forty, but she's got a lot of stuff going on. Um, 40 pounds says, Hail Friday Night Tights, long time lurker, first time super chatter. Why, thank you. Uh, I just wanted to say thanks for the many hours of entertainment and insight you've provided me. Happy New Year's to everyone. I hope it's a great one for you all. To you as well, Christos. Thank you very much. You guys have been, I, um, words cannot describe how grateful we are for all of you how thankful we are it's it's it would be feeble to even try we will uh but that's why we do the meetups um and member streams and all that stuff and uh just thanks for supporting us thanks for supporting independent content uh because you know we there's some like really good stuff there's artistic stuff out there like i would call like mauler and drinker artistic in what they do I don't know about me, but they I, I would say they are. Uh, it's very creative, and it's a new form of media, and it is the alternate entertainment. Yeah, it's based on other entertainment, but people have been doing that for years. Uh, Can I but, give a shout-out here to who I think is one of the best reviewers on YouTube besides Drinker? Yeah, of course. Yes. Professor Tosspot, the puppet. He's a goddamn genius. Professor but nobody Tosspot. knows Tosspot? Hang on. I don't oh, think I've seen no. Professor Toss. Oh, I bloody didn't know hell. If that was a joke. No, no, I, I know. Okay, no, no. He's, yeah, 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 yeah. He's good. He's good. It's Vox's Productions. Right? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, that's good stuff. That is very good stuff. You are right. I, he should have had a show. <laughs> okay, I, I know you're talking about yeah. that. Yeah, yeah. Now that I looked it up, yeah. He's pretty great. Hey, hey, hail to the puppeteers out there who are trying to make it, and comedians. And. It, Man, it, it, there must have been a time on YouTube Gundam where you're like, this is it. This is where I was yes. meant to be. This is where I was meant to be. And then uh, the old days yeah. of fucking the Tourette's guy. Like, yeah. Somebody breaks into his house or something and he calls the police while looking out the window and he goes, how do I describe him? He's a long leg pissed off Puerto Rican. I was like, <laughs> this, is, this is it. This is the place to be. I found my home. <laughs> my, my people. <laughs> Uh, and now I look at this crap hole. And now, like, now we have to say shit like istophobe and Yahtzees, and we can't, you, you know. You can't talk about you know, certain things. Oh, I, know yeah. I know Professor Tosspot. Uh, Rainbow Coof. operations. Uh, <laughs> uh, but but people could talk all day long about uh, an insurrection. Uh, yeah. We know. Oh, you said it. <clears throat> Uh oh, I know. We know the fear porn media loved the Koof death counter. As of uh, mm -hmm. as twenty twenty one ends, do we know the final number of lives saved by the Eternals? Looking back, <laughs> what was the worst wokest thing in entertainment in twenty twenty one apart from the Eternals? God, it might be Santa Inc. Just off yeah, the top of my head, pretty, yeah, pretty dire, yeah. Mm, um. I think the Matrix gives a run for the money as well, you know. Yeah. I mean, Falcon and the Winter Soldier was a low point for me. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Yep. True. Wow. I forgot all that stuff. I don't know what year. needs to be done. A but lot. You need to do better. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> when the better. when the cops pulled up on Falcon, that was really like a moment where I was like, "Oh no, what are you doing?" <laughs> when he couldn't get the bank loan, I was like, "What the fuck?" Yeah. How are you yeah. being what? racially get... profiled in the project? See, this is the Seriously. kind of thing like we, you know, like this is where. Quarter Black Garrett's really going to help this channel because we'll have that that kind of thing prepared for the show, so we can kind of go over that. Because I would love, maybe we could talk about it next week. Doesn't matter. We're still kind of towards the end of the year because mm -hmm. uh, I think it's a really good question. Like, what was the worst? What was the worst moment? What was mm -hmm. the worst thing? Um, 
What was the most Low damage? Damage, most damaging shocking. thing? Yeah. The best thing? Uh, yeah. Uh, like um. Ooh, doo, 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 out of Marvel. Black Widow. Black Widow was. What was the worst Marvel? Garbage. It's tough just one. God, Black Widow was. There was so much bad garbage. Marvel. You guys didn't see Hawkeye, man. Like that that finale of Hawkeye, yeah. fucks with fucks with Endgame, fucks with Black Widow's character, flux with fucks with uh, and flux flux, flux. flux. It does flux with it. flux with it. It fucks flux with Vincent. Vincent flux from Doctor Who. Vincent D'Onofrio's <sighs> Kingpin. Like it fucks with the most perfect perfect fucking Marvel thing they have done, and it fucks it in an episode. Uh, it fucks with Hawkeye. Like that that finale is bad so it's as bad as all of loki and falcon winter soldier yeah. while i was sick i watched the entirety of the daredevil run on netflix and nothing the mcu ever does will come close to that no it really yeah. won't that was a hell of a show the first season is just perfect so good and, so and good. the reason the hallway that, scene yeah and it's so mm -hmm. it's just so grounded and low-key and like it's not the end of the fucking world right it's just yeah. not street level and it's yeah. street level stuff and i think that's why a lot of other reasons but i think that's why defenders was so trash because you took all these characters who had their own you know successful i thought iron fist was pretty bad in general but like oh, their yes. own things yeah. that you brought them together and tried to make it into a big deal and that's not what those shows were supposed to be no. those shows yeah. are supposed yeah. to be a small deal uh it just did not work when you brought them all together no yeah, what, jessica jones daredevil uh, Daredevil, especially season one, was laser focused on adapting his origin from the Frank Miller side. And you had two guy, two fucking like alpha writers, by the way, who had worked on Buffy and Angel and uh, again, Spartacus, which you haven't seen Spartacus. Fuck, it's so good, especially season one. Uh, and and mm -hmm. they had and, and it took a cue from Dark Knight and did something better because it made the villain and the hero and the sub characters like equal. They were all fucking good. There isn't a wasted minute mm -hmm. in that fucking show. And it's a beautiful origin. Yeah. And it shows that like superhero storytelling is tailor made for premium format television because it's serialized storytelling. It's better than films. And that's like <clears throat> the one time they got it right because they found a couple of guys who just loved the, the source material. It was yeah. I mean, it's not rocket science. There was no subverting expectations, no unreliable narrator. They told a very linear story and it was great. I love it. Yeah. Obviously. Yeah. Obviously. Roman Henrich for 500 Czechoslovakian pesos says, uh, Happy New Year from Czech Republic. Happy New Year to you. Happy New Year. Oh, you Happy New Year. Year. I feel bad for the Eastern Europeans because you're going to be the bad guys in Hollywood forever. Like, you, you are just going to be the bad guys. You're the baddies. I don't know. Tran uh, transition. You'd yeah, be okay if you do that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, for like, say, yeah I think the America. I think America is going to be giving them a run for its money. Uh, yeah. Uh, hopefully, unlike uh, they were in a Hawkeye, you won't be portrayed as literally the stupidest people on earth. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Morons. Yeah. Cool moment. Oh my god. Run by a deaf girl. Oh, Hawkeye says With you make. Like... Hawkeye says to Kate Bishop. Oh, well, he right, goes, yeah. "You make me better." You make what? me better. That's how he ends the fucking no. show. He goes, you oh, make me no. better. After she oh, fights Kingpin. She fights Kingpin, and, I mean, she gets thrown around a lot, but uh, remember in Daredevil when he was getting thrown around by Kingpin, he's got blood fucking pouring out of his face and shit. Fucking uh, Haley Seinfeld gets up and all. It was don't bleed the Marvel movies. Hey Hawkeye. Oh, Perry, if you're out there, I have to send you a clip. There's one where they shoot a trick arrow and you see all the bad guys run up in the ice and stop and wait for them to shoot the trick arrows. And then when they shoot the trick arrows, they start doing like this gyrating. They're all like, like, what the fuck is this? They're all getting hit with those little pins. Yeah, is that, that it was, one? Yeah. But there was a, the gas the one that was next time. I think they thought they were getting hit by the same pins, but it was gas, so they had the same reaction. I'm like, what the fuck is this? It was so <laughs> lame. The only good part was when they used the pim arrow to shrink, shrink the van, and then the fucking owl comes and eats the guy. That was pretty good, yeah. yeah. I, uh, there was a, no, but the only time I chuckled was when uh, fucking Jack Duquesne was getting arrested. He's like, I've never worked a day in my life. <laughs> you know, <laughs> I'm like, that was pretty funny. But everything else sucks shit. Uh, that actor was pretty good. He was good, but, like, why did he, this whole sword thing at the end was 
retarded because they didn't. Yeah. I, you could tell they cut the build up to that out because it was so fucking boring. And then why the did one they go thing they had to that was the fact that that he had fought uh, uh, New Hawkeye uh, earlier, like that he was Kate trained Bishop, with a sword. Yeah, the, that was the only callback. But why would you bring a yep. sword to a fucking party? It's dumb. <laughs> yep. uh, uh, and, and also, why would the people with guns just shoot the guy with the sword? <laughs> why did all the people with guns stop <laughs> using guns? <laughs> yeah. Why? Why? Why do they they have a fight on the roof and everybody stops so Clint can like say goodbye to Kate Bishop? Like, I'm gonna cut you loose now. It's like, what are the other two girls doing? They were just attacked. Were they just like, we'll wait till he's done? You know, <laughs> like uh, having a or, heartfelt conversation. Why uh-huh. would you retrieve your trick arrows when you can still when you can make new ones? Uh, which they did later. It was uh, dumb. Everything about it was dumb. Feel like mm-hmm. I'm doing something right now. Got my first dislike, and it was. On my FET episode uh, one reaction, well, franchise defenders for fifty dollars, welcome to the club. I I didn't I got like fifty dislikes before I got a single like on any of my videos, uh, and it's probably because my sound was horribly out of sync in my first couple <laughs> of videos. It, was, it looked like a Japanese movie because uh, I didn't because I was I was like downloading off a digital camera and I didn't realize like the audio crawled. So I'm all, welcome to Game of Thrones. I know. Uh, <laughs> you are not alone. Happy New Year, all. Keep uh, maybe maybe next. I'll show some of my early videos next week and just embarrass the shit out of myself. Oh, uh, keep inspiring great. and being a voice for the fans. And Ryan, watch the heir to the empire CGI, which he probably has. Thank you for the fifty dollars. I appreciate it. Uh, hey, yeah. Caboose Mobile for fifty dollars. Merry late hail mass. Uh, FNT making some. New Year's resolutions. I don't do that shit. Uh, first is I'm with to you. finally DM on homebrew D and D campaign. Good. Second, to write my own story. Don't know what format it will be, but I want to do something I can feel proud of. Any resolutions of the crew? Uh, I do res- resolutions on Tuesdays in February. Uh, you don't need to wait till the end of the year. It's just an yeah. excuse to keep doing the bad habit you're doing. Now is always the best time. That's my resolution. I was about to say, yeah, right. yeah, agree. you now. need something, do it no, at that moment. Don't yeah. wait for right a moment. Now. Also, critical drinker has to go. Oh, uh, drinker, thank you for being here this long. I really appreciate it. Uh, I no. Love you, man. No, thanks, guys. I mean, I'm sorry I was a bit late coming in for this, but good. Uh, I'm glad I could show up for a little while. Uh, yeah, Any time is appreciated. Man. We appreciate the critical drinker. Well yeah. done. Fantastic year, my friend. One million. Yes. One million well earned. Hell yes. Mm. It's only a matter of time. It's great to see you. Big uh, yeah. Do well. Yeah. It's awesome. No, thanks, all you guys. I appreciate it. And uh, yeah, I'll catch up with you soon, hopefully. Take care. Bye. All right. Happy New Year. Happy New Year, man. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Oh, somebody in the chat said, Look, Critical Drinker looks like he's about to perform an emergency landing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so fucking funny. You said that. Oh. Uh, yeah, Kanovich said that. Oh, that's so funny. I don't Is that know. why they call it a landing strip? Uh, uh, I'd like to find out. Roger, Roger. Clear it's Clarence. Vector, Victor. <laughs> Uh, Roger, Roger. Roger. Christianator for fifty dollars says uh, says uh, my two year old daughter grabs counting on you. My two. Uh, (laughs) (laughs) Uh, Surely you can't be serious. I am serious, and don't call me. I am serious, and don't call me. (laughs) Do you like it when scraps rubs up and down your legs? You ever been to a Turkish prison? You ever been to a Turkish prison? (laughs) You ever see a grown man man naked? naked? Uh, yes. my two year old <laughs> daughter grabs my phone and this hands it to me, yelling Friday night tights. Water just trickles off the back of her thigh. <laughs> She's seen it. She then, uh, I'll read that again. My two year old daughter grabs my phone and hands it to me, yelling Friday night tights. Oh, what a yes. cool. oh, that's awesome. That is so cute. She then oh, wants song. me to play. Sorry, what's know. happening to your kid? She, she then oh wants God, me to play the intro about song. Jack Murphy. Uh, oh, no. She sings and dances to it and says oh, it's her favorite song. Oh, Thanks for the God. entertainment. Hail Friday Night Tights. I love I that. I love that. Oh, it's a God. catchy song. Oh, it's a catchy song. Hail Dan Vask. Hail Dan Vask. 600,000 subs as well. 600K. 600K, Dan Vask. Bruno on the Streamlabs side. Thank you very much. $50. I live in Quebec, Canada. 
We received an Amber Alert message 15 minutes ago reminding us of the curfew and restrictions not to leave our properties. Police have been wow. bo- uh, police have been boasted. Welcome to German- Germanida, Germanida uh, on New Year's Eve. I'm so tired of this. Uh, I don't know what you guys do. You guys got to, for one, your cops. Uh, fuck any cops who allow this shit. Yeah. What it is, I find it's the government saying this, but the cops are saying we don't care. Uh, hopefully, you, you, you we'll need see. To- but I'm I'm seeing those videos though of like cops going yeah. out and Fuck like that one at the restaurant. In I don't New know if York. that was in New York. That was yeah, New York. yeah. that was, that was New York. So yeah. sad, the, the problem the problem is it's like it's these fucking stores that are deciding to enforce the mandates. And then telling people to leave, and then when they don't leave, they call the cops for trespassing. Trespassing, yeah. yeah. No. Because, because you can refuse service to people, right? Yeah. So it's just a completely fucked up thing. Yeah. I would just say, yeah, like don't support a business who requires you to wear a mask. Yeah. yeah. That's facts. Yeah. Easy. That's it. It's pretty easy. I'm very and remember it down the line. <laughs> All I'm saying yeah. is if this was 100 years ago, there'll be fucking people drugged in you know the, the fucking street. You uh, know what? The economy is going to get to a point where uh, the, the small business can't afford that. And uh, fuck, you know what? Fines? Uh, you could blow off fines for a long time. Long mm-hmm. fucking time. Trust me. Uh, yeah. yeah what well, place in New do, Jersey? That, uh, yeah, Jim in New Jersey. Us, Jim. Yeah, tell, tell us, Jim, in yeah. Uh, yeah. Belmar. Absolutely. And people well, came and supported them. But, you know, yeah. if you shut if you shut people out and they're longtime patrons, guess what? People can remember that because I remember there was like a tweet going viral because they were like, yeah, a business that told me that I wasn't welcome, you know, could call me up the other day saying, hey, we like you back. And they're like, nope, I'm done. No, 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 fuck yourself. No, 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 like, no I'm not welcome. No. So you can't have my money. Hey, chances are, if you like own a comic shop or something like that, just let let them in. You're not going to get busted. Uh, nobody's going to rat you out. And I'm going mm-hmm. into major businesses here in Southern California. And there is a mandate. Nobody's fucking enforcing it. Mm. Nobody wow. is. Nobody's said a fucking word to me. I don't know. Well, I, it could be your celebrity status, to be honest. Let's yeah. be fair here. <laughs> I walk around. I, mean, I walk well, around. too nervous. A, I walk yeah. around. I went, with down, I went down to visit my mom, my family. I didn't wear a mask in any place, in anywhere. Uh, even in the hotel where it says, please mask at all times. Nice. No, nobody said a fucking word. Because you're a man. People yeah. respect you. Yeah, walk around with just a, I, that's what I do. It's not celebrity status. It's walking around with a seriously just grumpy polite. look on my face. It's just yeah. light to run. Hi, can I have a yeah. key? You know, uh, cheers, bye. No, I'm nice. I just, my facial expression <laughs> is my fuck off prison face. And then. Ooh, yeah. what's your prison face? Do it. Well, I just walk around like this all the time. Wait, I have my sunglasses on. They get do it cross-eyed. Oh, Ooh. <laughs> like that. Ooh. oh I'm yeah, that's the guy you don't want shaking you in the fucking shower. I'll tell you that right now. <laughs> I just walk around like this all day. It's very easy. I get what I want. I don't even think uh, I can have a prison face. <laughs> And if uh, anybody says anything, you just walk right past. You don't listen yeah. to them. Just walk. Yeah. Yeah. And nobody said anything. Nobody's not not a single yeah. word. They've been very nice. They go, "Hi, thanks for coming." I try to be very nice to the They're people like, behind the counter, right. like extra extra nice to <laughs> don't them. Don't hit us. <laughs> yeah, I've got my angry face, but I'm like, "Have a great day," you know. Uh, <laughs> Uh, Jordan Recco. You want to see my st- shank? <laughs> you want to see my? Yeah. Uh, do you know? <laughs> oh, you the next one. Moon that I. I'm gonna, <laughs> to I'm gonna head out. Bye, Odin. Bye, Odin. Have a happy Bye-bye. New Year, everybody. Bye, Odin. Happy God bless you. God bless you. Bye, Odin. 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 Yeah. 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 Who's your favorite porn star? Odin. Peace be with you. Question. Avoiding the question oh. means he has you guys one. Uh, that, wasn't way, an an, that, ad, that wasn't an answer there already. By the way, Chris, I will he, get my answer. Uh, Folsom he Prison somehow knew. Folsom Prison has an excellent shank museum uh, at the uh, where you where you first get in <laughs> at the guardhouse. They have all the shanks they've collected over a hundred years of shanks, <laughs> and they play Johnny Cash You're while you look at them. Shanks, yeah. No Johnny Cash. No, no, they don't play Johnny Cash. That's a damn I shame. Hurt myself today. <laughs> See how false in prison blues you fuck LSD. yeah well, yeah yeah no 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 that's the that's one of my all time favorite songs uh, I love it yeah I love Johnny Cash Jordan Recco on the Streamlab side for thirty six thirty two thank you very much this hail Friday night tights uh, first time donation 
Happy New Year. I just want to thank you guys for the awesome content. It uh, it has helped me through a difficult year. Hail, and I look forward to more. Stay awesome. You stay awesome. And I know a lot of people have said that to us, like, personally in emails. I'm sure all of you have gotten emails like that. Um, and, you know, sometimes it's, it's sobering, right? Uh, yeah. it, 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 and uh, we really appreciate it. And if we can help in any way, like... You can laugh at our expense. It's great. If it gets you through the day, brilliant. We've done our jobs. And I'm not bullshitting when I say it's reciprocal. A lot of us, uh, you know, like this is a lot of fun. E even though the entertainment like really sucks, this is a lot of fun. Uh, yeah. uh, don't come to me for legal advice. Uh, no. I don't know why people keep doing that shit like I know. <laughs> if you think you need a lawyer, you probably do. You're streetwise, man. That's why it's what, like you're Gundam. Me Gundam, yeah. Gundam and Gundam Associates isn't real. <laughs> no, oh my it's God. definitely not. We here at Dick Bag Productions do not facilitate this. Dick Bag. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Okay. Uh, well. I've got to wrap things up. That is, oh God, there's a six part super chat. I don't know if I have time for that. Ooh. No, uh, well. We can save that for next time if you really want. Um, we can do it. What we'll do Thanks, is... Thanks, Rego. Hang on. Where'd it go? What are you stuffing in your mouth? Oh, Looks wait. delicious. What was that, pizza roll? No. Is that a pizza roll? <laughs> Not is pizza... that a Tostitos right. Mar pizza Marksman, roll? Man, Mar I want a freaking pizza roll. Marksman. I was expecting... Oh, you did I'm getting drunk to drive to the Marksman, show. Marksman, uh, we'll read this in the beginning of next Friday. Okay, so please remind me that X-Ray girl. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, um... Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, I don't have time to read because I've got some other ones I got to get to before I get out. My mom's facility. <laughs> my mom's facility closes. Was that, loud? that was very yeah, loud. Yeah. Yeah. loud. <laughs> yeah. My mom's facility closes at a certain time, so I have to get there before yeah. it's time uh, to go. No, yeah, no, go check on mom. Uh, but no, here we got we got a couple more to go. It's okay. Is it New Year's over there? Then do we? No, have, I mean, I okay. no, no. we're in New York. <laughs> it's I started passing out the. The trashy decorations over here. Oh, I wish I had <laughs> fucking shit like that. No, I don't have anything fun right now. Uh, bass player 2011 Iffy for forty nine ninety nine says happy uh, Happy New Year to all Friday Night Tights, EFAP, and Open Bar crews. Here's hoping to a better year. Starting mine off right by pre-ordering the first two volumes of the English release of the Deadpool manga. Oh, I wonder how that is. It's, I've got a fucking box of manga to get through, uh, and it's it's all One Piece and uh, anime. Kemi sent it, and uh, thank you again. It's uh, fucking action figures. I, I'm an instant weeb now, like uh, instant weeb. <laughs> uh, Cal Caligula for fifty dollars says breaking news. <laughs> Gary blames the Jews for his addiction problems. Oh my God. <laughs> 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 oh, happy new year all. Thanks for making the past couple of years much oh, less no. shit. Wow. <laughs> oh. Oh. Best Freudian slip ever. I, really? <laughs> I know. It's the globalists. Dude. It really is. I fucking hate the globalists. Uh still rocking this side of the dirt for one hundred dollars. <laughs> this is long time lurker. First time donor. Don't worry, Gary. Uh, you're not old yet. I'm nibbling at 70. And hey, Ryan, X Navy 2. Oh, hell yeah, dude. Oh, hell yeah. That's what I'm doing. That would be a motherfucking cool 70 year old. There you go. Hell yeah. All right. Uh, Flappity for 50 <gasps> British pounds. Flappity? Oh, Flappity. <laughs> Says, Happy New Year. Hail Friday Night Tights. It's proper money. Flappity. <laughs> Can we, can we just share this, Gary? Uh, Don't this is this is a hell of a way to go into 2022. By the way, oh, no. No. here we go. Oh, and no. Here we go. <laughs> no. Don't think I didn't miss that. Patrick Ells that for dog whistle there. Patrick Ells for one hundred dollars. Yeah. It was white ball power. Uh, I would. Uh, I would apologize for the duplicate super chats if it was an accident, but I know you're enjoying the extra hundred dollars. Now I need to get more champagne. Oh, Patrick, I, I, dude, if you want it back, <laughs> I'll, I'll, uh, email me. I can refund you the other one. D don't even worry about it. Just uh, hit me up. Gary at nerdrotic.com. Thank you, Patrick. I appreciate it. I know sometimes it doubles up and you don't mean to. 
Uh, Raven uh, three three six three on the Streamlabs side for thirty three thirty eight. It's Happy New Year. All hope it's a good one. Here's to the fellowship. Ah, thank you. And Mike C for one hundred dollars. Uh, I've worked in New York City for the past 14 years and can attest that it's currently officially cucked. I plan on leaving and hope to meet some of you at the Orlando Geeks and Gamers meetup. We are the Rebellion. Hail! Uh, Pat Wyatt for 30 Canadian pesos says, keep the Rebellion going, my New Year's uh, fun. Uh, hell yeah, keep it going. And thank you very much for the $30. Blue Kitty goes rawr for $99.99. Says, Hail from the free state of Florida. Chakma from Chick Chakma from Chickasaw Nation. Uh, you've been my Chickasaw only guys. That's Chickasaw, Indian. Yeah. Those are Indians. Oh yeah. Sorry. It's true. Uh, that is true. Oh, cool. You've been Ice my feather. Real ones, not the Elizabeth Warren kind. Yeah. yeah. Ooh. <laughs> Uh, you've been my only appointment TV for the past year as a woman. It's like being a fly on the wall of a locker room. Entertaining and slightly alarming. Happy <laughs> happy New Year to all, and thanks for the great content. And Perfect. thank you. Perfect. Oh, we behave ourselves. It's actually worse when we're not uh, when we're not live. It, it's actually much oh, worse. Yeah. yeah, it does. It gets, it gets much worse. Okay. Yeah, we, don't get don't get better. Um, and uh, I want to thank every you know Jeremy, Ryan, As, Chrissy. It's a Gundam, Quarter Black, Odin, Comics Division, X Ray Girl, every guest we've ever had, Mahler, Critical Drinker. I'm sure I'm forgetting somebody. All the Modrotics. Thank you for a, uh, and the quartering for coming on. Quartering. Thank yeah. you for a yeah. Fucking spectacular year. This was uh, a great year. It's been really great. It's been a weird year of uh, transition. Uh, and uh, yeah, I can't wait to get the fuck out of California. It feels like I've been saying it forever, but we're finally doing it. We're finally moving. Uh, this is the only room that has anything in it in this house. The rest of the house. There's a mattress <laughs> about, I don't know, 5,000 feet away. It's a big fucking house. A long yeah. ways away, there's a mattress that I sleep on, and then I send here. So I want to get the fuck out of here as fast as possible. But thank you. I'm grateful for all of you. I had the best fucking time. So let's go around the clock here. Uh, going around the, the horn. Why did I say clock? I don't know. <gasps> the and horn. Uh, horn. <laughs> yeah, go away from the mic. Work it in. Yeah, as, there you go. as plug your... Channel, not yourself. I'm drunk. <laughs> yes, <you are. laughs> hey, brother. What's going on, man? What's that say? It says... Put a cork in it. Put a, Put a cork, cork in, in it. it. Ah. Tell us Jack. Oh, I did. Oh, boy. And he uh, and he, uh, and he did. Uh, go go subscribe to uh, Hill vs. Uh, Babyface on uh, YouTube, please. I've lost 13 subscribers today. Why? Oh, no. 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 Well, he did have a very hey. rousing Jewish joke that <laughs> ran for a while. I was just saying what <laughs> uh, that person. That guy. Name? Gary. Gary. As, what he said. As, as, is, as is my st you. streaming partner. And uh, the real BBC is also on his channel. So I highly recommend you subscribe so you don't miss an episode of the real BBC. Uh, or any of his amazing mm -hmm. Batwoman content. <laughs> oh, God, she's back in Jan. Hey, this, yeah, Batwoman's back this month because I'm in January now because I'm in the new, I'm in the future. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so she's back. Batwoman reviews are going to be back this month. Good night. Boom. Good night, ass. <laughs> good night, ass. Uh, Chrissy. Woods are They are. Yes. But we love um, you. Chrissy thank Mayer. You, thank you for having me, guys. This of course. Is, this is amazing. Uh, I love you guys all so much. Hey, it's love a dog. That's a Gundam, actually. Uh, uh, yeah, my album recording. Sorry, it's a lot of Baileys. Uh, I'm recording an album on Thursday, January 6th. It's called Live from January 6th. It's going to be at Governor's in Levittown on Long Island. Uh, it's going to be fucking great. Got Cannot special wait. guests dropping in and then I'm working on where it's going to go. But I think it's going to go just about everywhere that that a comedy album could go. So I'm very excited about that. And then a bunch of dates coming up <laughs> next year. Is it going to be so, uh, pressed on vinyl? 
CD? Mm-hmm. We're gonna Maybe. do any? Of that? Oh my yeah, god! I, I, I want a vinyl. Get some CDs because I have an old car that plays CDs. So. I, I I, vinyl is the best way to listen to comedy. I, I love vinyl. I've All got right, a, maybe I'll do that. I've got a CD changer in my FJ, so definitely want the CD. Ooh. And I love vinyl, so please press it in vinyl. Yes. All right, please. Yeah. I guess it's it's probably not hard to do. We we can figure it out. I mean, like, I uh, do that. yeah, yeah. There's got to be a way to. I mean, a bunch of people are doing it, and uh, yeah, I'm a vinyl junkie. So hell Ooh. yeah. I want to be on vinyl. Vinyl, good. Ooh. Well, it's it's the. the Nothing beats the LP, the the album art. It's the best. It's the best presentation. Yeah. Well, on yeah. vinyl, they are actually able to put more data on it, even though it's smaller amount of music. Oh, dude. So that's why it sounds better. If so many hours listening to Indiana Jones soundtrack. Uh, this is this is. I want to try that one. This is the actual dialogue and sound effects from the movie with no narrator. It's uh, reproduced by Ben Burt. It's dope and it has the best fucking poster that they never used wow. only for this album that's cool yeah good stuff. oh man to hear your beautiful voice Marian. yes 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 so uh chrissy you have a, a website and um like a link tree that people can go to from your twitter right oh yeah just go to chrissymayer.com yeah and go to my twitter uh chrissy mayer and my instagram chrissy mayer pod <laughs> Check it out. And thanks. And of course, a link to her channels in the description as well. Oh, I'm so glad you're part of the crew. And uh, Aww, speaking of part of the making cr- me a part oh, of it, you're welcome. It's uh, uh, Ryan, since Cord Black sleeping, how you feel? <laughs> hey, what? How, yeah. you, how you feeling, little buddy? You feel your your uh, voice, but you sound better. You sound like uh, you're yeah, my voice. I, I got probably got a couple days and I'll be back to normal. It just. I, I don't really want to take a break, so it's very slow on the Fucking, men. But it's hard, dude. It is yeah. so hard. Especially when the channel's hot and everything, you just want to pump stuff out. So, yeah. But uh, 2021, it's been shitty in general for the world as a whole and in a lot of ways. But for me personally, it was a really great year. And all you guys are a big part of the reason why. So, uh, And, of course, the chat, a huge part of the reason why 2021 has been so amazing. Onwards and upwards to 2022. I'm thinking about maybe doing a stream starting like 1130 Eastern tonight. We'll see and ring in the new year for me, but uh, I'll keep you uh, just check out the channel. If I post, I post, if not, I'm probably passed out drunk. So you never know what'll happen. Yeah. They send me, guys. send me a link if you want. Okay. Yeah. 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 I'm not doing Absolutely. Anything. Yeah. So send me a Perfect. link. Perfect. Yeah. Yeah. I'll, I'll be part Hell of it. Yes. Uh, Ryan, love you, man. Thanks for being here. I'm so fucking proud of you, dude. Uh, all the stuff you've done and accomplished in a couple of years, it's uh, it, its inspiring. It is. Thanks, man. Appreciate uh, you. I'm petting you. Welcome Ooh. to oh. Nerd Erotic Quarter Black Garrett. I can't wait Hell for yeah. us to get fucking going, dude. Dude, I'm super excited about it. And it's been awesome this whole year, you know, just getting on, being on the show more consistently. And I don't know if people didn't know this, but I've been on the show like officially for like six months as a, as a member. So yeah. Yeah. Um, it's been amazing. I love all you guys. I love the chat. Best chat in the game. Uh, this year has been amazing. I love getting to know all you guys hanging out with as more outside of F and T Hanging out with Ryan when we were in Vegas. That was awesome. Oh, yeah. Hanging out with X-Ray Girl. She's getting crazy. Uh, I can't wait he... for next next year. Next year's going to be a blast. It's going to be super fucking cool. Uh, we're going to do some We're gonna do some stuff. We're going to do some great. stuff. Uh, some, yeah, gonna, stuff I can't, some stuff I can't say. Uh, there'll be a Texas <laughs> meetup. There'll be a Vegas meetup. And there's yeah. going to be an Orlando meetup. That's, that's what I can say. That's uh, the plan. And the Orlando meetup is going to be... Uh, Oh, Lots of playing. popping, popping, dude. Fucking it's gonna be awesome. Gonna be I can't wait. Like I can't Vegas, wait for the next Vegas meetup. will be fun, but Orlando is gonna be the one that gets the most attention next year. Oh yeah, and I have a channel. Mm-hmm. By the way, I have a channel. You can go. Yeah, uh, I play games linked and talk. In the, the, linked in the description. X-ray That's girl, great. great job. Thank you. Thank you. you I might it? stream later, by the way. So Ooh, yeah, look at that. Uh, you'll get to see me uh, drunk like I am right now, but you know. So good. Cool. Dude, I went. Oh shit! I went oh, through five uh, of these. Maybe not as I dropped. Oh, I dropped boy. two of them. There's two more over here. Do you think yeah, those little bottles? Wow! How many did you finish? Uh, five. Did you find your I, favorite I, yet? No. I don't Great. Know. And I got to go out and drive. Keep, keep among the people in uh, in Southern California in just about five minutes. So, luckily, it's luck. not 
Uh, statistically, not yet, really. Yeah, statistically speaking, if you parachuted, you'd be okay. <laughs> exactly, Gary. <laughs> what exactly. is a Get in a hey, plane. Um, um, parachute down. By the way, since Jeremy isn't here, subscribe to Ryan Kennel. We want him to hit 100,000. <laughs> Subs before uh, DJ before Cobra. DJ Cobra. So uh, if you haven't subscribed to RK Outpost, please, and I'm like, you know, because I'm about to beg for him. Uh, I'm getting close to 400,000. I was cooking for a while, but then I got sick. So same as Ryan. We both were like moving. It's like, uh, it's like fuck. Yeah. And Jeremy went all in on Jack Murphy. He's not the first, but uh, yeah. went all hey, in on bro. Jack Murphy and uh, <laughs> it's paid out pretty well for him. So. Double D Obra. <laughs> But no, yeah, me and Jeremy are racing 100K. I think he's going to finish in front of me, but that, that's all right. So, well, And it's subscribe to Geeks and Gamers. We're rolling on Geeks mm -hmm. and Gamers again. Sports Wars, Park Hopping. I saw Jay in the chat earlier. I think he said Happy New Year. Happy New Year, Happy Jay. Happy New Year, Jay. Um, so yeah, everything's Happy going New good. Year. Uh, Gundam, anything you'd like to plug? And thanks for being here, dude. Again, love you, man. He's asleep. I would have been asleep normally. But uh, the, the call came, and much like Batman, when the Justice League gives the signal, I show up <laughs> completely yes. hungover. Thank you, Gundam. That's why I can't we love remember. You. What was I going to say? Oh, Chrissy was talking about her album coming out. Yeah. Fluffy yeah. jumps on my lap yeah, that was a while and ago. vomits all over me. Oh, geez. Oh, <laughs> right before I could say I'm going to do a blistering five-minute set on her album, which it obviously isn't going to happen. The joke is passed. Aww. But instead of screaming... As dog juices <laughs> soaked into my underwear. Oh! I my so, so it's a typical weekend for you then. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Never. How dare you? I, I heard the dog. I heard the dog bark. Uh, yeah, I was like, what's up, dog? And then she hopped on me and was like, this is what's up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm like, yeah, why? that's how 2020 is going to go. Dog there you vomit. Go. Oh, no. my point. Luffy, you. how dare you? How dare you, Fluffy, <clears throat> when I'm trying to enjoy a drunk ass. Also, I'm not even fucked up. I showed up here slightly high. An ass is allowed to get blitz drunk. <laughs> if I knew that was the case, I would have been high off my ass the whole show. Oh, I mean, God damn professionalism. Time. Yeah. Is it just a part of the show? Just for the record, I, I never told you. Myself. Oh, the beginning, I, I had to turn down for the end. If, oh, yes, <laughs> the uh, train comment that we won't say again. Anyway, <laughs> I have nothing to plug. You know where to find me. It's a Gundam. It's very simple. I'm always in trouble. Um, we got to get the hell out of here so Gary could see his mother, for God's sakes. Sorry. Let's just cut the plug short and think Let's about do someone it. else this Christmas season. Uh, oh. This Christmas season and this new year. Uh, yeah, we'll probably have a more prepared. No, we won't. Uh, this will be this <laughs> Never. Never mind. We'll be back more next prepared. Friday around 1.30 p.m.-ish with. Carrie Smith. Carrie Smith is yeah. back. Yeah. Yeah. It's about time. Carrie Smith. It's about time. Awesome. We love Carrie Smith. And until then, enjoy some credits. Uh, Happy New Year, everybody. Love you, everyone. Oh. Happy New Year. Good night, children. Bye. You can see my blow. My blow. Yeah, right. What? Oh. I do not have Sensual time for the polonying. <laughs> Sorry. For oh, that. it's really blocked. Nerdrotic.com. I, I should. Is this a bad time to tell you that the mic is still on? Good night, everybody.
school.